yours, please, sir. P Cash with the dollar ninety nine super chat. Let's go. Appreciate you, fam. He says D DK was the first to take the plea deal. I think Gunner's plea deal was probably more popular though, because DK probably did that shit on the low and nobody probably knew he had a damn deal. Maybe, maybe. Infamous Sylvia Sylvia says the lawyer's telling Tick to fix his clothes. He's <laughs> what are you wearing today, Sylvia? I wonder what he's wearing. Got Sharon Corbin, ATL native. Said he know about that from Atlanta. He ain't born and raised. Gonna be with me. Be with my me, my me cousin, my cousin, and and a producer. We knew a lot of Atlanta rappers. Right, they they be with my cousin all the time. No cap. Salute. Appreciate you falling through, bro. You might want to call up too, fam. We getting some good info today. All right, thank you, Sergeant Ingram. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, good morning. Good morning. All right, without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue with the presentation. Yo, we, 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 on, we on live, um, Marshawn. Um, Ms. Love, you may continue, madam. Or I should say, Mr. Steele, you may continue. The ass whooping ensues. Let's go. Part two. Good morning, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Sir, I'm going to show you what's already been um, admitted. It's State's Exhibit Number 23 UU. Sir, may I approach you? May I, sir? May I approach you, Mr. Stevens? Hmm. You turn to, if you were, don't mind, over at. Number 155 in that document. Do you have this? Tell me if you need help finding it, okay? Hey, I'm a district clarity. 23 uniform under you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's you. <laughs> Did you find that, sir? Yeah. Can you just look at, do me a favor at the bottom <coughs> of that um, page? What page number is that just for the ladies and gentlemen who are following along? 55. Thank you. I'm going to show you what I'm marking as Mr. Williams number 20. You may, sir. May I approach you, Mr. Stevens? Yeah. Could you do me a favor? Just um, make sure that that is an identical, you know what I mean, by um, just over that 50, 155. Just make sure that they're the same. Okay, come on. Bo Real says a hope tick hope tick didn't work last night. You know he worked. You know he worked. It's all good, Sharon Corbin. Appreciate you being here, man. Appreciate you. Denise said he got that tick look that fro looking good. Yeah, he got one of them, he got one of them one of them afro picks with the fist on the end. With the iron, with the iron teeth. He got the Afro pick with the fist with the iron teeth. 
He picked that thing out today. Said, didn't he wear that already? Y'all crazy. He wore a hoodie. He wore a hoodie. He got on a different shirt underneath, though. He got on a button-up again, actually. Must be cold in that courtroom or something. Bench conference, Marshawn Cole. He said, that's not me. It's all good, Marshawn. Shit, appreciate the, man, appreciate the content today, bro. Real talk. We believe you, Marshawn. Now, somebody in there said you capping, but we said, I believe you. I don't think you lying, bro. Like, you. Tick trying, man. He, he trying. Uncle Paulie says he got amnesia. What do you mean? Who got amnesia? Tick? I can imagine he's not. Listen, I can imagine he's not getting much sleep, though. You can imagine, bro. This is heavy. Like, regardless of him taking a deal or not, this has still got to be a very stressful situation for him, bro. So I can imagine he's not getting no sleep at night, fam. Sitting back worrying about this shit. He can't drink, can't smoke. He probably on papers. Can't, you know, can't get high, can't pop a pill. And even though he said he don't get high no more, but, you know, melatonin ain't going to help with this. So I can only imagine what he's got, you know, what he's, what he's dealing with, what he's feeling. Dog me say, yo, I'm crying because he sound like he lying. Nah, that dude, don't, he don't, listen, Marshall, he don't sound like he lying to me, fam. That, I think that dude telling the truth. <laughs> uh, that bad ain't slept since he caught the plea. Yeah, he, yeah, I can imagine, man. It's stressful. I can imagine. Mimi said, how old is he? He's 30 years old. That ain't going to keep interrupting until it's time to go. Now, the judge didn't say it was going to be a short day. So it might not be. Let's let's pray because that'll be ridiculous. I said amnesia. <laughs> Insomnia. Yeah, it'd be cold in the courtroom. Probably is cold in there, man. Everybody else got coffee. You gave him some smart water that ain't working. I know I'm hot. I need to turn the fan on. Still ain't even turned the oven on yet. And they done, they done ask to approach the bench. What's going on? Like what in the world? Let the man cook for a little bit. I said, no, nah, insomnia. Megan, begging for real. I did. These men disappeared 48 hours. Commercial fam. Yeah, uh, hold on. Conference over. We on commercial. Ain't that something? I think I need to get my, uh, what they call that shit? Premium back so that I can't, they won't show commercials. State kind of need to, uh, yeah, but he ain't helping him. Not to me. He's not having the impact that they anticipated. I'll say that, you know, I, th I think they anticipated him to have more of an impact than he's having. And, and it looks like to me, he's, uh, Michael Monroe. I got merchandise, man, but we can, uh, work on an, another design or something. Yeah, the link in the link in the description box. I got merch, but yeah, we can work on a design or something if you want. It's all good. Okay. I really need a design for a hat. Mr. Steele, based on our conversations with uh, Miss Love, are you going to withdraw that exhibit? I am going to withdraw it temporarily. Okay. I'm going to fix it. And yes, that's fine, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. You may continue whenever you're ready, sir. Okay. This is. May I approach, Your Honor? You may, sir. Bardash in the building. Don't let nobody slide today, Bardash. You talk your shit. I'm going to come back to Overt Act 155. I just have to amend something. Appeal 156. Tell me if it comports with what I've now marked uh, Mr. Williams number 21 in today's date. And when I say comport, that's a bad word. Just um, tell me if it's identical, if you don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Um,
Your Honor, I'm moving for the admission of Mr. Williams, number 20. One? One. Any objection to Defendant Williams, uh, 21? It is a, I don't object as it is from the indictment. Okay, all right. Uh, Defendant Williams, 21, is admitted and maybe published as you see fit. And Mr. Kokomo, assist, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Williams, you see on your screen, it should be next to you or behind you. Is that um, depict what is, or is that the same as what's in Mr. Williams number 21, what's on the screen? Yeah. Okay. And this comes out of the indictment. Is that fair to say? Yeah. And you were charged in the same indictment, correct? Yeah. Okay. With regards to um, over at Act 156, do you see it's the date of January 16, 2022 is alleged? Yes. And um, do you recognize the gentleman in that photograph? Yes. And who is that gentleman? Jeffrey Williams. <clears throat> okay. And it states that an associate defendant, Jeffrey Williams, an associate of YSL, did appear in a video released on Mr. Williams, it says Williams, Instagram account flashing a bloods, quote unquote, gang sign over at Act and furtherance of conspiracy. You see where that's written? Yes. Okay. Tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury whether you know based upon your experience um, and your lifestyle, whether Mr. Williams is showing with his left hand a blood gang sign. Tell him if I know or not. Yeah. Tell him if I know what, they, what he doing. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him what it is. Um, he had a record out at the time called Pushing P. So he making a P. In reference to the song. Okay, and are you familiar with the video of that song? It, songs sometimes come along with videos. Do you know that? Yes. Okay. And do you know whether Mr. Williams, you already referenced the song? And what was the title of the song, if you know it? Pushing P. And um, do you know whether that song came out with a video? Yes. Okay. I'd like to show you part of the video, just make sure that it's the same video you remember, okay? Yes. Um, Your Honor, can I ask Mr. Kokomo to approach it so video so it's not as still? You may, sir. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Stevens, can Mr. Kokomo come to you? Mr. Kopo, Mr. Kopo just got out of bed and just he ain't, ain't, he ain't put nothing on that head this morning. <sighs> Mr. Kokomo said he natural, goddammit. I ain't mad that? at him. Yes. Okay. And when Mr. Kokomo comes back, Your Honor, I'd like to display to the jurors what Mr. Um, Stevens has just identified, and it will be marked on a thumb drive as Mr. Williams number 22. Yeah, what happens, I would like to see you, sir, whatever you want to have Okay. Heaven Lee, what up? Bardash says she know him. Okay, Bardash. Can I move for the admission of Mr. Williams number... 22? Yes, sir. Bardash going to holler now. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, there is uh, comments made by Mr. Williams that he has been convicted of 
number 22 did. In fact, that was the video that was just shown to the state. Is it commentary hearsay or what is it? Yes, it would be um, testimony being presented through counsel for Mr. Williams. I can have him to show the court what he Yeah, let me shown. see it. it. Your Honor? Yeah, it's being removed. It was just to show which exhibit we're talking about. It will be removed. As long as the commentary is removed, we, we don't have any objection. We would ask that the whole video, <clears throat> the entire video, what he's about to show, to be shown. Do you have a, is there a redacted copy of that? What he has on there is a redacted copy. Oh, it is. Okay. All right. We would ask that the whole video sure. be shown. Is the whole thing? Yeah, we have, the, we have the whole video, Your Honor. I'm just showing the pertinent part, but if the state wants to show the whole video, that's fine. They're objecting based on the rules, the rule of completeness, so. No problem. Um, we'll just play all of it after, your, after you Instant. oriented your, your portion. So, Mr. Kogan, if you just play the first portion that counsel wants you to play, then you can play the entirety of it, okay? Is that a yes? Okay, all right. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Stevens. No. Nothing. No, nothing, Your Honor. What? Who are you talking to? Man, you better shut up. Are you all okay? Do you have enough clothing? Or do you want me to I make a phone call? I know a guy I know I know a guy. It's a call. It's a call. Okay, all right. Let me let me make a phone call, okay? All right. It's a little cold in here. So. Yes, a little bit, okay? All right, thanks. Bye bye. All right, done. Okay, all right. Now, Mr. Kokomo's adjusting. Come on, Kokomo, get it together. <laughs> One of the jurors is cold. <laughs> I think everybody is. Everybody got on long sleeves. Everybody got on their jackets. Steel even put his blazer back on. Okay, they changed the temp. All right. Why is it cold in there in this winter? Ain't it cold on it? What's the temperature down there in Atlanta today? Let me check. The temperature in the A, man. <laughs> Like 39. Why they got it cold in there? 39 in the A. Yeah, hey, holiday ATL. Appreciate you. May I just ask you a couple of questions with the court's permission? Your Honor, may I approach? Yes, you may, sir. I'm showing you what I've marked as Mr. Williams number eight. Hey, Your Honor, that's that those exhibits need to be written and published before they are. Number nine, okay, 10, and number 13. Can you just take a peek at them yourself? Tell me if you recognize them one at a time. Okay. 
facts, shells. Cause they, they turn that heat up, they're going to go to sleep. Once it get warm, they're going to sleep. Mm-hmm. That cold keep your ass awake. That's yes. a fact. And you recognize number all those numbers, 8, 9, 10, and 11? I think that's what I gave you. No, you gave me 8, 9, 10, and 13. Okay. Thank you, sir. And... Um, do those photographs accurately depict um, a person that you know in that photograph? Yes. Your Honor, I will move for the admission of 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 once Mr. Copeland. I, I don't have 11. It's 8, 9, and 13 is what you've shown them. 8, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10, and 13, you know. Okay. All right. Okay. Your Honor, the state objects. Uh, um, we'll start out with number 8. Do you have an objection to 8? Yes, Your Honor. I make hold. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> he don't look old God, though as it relates to defendants exhibit number eight I would ask to... What's the basis for your objection? No basis, no foundation. Um, there was no question. I'll be recognized. I would like to show this to the court so that the court can fully understand. All right, come on up. There you go. There you go. Y'all like that. Y'all like that in the skirt. Y'all do the fellas be going crazy over her. Mama in the pink jacket with this, with the, in the peach jacket with the skirt. Yes, sir. Yeah, we ain't, it don't look like we're going to get through this today, Sylvia. I don't think so either. <laughs> God, dog. The state won't let Michael Steele, I mean, the state won't let Brian Steele start. He can't even get a roll going. They can, you know what I'm saying? They stalling him out. Every chance they get. Now, I believe this may be strategy. I think this may be strategy. It made me sleepy. It's going to be hard not to bob your head. I wouldn't even play nothing too popular. I don't want to get flagged. So I got my hand by the mute button. Just want to make just want to make sure that I don't get flagged. I don't, I don't end up playing lifestyle or something. I know I'm going to get flagged. Yeah, we ain't gonna get through this. She objects. Moises Guzman, salute, man. Appreciate you being here. Another bench conference. You're right, Sylvia. Why they so quiet? Tick having a bad hair day. This might be his best one today, uh, Heavenly. Yeah, he do. He looks run down. Okay, Tick left the courtroom again because they had to have a conference. I guess they don't want him to overhearing the conversation. So infamous Sylvia, you know, our correspondent in the courtroom as we speak, salute to her. And like I said, Sylvia has her own YouTube channel. Y'all go over there, check her out, give her a sub and show us some love, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and she covers cases just like I do. She covers all kinds of things, paperwork, celebrity stuff. Great channel. Very informative. Y'all go check infamous Sylvia out. And tell her Getty sent you, god damn it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if if he take a break, if he take a lunch break at 12, they just got started, bro. If he take a lunch break at 12, I'm going to flip my top. I believe he is, though. <laughs> I told you. We was just talking about that earlier. You ain't going to get but one. You ain't going to get but about three. Two to four good hours of court with this judge. He gonna be late. He gonna break at twelve. He gonna tell you one fifteen. He gonna come back one forty five to o'clock. They gonna get out of there at five. Easy. Easy. Surprised if we get to get the video before lunch. Yeah, you're right. And because 
They might be scared. Yes, yeah, Sharon Corbin. They may be scared. You know, Steel is good. Steel cooked him, man. So they're trying to figure any kind of way. They're trying to throw any kind of stumbling block in front of him that they can to prevent him from start cooking. Remember, how long have we been here? How long has, you know, court actually proceeded and started? Been about 30 minutes cooking. I mean, Steve, Brian Steele ain't started cooking yet. Ain't started cooking yet. China Eyes, salute. Appreciate you being here. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. Yeah, so we ain't, he ain't started cooking yet. So they doing something. They doing something to prevent him from gaining momentum. He ain't, he ain't got no momentum right now. They killed that yesterday. He had momentum if there would have been a court proceeding yesterday, but they killed the momentum he had. Now he can't even gain any momentum. He can't even start to get some momentum because they stopping every chance he get. Everything he try to present, they objecting. We do have a poll up. Uh, it says, do you feel the judge is non-biased and fair? We got 101 votes. 41% says no. So, uh, 41% says yes. 59% of you guys says nah, judge be tripping. He is biased as hell. <laughs> it's the judge by Now, I will say, now, I, I didn't feel that way at first, but when Steele started cooking and every objection the prosecution gave, he sustained it. He barely overrules their objections. Now, when Michael Steele was objecting Monday and last week, he overruled damn near every objection Michael Steele had. He barely sustained any objection from Michael Steele. I mean, from Brian Steele. Damn, I keep saying Michael. He keep he barely. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm starting to I'm starting to agree with you guys on that because I'm seeing how he handling um the prosecution. He, he you know he kind of handling with kid gloves or whatever the case may be. Yeah, y'all go sub to Infamous Sylvia's channel. You know what I'm saying? Let me grab it. Well, my moderators ain't even grabbing the link. I got it. You know what? I ain't got but one mod here. But Sylvia's a mod. I keep forgetting about that. See if you drop your channel in the in the chat so that people can sub to you, check you out. Keep forgetting you a mod. Mr. Steele, I'm going to sustain a uh, consistent with bench conversation. I'm going to sustain the objections. You can lay a little more foundation, okay? He just sustained. All right. Mr. They got, it's got to be some gang signs you, you or know something. A person, an artist named Sergio Kitchens or a performer named Gunna. Yes. Is that the same person? Is Sergio Kitchens perform yes. under the uh, name Gunna? Yes. And um, do you see that gentleman, if you recognize that gentleman in this, uh, Mr. Williams, number 22? Yes. Okay. Um, Kokomo, can you take us to and just remind us of the exact time Kokomo, you're, that's his you're name. showing? So the Honorable Court is aware and the parties and the jury? <laughs> Song went hard. Sounded good. Out of peace, not a pill of course. You sound good. Of <laughs> Sylvia said, people in the court bobbing to the music, <laughs> thug smiling. <laughs> Mr. Stevens, you recognize the person That's what's that Mr. Up. Kokomo uh, stopped the. Number 149.54. You recognize who that is? I know, yeah. Who is it? Jeff Williams. Okay. And what Mr. Williams is doing um, with his hand, is that similar to what it's in the indictment count one over at act number 156 that we've shown you before? Yes. Okay. And that is a P you said earlier, right? Yes. And did you realize or do you know that the song Pushing P and the video were released um, shortly around January 16, 2022. I didn't realize that, but... Objection, Your Honor, as to his knowledge and speculation. I sustained objection. If I showed you something Damn, to look. refresh your memory, would that, do you know when it first came out? Are you familiar? when that video and song first came out and was released? I know exactly when it came out, but just not the exact date, though. 
I, I remember the timing. That's what I'm saying. Okay, can you describe the time? Not as in no date, but... Um, Hmm. Do you know whether it was around the date that's listed in the indictment that's in front of you? And if you don't know, just say, I don't know. It's fine. We'll do it. I don't know. That's fine. Okay. Um, but that's certainly not a blood sign in the indictment. No. Am I correct? Correct. All right. Now, um, with regards to <clears throat> um, when Mr. Williams, when you knew him, when he was starting out to try to be come an accomplished. <laughs> A musical artist, accomplished means like a... No objection as to compound. I stay in the question. When, um, let me ask you a different way. When you knew Mr. Williams, when he first started out trying to become a um, professional musical artist, okay? I want you to lock in on that time, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Um, did social media and, and followers have any if you know, have any type of significance to Mr. Williams to get out of his mind. as to speculation and it would call for self-serving hearsay. I sustain the objection. He can, he can, you can rephrase, Mr. Steele, or lay a little more foundation. I don't want you to say anything Mr. Williams said. Do you know whether Mr. Williams used social media to try to broadcast his views? Objection, again, as to speculation. Well, let, let's see. Let, let's see if he knows, and then. Damn! I'll finally, Judge. Finally. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. And but I'm all over the objection. And with regards to um, social media, was it more than music? If you noticed, did Mr. Williams also put out videos of himself? Yes. And did he also communicate to people to try to get their attention? And to have followers. Objection as to the mindset. I sustain your question. Did Mr. William, don't tell me anything about mindset. Did he put out also statements on social media to try to get fans? Objection as to the trust. I sustain the question. Did he put out statements on social media? Yes. Yeah. And did he do all that under the moniker or framing young stuff? Yes. Yeah. And, um, if you know, is Mr. Williams trying to portray a certain type of image on social media? Objection as to mindset. I sustain the question. Do you know if Mr. Williams portrayed a certain image as okay. to as to um, himself on social media? Objection. I sustain the question. Did Mr. Williams put forth um, a gangster rap image? on social media. Yes. And do you know whether Mr. Williams had a lot of followers when he did that? Followers on Instagram. Objection calls for speculation. I see. And if he knows. Do you ever see Mr. Williams' social media accounts? Yes. Okay. And does the, do the social media accounts show how many people are following? Yes. And then Mr. Williams, from this conduct, from this entertainment, did it have a lot of people following him? Objection as to compound and... I sustain the question as to form. Did he have a lot of followers? Yes. And were the followers building over time? Yes. And was, did you notice that it was increasing a large amount? Did you notice? Yes. And did it eventually get to a point that Mr. Williams had millions of followers? Yes. You know how many millions at any given time? Uh, I know millions, though. I couldn't hear you. I don't know if that millions, but I know it's millions. Okay. 
Now, was there a time that you were mad at Mr. Williams for the content of his song? The lyrics that he used. Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen why. <clears throat> um. Um. Because I knew that he was teasing me. Tell them. Tell them what you mean by that. Um, he made a, a song and he referred to me as robbing women. Um, at that time, uh, the whole neighborhood was poking fun at me for, uh, being accused of robbing women because mm. they knew that. Objection as to what the neighborhood but... I stand the question. Uh, they knew what I was known for, which was I, I sustained that you can't answer the question. Okay? I sustained. Don't, don't, Mr. Stevens, don't say what other people were thinking. Just say what you were thinking. Why were you mad at Mr. Williams? Um, but even putting that in the song, knowing that it was, it was false. Hmm. 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 And did Mr. Williams, were you also mad at him because you believed in other lyrics? He was um, describing things that you did, but taking credit for it. Yeah. And why did that bother you? General, I object as to generalization. That's I'll stand the question as to form, Mr. Stevens. You can rephrase it. Mr. Stevens, why did it bother you? Why were you mad at Mr. Williams for using lyrics about your life as if he did? An objection as to what lyrics, to specificity. I'll stand as to form. It could be any. Did you ever get mad at Mr. Williams because he was taking credit for things that you know you did in his lyrics? I felt the way. I couldn't. I apologize. I felt a certain type of way. I, I had a feeling about it. Thank you. Don't know. Tell the I stand. I stand. Just rephrase or redirect him or refocus him, I should say, Mr. Steele. In, instead of saying you felt a certain type of way, can you be more specific with that, Mr. Stevens? Why you were mad at Mr. Williams? Um, well, I did. I, I, yeah, I said I felt a, a certain type of way. I really can't put, um, say probably jealousy. I felt, yeah, probably jealousy because, um, I knew it was something I could have been rapping about and potentially making money of it. Mm. Now, um, if you know, was this a competitive, is it a competitive business to be, um, to, to try to get fans on social media and followers in rap songs, if you know? No, no, I'm not in the business. I couldn't hear, you're not in the business? I yeah, couldn't. I don't know, yeah. That's fine. All right. Um, do you remember um, Jeffrey wearing really tight pants before <laughs> they were popular. Yes. And um, based upon Jeffrey's popularity growing and the, and this fashion that he wore, did other people start wearing really tight pants? Objection. 
I sustained the objection. Did people follow Jeffrey's lead, if you know, to wear tight pants? Objection. Mm. Sustained. Did people wear tight pants after Objection. Jeffrey? General, overbroad, irrelevant. I sustained the question. Damn. Did you notice that after Jeffrey started, excuse me, Jeffrey started wearing tight pants, other people in your neighborhood wore tight pants? Yes, it became a trend. I couldn't hear you. Yes, it became, it became a trend. Trend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about <laughs> um, tight necklace around the neck? Did Jeffrey start that as well? Not the chokers. To so our neighborhood? Or like, oh. Anyway. Asked about the dresses. Notice that, that he started to wear tight necklaces. I noticed he still started getting tight. Yes. And did you notice that other people again followed that trend? Objection, speculation. I stand the question. He asked if he noticed. Whether other people... Whether other speculate. people... That's speculation. Did you notice other people wearing tight necklaces after Jeffrey started that? I noticed other people's things starting to get into that too. It would be fair to say that Jeffrey was being watched and he became um, a trendsetter, to use your word. Objection, compound, and speculation. I stand the question. Do you know whether people followed what Jeffrey was wearing, singing about? Objection, speculation. Did people start dressing like Jeffrey? Objection, speculation. That's, that's the, you might want to just ask a question before that, so. Do you know whether after Jeffrey started to where certain fashion other people start to dress like that. Do you know this? I don't know exactly why they did it, but I started seeing similarities in what he was doing and what other people were doing. Okay. And is <laughs> When you first met Jeffrey in approximately 2007, that year, like you said before, what was he um, called? What was his, uh, what was the typical name that you called him and people called him? Uh, Lil Jeff. Okay. And do you know what his father's name is? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen, Jeff. Big Jeff. Now, we talked about Jeffrey wearing tight jeans. Do you know, don't speculate, do you know whether Jeffrey got any criticism? That means did people um, go against him for wearing tight jeans, if you know? Yes. And what, tell us about that. What did people do? Um, if you're aware. I'm, I'm aware that... Uh, They was accusing him of being gay. Um, a homosexual? Mm. Yes. And um, did that help, if you know, Jeffrey's popularity? Objection, speculation. If he knows. I sustain the question. Well, let, uh, let me, let me let's see if, he'll, if he, he can answer the predicate. So we, you can ask him that again. <coughs> You can answer. Oh, my bad. You can, you can say it again. Out of objection. So no, I, no, it's my fault. It's not your fault. You ready? There's nothing to do with it. You ready? The question is, if you know, did being called gay affect Jeffrey's popularity on social media? You got to object to that. Because that's, that's a different question. I'm going to sustain that, though. <laughs> Did being called gay affect Jeffrey's popularity at all? Objection, Your Honor, as to... I sustain it. If you know. Your Honor, you can't fix it with as if you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay in the question. Okay. Now, um, do you know that Jeffrey, besides music, branched out into fashion as a business? Yes. And 
Um, do you know Spider? Do you know this Spider brand? Yeah. What is Spider brand? A, a brand, a clothing brand. And whose clothing brand is that? Jeff Williams. I ain't know that. I'm going to show you what has been previously marked and shown to you. Mr. Williams, number nine. Mr. Williams, number ten. You already took a peek at that. Um, remember looking at that, Mr. Stevens? Yes. Uh, Mr. Williams, number nine. Do you recognize who's in that picture? Yes. And do you recognize uh, the clothing shown in that picture? Yes. And do you recognize the color of that clothing? Yes. And does it fairly and accurately depict the clothing um, and the person who's wearing it in that picture, number nine, Mr. Williams? Yes. Yeah, I'll move for the admission of number nine. Any further objection to defendant's nine? No, Your Honor. Not tonight. All right. Defendant's nine is, uh, is admitted and may be published as you see fit, sir. Um, it should be on the screen, but it's right in front of you, Mr. Stevens. Who is that gentleman in Mr. Williams' number nine? Carefully. And, um... Is he wearing a, what I'd call a hooded sweatshirt? Yes. And can you see the type or brand on that sweatshirt? Yes. What brand or type is that? Spider brand. And it, who owns Spider brand, to your knowledge? <laughs> Jeff Williams. Okay. And what color is that hood, hooded Spider brand sweat, sweatshirt? Oh. Blue with white words. Yeah. And do you notice a jacket on top of the hooded sweatshirt? Yes. And what color is that jacket? Blue. Do you notice pants being worn by Mr. Williams in number nine? Yes. And what um, brand is that? Spider clothing brand. Same owner of that brand? Yes. And what color? Blue or white word. And then the shoes. You see shoes? Yes. And um, do you know what type of shoes they are? And if you don't, that's fine. Yes or no? Mm -mm. No, I don't. Okay. And the laces appear to be what color in on the left, on the right foot. Red. And how about the left foot? Blue. Okay. I'd like you to look at Mr. Williams number 10 that should be in front of you. I think I gave that to you. It might be underneath number nine. No, that's the tongue. One more time. Lace of blue on both on it. It looks like that's the tongue. The okay. It's the tongue, tongue is red. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, I answer. I answer to the best of my ability. That's fine. That's fine. Do you see Mr. Williams number ten? It may be under number nine. Yes. You never seen that before? Yes. And there are two gentlemen in that picture, is that fair to say? Yes. Do you recognize both of those gentlemen? Yes. And um is that picture depicted in number 10 of Mr. Williams, fair and accurate depiction of both of those people. Yes. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I move for the admission of number 10. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Do uh, you have any further objection to defense? I'd ask to be allowed to watch your S210 for the admission. All right. <clears throat> Good morning, Mr. Stevens. Good morning. Were you present when that picture was taken, defense exhibit number 10? No. Do you recognize the area that that picture was taken in? No. 
Can you say with certainty whether that picture accurately describes or accurately reflects whatever was present in that area at the time that the picture was taken? Can I say that? No. Your Honor, state objects to number 10. Foundation. He has no basis. Foundation? Yes. All right. Still anything else? That would go to weight, Your Honor, not the admissibility. Um, I'm going to sustain the state's objection this, at this time. Okay. <laughs> at All this right. time. Did I give you number 11, if you could look at that? And it might be 13. I only have 9 and 10. Okay. How is she able to ask him questions during his cross examination? You may, sir. Okay. That's crazy. Let me show you this. Mm -hmm. You recognize what I've shown you before as Mr. Williams number 13. Yes. And do you how many people are do you recognize any of the people shown in Mr. Williams 13? Yes. Do you recognize both those people? Yes. And does the photograph um, accurately show the way those two people look? Yes. And were you present when that image was taken? No. Have you seen that image before? <clears throat> um, yes. Okay. And is that what now is Mr. Williams 13 accurate the way you've seen it before? Yes. And where have you seen it before? Um, social media. Okay. Your Honor, I move for the admission of Mr. Williams. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Number 13. What was that? Any, any objection to defendant's 13, Your Honor? Defendant Williams 13, I should say. I'd ask the voir dire the witness. All right. Can I see 13, please? You got 13 in front of you, young man? Okay, here you go. All right, go ahead, Ms. Lowe. Um, Mr. Stevens, as Lord. to Defendants 13, Mr. Steele asked you um, where or whether you've seen that photograph before, and you said on social media? Yes. Uh, did you place that photo on social media? No. Do you know anything about the time that that photograph was taken? No. Do you know anything about the surroundings in that photograph? No. Do you know anything about whether that photograph accurately reflects what was in the camera range at the time the photograph was taken? In other words, do you know whether or not that photograph accurately reflects the surroundings that those people are in at the time the photograph was taken? No. Is the only basis for your saying you recognize that photograph that you've seen it on social media? Yes. And is your knowledge of the photographs that you saw on social media any greater than your knowledge of the photograph as it sits before you today? I'm saying on social media. Your Honor, based on that, uh, as through this witness, I would object to that photograph. I'm a the objection, Madam. Yes, sir. I'm going to admit it. E13 may be published as you see fit. Well, how the fuck is she able to interrupt his cross, though? On the screen is uh, Mr. Williams' number... Oh. 13. Can you make that bigger without um, crazy, man, making it unreadable? Mr. Kokomo. She, he admitted it, though. You're right. Man. Stay Mr. tripping. Stevens, can you see um, the screen and what's and, and it's in front of you as well? Um, 
and describe to the jurors and tell them by what people are wearing who is seen in that photograph, please. Oh. Jeffrey Williams got on a uh, blue shirt, blue pants, and this this nut. He got on a, a white shirt with okay. plaid shorts. And you use the name Nut. And you T is that sound right? Yes. <clears throat> and do you, by any chance, if you don't, that's fine. Know what Nuts government given names? Yes. Can you tell the ladies and gentlemen jury? None of the Thomas. And by looking at, if you know, Mr. Williams number 13, who posted this photograph of Mr. Williams and Mr. Thomas, Donovan Thomas, on social media? Do I know who posted it? Yeah. Do you know whose Instagram account it was? Yes. Nut. Tell the ladies and gentlemen, jury, who Instagram account posted it. Uh, nut. And for some people who may not know, can you explain what it means by posting on your social media account? What does that mean? Um, uploading the image from your phone to the internet. Okay. And um, at the top, you see where it says big business underscore N -E -N -T underscore nut? Yes. Do you recognize that as somebody's social media handle? Yes. Whose social media handle is that? Um, nut. And then, Mr. Kokomo, if you don't mind just scrolling to the uh, bottom. If, if you know, you see where it says in the first line, 444 likes, you see that? Yes. If you don't, if you don't know, just say, I'm not sure. What does it mean with the number 444 and the word likes next to it um, on social media? That 444 people like the picture. And then underneath that, again, it says big business underscore ENT underscore nut. And then it's written me and little bro. Is that fair to say? Yes. And then it has an ampersand thugger thugger one. Bullying at big homie at Birdman with a five star kind of. Pound 25 million, sky the limit. You see all that? Yes. And I'm in the race, blood love. See all that? Yes. And whose social media account wrote that? I know you don't know who wrote it, but whose social media account is that attributable to? Um, nuts. Okay. And what date was that posted? May 26, 2014. Were you aware whether um, Mr. Thomas and Mr. Jeffrey Williams were friends? Your Honor, I'd ask for clarity, vague. I stand the question. You can rephrase it, sir. Time frame. To your knowledge, was Mr. Thomas, Donovan Thomas, and Mr. Williams friends? Time frame, Your Honor, vague. I stand the question. Just rephrase it. Before the death, of, do you, well, where were you? If, you? if you remember, I know dates are not good. Do you remember where you were at the end of 2014, beginning of 2000, let's say January 2015, if you, if you know? In 2014. If you don't know, it's fine. Yeah. Jail, had jail. You were in custody? Yes. In jail? Yeah. Okay. And is that for the end of 2014 going to beginning of 2015? Yes. But you're clearly out in some point of two th early 2015 because you told the jury about being sent home from the rodeo tour. You remember that? Yes. And you were clearly out on your birthday in um, 2015, April 26th. Yes. Is that true? Okay. All right. Um, 
at the time that you were in custody, put in custody, in 2014. Do you remember when that was? And if you don't, that's fine. At the time when I was in custody? Yeah, were you in custody the end of 2014, going into beginning of 2015, if you know? And if you don't know, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember approximately when you were arrested and put in custody in 2014? Yes. Approximately when was it? Um, I think that's the date we've been just going over. Uh, October 14th, October 2014, I don't know the exact date. That's fine. And that's what was shown uh, days ago um, yeah. with that, with that um, allegation right. when you were arrested. That's how I remember. Yeah. Okay. So let's use that as a date. At that time, October 2014, do you know whether Mr. Williams and Mr. Thomas were friends? Objection, Your Honor, as to... Mm. Vagueness, same objection. Let me see if he, let's see if he knows. I'll, 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 I'll consider the objection based on his next response. If you know. Yes. Were they friends? Yes. I'll okay. handle the objection. Yes, Your Honor. And this May 26, 2014, who um, is referring to who? So you tell us the speakers as Little Bra. Who is Little Bra as you read that on social media? Mm. Jeff. Okay, and who is calling Jeffrey Little Bro? Mm, nut. All right. Um, I want to talk with you. Thank you, sir. I want to talk with you about um, April 26, 2015, your birthday. Okay. Prosecutor was asking you these questions um, on that day and. You remember going into the compound to see a, an entertainer that you really liked. Remember you talked about paying $500, et cetera? Yes. Okay. That's the day I'm talking about. Are you aware at some point that the tour bus of Little Wayne was supposedly shot? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what information you have at all that Jeffrey Williams was in any way involved with the shooting of that tour bus? Uh, any at all? Your Honor. Mm. You have an objection, madam? I do not. Okay, all right. <laughs> Go ahead. Can you answer the question, sir? She just want to talk. Um, I don't have any information at all. Okay. Now, you've been to... Um, Concerts, musical concerts, fair to say? Yes. Have you ever been to a sporting event, a Hawks game, something like that? I've been to a sporting event. Yeah. And at the sporting event that you went to, were they selling, you call it merch, merchandise? Were people selling merchandise, if you remember? I, just, I, I know that they sell merchandise. There. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you were shown earlier a red hat and it said um, Bompton, C O M, I mean B O M P T O N, you remember seeing that video or the photograph rather? Yes. Was that being sold at a show? Yes. And do people make money off of that? Yes. And um, do you know whether any YSL merchandise or merch? is sold at shows. Answer the question, Nick. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and do you know whether people can buy YSL merchandise over the internet? Yes. And do you know whether people can buy spider merchandise over the internet? Yes. And is all this a business? Yes. Do you know, if you know, does Jeffrey Williams have a record label, YSL? Yes. And does he promote his records, albums, music, mixtapes, whatever it is, through YSL? Yes. 
if you know, and if you don't know, you say, I don't know. Has that record label also been bought by a publicly traded company? Uh, objection, basis. If he knows. How old will the objection matter? I don't know if somebody bought it. You don't know? You no. Know. That's fine. All right. Okay. Are you aware that Jeffrey also performs with people, with other people in music? Yes. And um, do you know some of the artists that Jeffrey has performed with? And if yes, tell the jury. Yes. Um. Objection as to relevance. Still goes to what Jeffrey Williams does, Your Honor, for his living. Not a member I, of a. I sustain it. I, I should say I'm going to overrule the objection. He can testify that if he knows. Yeah. Um. Post Malone. Okay. And what type of uh, music is Post Malone known for? Rock and roll. Mm. Different. What kind of artist is it? I say that because that, that one I like. That's fine. One that I like. Do you know whether Mr. Williams has ever um, done work with, you know, an artist named Rihanna? Yes. Okay. Elton John? Yes. Um, has Mr. Williams, to your knowledge, does he have a song out with Elton John? Yes. Is it a popular song, if you know? Yes. You know the name of that song? Yes. What is it? Hi. Okay. Um, do you know whether Mr. Williams has done work with an artist, if you know the artist, Ed Sheeran? Your Honor, I'm going to object to the line of questioning regarding how many or who all Mr. Williams has done work with if it was to establish that he is a rapper. No one disputes that. I don't overrule the objection. Hello? Oh. What? That's okay. Williams, to you, your knowledge, have a um, gigantic country hit? Yes. How about Latin music? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know it's several different genres. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know whether Mr. Williams has performed in almost every continent in the world? Uh, yeah. Do you know whether he's performed over in front of over 300,000 people as the headliner? Objection, Your Honor. I sustain your question. When Jeffrey Williams, you were asked a series of questions on direct examination, that means when the prosecutor was asking you questions, about whether... Um, the conduct of YSL and its associates and members enhanced the notoriety, um, the um, see, respect, the reputation. Tell the ladies and gentlemen jury how crime on Cleveland Avenue committed by YSL, you, or its members, help Jeffrey Williams, when you answer those questions, get respect, reputation, image, notoriety, street credibility. Tell Ob them. Objection as to relevance. 
and objection as to the court will give the law. That's the same question. Your Honor, this goes directly to questions asked on direct examination. It doesn't make them still objectionable, though. So I'm going to sustain the objection at this point in time. Tell the jurors. From being a member of YSL, that's what you said, right? Yeah. Tell the jury how Jeffrey Williams benefits from YSL, the criminal street gang. I ain't got no benefit. I, I, I don't feel like he benefit. I don't, he don't benefit. Okay. Now, earlier you went through in the indictment with me, you were kind enough, when it was, y'all just saw bringing me the money, remember 24 M's on an N, remember that? And I know what you testified to, the jurors will remember. But why, explain to jurors, why would Jeffrey Williams need money from you or anybody else living on Cleveland Avenue? I'm not trying to insult anybody. Just answer that question if you don't mind. Objection as to speculation. I sustain the question. Do you ever give Jeffrey Williams any money? No. Money is a hard commodity to get for you, isn't it? <clears throat> yes. And for many people on Cleveland Avenue, is that fair to say? Objection, speculation. I sustain the question. Wait, my turn? Uh-uh. Okay, oh, nice. my bad. And there's no question out. Oh, my bad. Goes to you, sir. <clears throat> now. When you talked about being upset with um, Quentin Porter, who, remember, and you wanted to separate from Ron Crew, do you remember that? Yeah. You want to separate from him, Mr. Quentin Porter, right? Yeah. And Jeffrey took on the YSL as his record label to sing about. Is that true? Yeah. As Jeffrey's popularity grew, did a lot of people in the neighborhood start singing and saying we're YSL? Yes. Was there any rule to get into YSL? No. Could Jeffrey, to your knowledge, stop somebody from saying, I'm YSL? No. Could Jeffrey stop someone from putting a tattoo on their face, their arm, their... Objection as to speculation and compound. I stand the question. Do you know whether Jeffrey could stop someone from putting a tattoo on their body? Objection still, as to speculation. Still speculation, Mr. Steele. I stand the objection. Could he stop you from putting a tattoo on your body? No. And you said earlier that people were copying, this is my word, Jeffrey, I think your word was, it was tr he was trending or something like that. Do you remember that? Yes. And he was clearly now singing about YSL, right? Yeah. He was clearly um, wearing certain clothing a certain way, right? Yes. And he was clearly being followed by others, true? Yes. Objection, Your Honor, as to speculation. I stand there to last, uh, last question of speculation. Do you know from social media, people outside of Cleveland Avenue starting to dress like Jeffrey? If you know from social media. Objection as to why they would be dressing. Let Speculation. Me, let me, uh, let me, let's see if he knows he has any basis. Can you answer that question? Can, can you say it again? Yeah. I, my bad. When I don't do that, I, I lose my train of thought. Oh, that is not your bad. That is <laughs> Mr. Stevens, and on social media, did you recognize people dressing like Jeffrey as his popularity group. Yes. And that's outside of Cleveland Avenue, right? Yes. And do you know from social media, people outside of Cleveland Avenue, outside of our country, tattooing YSL on their bodies? Yes. And putting Jeffrey's face tattooed on their calves? Yes. On their 
um, stomachs. Yes, I met a girl, she had it on her own. I couldn't hear you. I said I met a girl, she had it on her own. She had Jeffrey's uh, image of his face on her own? Yeah. And also had Jeffrey's lyrics on their bodies. I don't think I've seen no lyrics, but it's possible, though. No, 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 that's fine. And also have YSL tattooed on their bodies from the internet. Yes. Jeffrey became wildly popular, right? Yes. And from your area that you grew up in and that he was there a short period of time? Yeah. Who else from that area is that popular? Nobody. Would you describe the fact that Jeffrey's efforts and talent Excuse me. That's all right. created a brand? Do you know what I mean by brand? Something marketable that people liked. Objection, speculation. I stand the objection. But did you like it? I know you're jealous, you said of Jeffrey at times, but were you proud of him? Yes. Yeah. He did something. Were you, were you shocked at what he did? From where he came from? Objection. Amazed. Now. I stand the question is for him. Rephrase, Mr. Steele. Okay. How would you describe, in your own words, how you feel about the fact where Jeffrey, you know where he came from, to where he grew? Did you ever think that was possible? I feel like anything possible, but... Yeah, it was, it was amazing, man. To your knowledge, do you know whether people say that they know Jeffrey who really don't know him? Objection, speculation. I see no, I see no. the question. Have you ever been in a situation where you knew that someone did not know Jeffrey, but they claimed to be able to contact him? Objection, foundation. I stand the question. Now, <clears throat> Jeffrey you said gave opportunities to you and others. Fair to say? Yes. And although he wouldn't give anyone money, would Jeffrey be free to open his house to others? Yes. And if they needed a place to stay, could they come to his home? Yeah, if he knew you, yeah. If he knew you? Yeah. And how about vehicles? If somebody needed a vehicle, to your knowledge, would Jeffrey let people drive cars that he had? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen, jury, if you know about how people can get cars if they know Jeffrey in his home. Um, can I speak from my experience? Yes. Um, um, the drawer in his house with all the keys and he just... I don't even ask. I just grab okay. And what type of cars are we talking about? I know they change over time. Just give me an example. The type of cars we're talking about. Can I speak from my experience? Sure. Um, I, I've driven a um, Rolls Royce truck, um, Bentley truck, um, a Jeep truck. Yeah, I've driven a lot of them. And from your experience and knowledge, would Jeffrey rent cars for other people if they needed a car? Yeah. In his own name? Yeah. And did other people, including yourself, at times, were you able to rent a car? Did you have a credit card? No. But Jeffrey would do that for you and others? Yes. And would he ask any questions about where you were taking the, the Bentley Jeep, or, or did, was it just... Here you go. Sometimes I didn't even know I was gone. Okay. Same with rental cars? Yeah. 
Now, to get to the rodeo tour, I know you were sent home. Is it fair to say you were sent home by plane? Yes. To get out to the rodeo tour, were you taking a tour bus? When I say you, did Jeffries have a tour bus? And if you don't remember, so. I don't remember how I got there. No, I ain't take tour bus. How about from city to city? Yeah, that was super, yeah. And um, if you were aware, did Jeff, was Jeffrey sleeping on the uh, walkway of the tour bus to let other people sleep in the beds? Yeah. Everybody just falls asleep anyway, wherever you can. I couldn't hear you. I apologize. You just fall asleep wherever you got space to fall asleep. And did Jeffrey make it known that he wanted to show people there is life outside of Cleveland Avenue. Objection, Your Honor. I sustain the question. Was this the first time that you really ever, except for jails and custody, I'm, I'm excluding that. Was this really the first time, because of Jeffrey Williams, that you and others ever left the area that you grew up in, born? Objection as to others. I sustain the question. If he knows. Form. As to form. Just yeah. talk about yourself. I wouldn't have, um... Nah, I ain't leave out of 285 for him. And how about private planes, airplanes? Do you know whether Jeffrey would take private planes to travel? Yes. And would he allow other people to see what it's like to fly? Yes. <clears throat> and these are all new experiences? Yes. And would you ever experience the fact that there's life outside of Cleveland Avenue. Objection. It's kind of vague. I'll sustain the question as to form, Mr. Steele. Before you pose the next question, ladies and gentlemen, how about a comfort break? All right. Mr. Steele, we're going to, and, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, jury, we're going to take 10 minutes and then we'll come back and I'll kind of give you the plan for the afternoon, okay? All right. Uh, ten minutes, remember my admonitions to you. Mr. Stevens, you can take your ten minute break, please. Uh, all rise for our jury, please. Oh my God, man. Why is the judge always cutting shit off when it's about to get good? Anytime Michael Steele, I mean, Brian Steele about to start Mistral. cooking. Free fuck, Mistral. Who said that? Y'all hear that? Somebody tapped into the sound system. <laughs> All right. Um, Mr. Stevens, you can take it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take our comfort break at this point in time. We'll be back in 10 minutes. We're in recess. Yo, y'all know that's Free a lie, right? Mistral. Free hear fuck, Mistral. Yo, somebody tapped into the sound system. <laughs> You heard that? <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. I wish they had panned the thug when they said that. I wish they had panned the thug when they said that. Oh, my God. Yo, y'all know it ain't going to be 10 minutes, right? I'm going to tell y'all that right now. I'm going to go ahead and keep it a 1,000 with y'all. It ain't going to be <laughs> a free thug mistrial. That was crazy. That was crazy. Hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he breaking... Right when Brian Steele about to start cooking. It's like, yo, come on, judge. But, but he took a while to get to it, though. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that we ain't get started about 11 o'clock. So, you know, I thought he was going to stop right at 12. He gave it 30 minutes. So we are on recess right now, family. Appreciate all of you guys being here, rocking out with us today. It's been a good day been a straight day but yeah what y'all think about what's going on man hey uh yeah yeah free thug mr somebody done tapped into the sound system man it's, you know it's all kinds of shenanigans going on in this trial gotta ask sylvia who that was who she think that was but how, how they tapping into the sound system into the courtroom and they not in the courtroom trying to ask he hate no thug yeah i mean i you know you got to give him props for being honest that he was hating on thug or whatever the case may be. that's why a lot of them guys probably cooperated against thug too because they were jealous, man. Low-key, people just want to take you down, man, and they'll, they'll do anything. 
All right, man. So since we on break, we're going to open up the phone lines. I see people calling already. So let's open up the phone lines, man. And let's chop it up. Let's chop it up, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think so far. Call up, call up, call up, call up. Yeah, he hating on Thug, man. That dude. Damn, envy and jealousy, man. Crazy. Look, Thug helping. He talking about Thug was Thug was sleeping on the couch. Oh, my bad. I ain't even turned the phone lines on. Throw no phone lines on. Thug, I mean, Thug sleeping on the floor of the tour bus so people can sleep. Couch. So people can sleep on the beds and things like that. On the tour bus. Nice guy, man. Nice guy. Seemed like a very woman. Didn't, didn't have a big head or whatever. Envy and jealousy is real, Denise. You're right. Phone lines are open, man. Chop it up with your boy, boy. Let's get to it, man. And if I miss your call, I'm going to call your bike. I'm going to call your bike if I miss your call, players. Call from Eric. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio, Eric. Got to be in the A. What's up, man? Hey, brother, how you doing? How you doing, man? Good, good, good. One quick thing I want to say, you know, that 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 that, that thing that was saying mistrial, mm -hmm. uh, defund and stuff like that. The, the crazy thing about this trial, man, is a lot of people don't know. Maybe they do. You know, Funny Willis is also uh, pro, uh, trying to prosecute uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Know, we spoke Donald about Trump, that earlier. You late. OK, well, yeah, what I'm saying is uh, I don't know uh, about the information about who she's dating, though. Uh -huh. have you, have, did you talk about that? Oh, yeah, we did. Yep. Okay, well, you know, they, they're getting all that information, not only from Thug Camp, but from the streets itself. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what that's where Donald Trump is getting his information from. And it's wild, man. It's going to show you how how this this trial has really had the city turned upside down. And, brother, I'm going to be honest with you. Even if they do somewhat have a strong case, which I don't I, I don't think they do, mm -hmm. I think a lot of that evidence they have is going to get thrown out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think all their witnesses especially like the guys that they had turned state's evidence i think they're they're all going to be uh discredited mm -hmm. uh even if they did have a strong case man um they're not going to find 12 people that that's going to convict this kid they're just not it's mm, not yeah, and, it's uh, got to be unanimous of course yep and i said years ago they screwed this case up so bad you know some people thinking the feds will pick it up now the feds the feds never wanted this case the, the state screwed it up years ago uh, uh, they never had a strong case. The, mm -hmm. the feds won't touch that thing with a 10-foot pole. It's plain and simple. They're going to end up giving Young Thug uh, bail. They're going to end up giving him bail eventually mm -hmm. because it, 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 their, their case is falling apart. I got a feeling that when after, after they threw this young man here, when they called their next witness or two, uh, they're supposed to be, you know, that, that took the, the, the pleas, I think Funny Willis is going to then come back and try to offer this boy a sweetheart deal. He'll probably turn it down, and they're going to end up just, 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 it's going to go away, bro. Okay. It's gonna, cause they, they, they're not going to beat him. They're not going to. Brian Steele, what we were saying yesterday about, about uh, people saying it looked like it's, it's, it's a, a plan. Uh, they're gaming uh, 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 the DA with the way this kid, and believe that this kid is in cahoots with Brian Steele and Thug, man, by the way he's testifying. Mm -hmm. Brian Steele and Ponytail, I forget Ponytail's name, the other lawyer. Brother, they're just that good to come up with a plan like that. They're just that good. Those, those guys are legends in Atlanta as defense attorneys. Mm -hmm. They're going to muddle the water so bad, they're not going to get this kid, bro. Okay. It's, it's like Brian Steele and Ponytail going against Fulton County's DA is like the Georgia Bulldogs playing against a high school team. I, I, I'm keeping it 100. That's how good <laughs> them guys are. And all them other guys with the, with the uh, public defenders, Man, you know dang well Brian Steele and the other guys. They they tell them look, just just fall back. We got you. You you mm -hmm. you on paper representing them, but we gonna hold All it right. down for you. All right, man. Hey, I appreciate the insight, man. Thanks for the call. As always, man, from Atlanta, man. Let me get this next call. Appreciate the support, right, brother. brother. Please call back. All right, no doubt. All right. Now somebody just called. I'm about to call your bike. I'm about to call you bike. I'm sorry, but the person you called. Oh, see, I tried to call you back. You missed it. You missed it, 302. Uh, we missed uh, 404. That was my man. So let's call 773. Let's go. We're calling bike. We're calling bike. We ain't got nothing to do. We ain't got nothing to do. Yo. 
Yo, what up? What up? This is Getty Radio. Who's this, man? The sun and the shy. What's going on in the shy? Kill your backgrounds because Yo, you, you're feeding through the right, background. Mute your joint. One minute, one minute. Let me turn my joint down. What's going on in the shy? My man uh, said they not going to get the. I, I got you. I got you. Hey. Yeah, sir, what you got on it, man? So I come home. Ticket is going to jail, man. Okay. Okay, take <laughs> you think <laughs> most definitely. I, if he playing a role, he playing that motherfucker good. He playing it he well, like man. A motherfucker, but he doing right. He taking his time for train mm -hmm. to take his time mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. answer those questions. But he he coming home though. Yeah, he, he acting coming like he can't home. answer the question. Okay, so you think so? Your vote is Thug is coming to the house. Thug coming to the crib. <laughs> he coming home for sure, bro. I right. here looking at y'all now. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for the insight. Appreciate the phone call. Thank you for the support, brother. Yes, sir, brother. You have a good one. All right, you too. Yep. Call from Dosey. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Dosey, where you calling from? Yo. Man, I'm calling from Cincinnati, bro. Cincinnati, Ohio, in the building, man. What you got for me? Look, man. Bro, thug going to jail, bro. <laughs> okay. Listen. Why you say that? Steel, Steel is a cold lawyer. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing it. He a cold lawyer, but that that uh, hey, he done met his match with that love. She shark. She a shark, man. Mm. Them women birthed them boys. Mm. You not about to tell me that dude about to come in there and, and stop them from disciplining them boys? Mm. She is sharp. Pay attention to her, man. She is a sharp because is she up against still still is up against a shark. I can he ain't see. up against the ones he done beat already. He up against a whole nother monster. And she got them boys, man. Hey. She about to run that back. After still get done with dude, she about to run that back. Yeah, she can they gonna I think they're gonna up. run it back. She gonna run it back and tear him apart. You know what's crazy? She running it back in the middle of his cross. <laughs> I've seen it. When she said, no, nah, I ain't going to object to that one. Let him say that because I remember what he just said. Like, so wow. let him keep on because cause they about to hit him with perjury after the trial. Promise you. I promise you he go with the rest of them after the trial. Who are you talking about, Tick? Uh, Tick, hell yeah. He's mm. perjury up there with that boy doing right now. Mm, yeah, he ain't been. He's he he been... lying up there. Look, yeah. he's trying to separate the. He know Thug is rock crew. He know that. But he can't put him at that timeline because he needs Steel to work a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Steel already been talking to that boy. But so, they know Steel been talking to him. They they know what's going on, but man, I'm telling you right now, Steel up against some real sharks. Them girls ain't nothing to be listening to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Them girls is cold at what they doing, man. She she got a million objections. She won't even let him talk. No, nah, because she know what still is, but still about to find out what she is. And the judge is like that's that's sustaining everything. Right. She on a ass. Mm. Mm, yeah, she man. on a ass, man. I'm telling you right now, bro, listen. I don't want to see nobody ever go to jail. You hear me? But I don't know them guys. It's like a movie to me. You feel me? Facts, but I'm yeah. telling you now, I'm really paying attention to her because she's live. I'm hearing what Steele's doing. Mm -hmm. But watch how cold she is, man. Pay attention to her. Them yeah. girls ain't. Them black girls birthed them boys. Yeah. They the mothers. They birthed them guys. Yeah. You think that man about to come in there and stop them girls from disciplining them niggas? No, you it stupid. ain't happening. All right. That's my man from yeah, the shy. Appreciate you yeah, calling, man. man. Thanks Cincinnati, for the support. Man. Cincinnati, man. Yeah, man. But oh, it's Cincinnati. Long, man. Please call it. back, man. Yeah. Appreciate the support, brother. Love. Thank you. Yeah, that was uh, Cincinnati. I had him twisted up, man. My bad, bro. Uh, let me see. We about to call bike. We about to call your bike. 302. 302. I'm sorry. Get that block off your phone, 302. Call from. Hello. Tina. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Tina, where you calling from? I am calling from Pensacola, Florida. 
Pensacola, Florida, in the building. What you got for me? I just wanted to make a comment about what the guy just said about the ladies. Mm -hmm. My thing is, if no one is willing to get on the stand and say, Doug told them to commit a crime, they don't have anything. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I can agree with that because they're trying to say that Thug is the head of the gang, right? Exactly. So where's the evidence of him pointing the finger and calling the shots? Exactly. Mm. What Phil is doing now is letting them know this is a world of monkey see, monkey do, or whatever is popular. We know rappers lie. Mm -hmm. So if no one is going to say, Thug told me to do this, they don't have a case. Mm Mm-hmm. And I also That's think that Steel is Steel is trying to establish that YSL is nothing but a business for Thug and a money making thing. That's why he put the uh, the Spider clothing line up. They're like this is a clothing line. This is a brand. YSL is a brand. Spider's a brand. Young Thug is a brand, and he's a superstar. So and he and this is not a exactly. game thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like and another thing, I don't care what these people are saying about Bloods wear blue all the time. Most Bloods don't. And mm. what he could have been before he became an entertainer. If you look at those people who claim to be game members, mm. they don't wear those colors. Look mm-hmm. what Cardi B went through with the with the conflict with the blood because she had the blue on the face she, she couldn't wear it. And she called it the flu. Exactly. Yeah, and them California bloods went crazy on her. Yeah, I remember. Exactly. Oh, no, the California uh, Crips. I, Crips went blood on, went crazy yeah, on her. Yeah, the Crips. Yeah. I just think they don't have a case unless someone is going to say, he directed me to do this. I think so. I think that's a fact. Yep, yep. Pensacola, Florida, in the building. Appreciate the phone call. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Please you have call a back. Day. You too. Bye. Call from Jack. All right. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio Jack. Where you calling from, player? I'm calling from Delaware, bro. Delaware in the building, man. What you got, man? What you got? Yo, Thug going to beat that case, bro. Tick, he tripping right now, bro. He should never even took the plea, bro. Mm. Why? He was looking uh, at eight. Tell me why. You, would you, so would you, so you were going to do the it eight? It don't matter because you up there, you up there, you up there capping right now. So every time you get caught in your lie, when you go home, you get that call from the DA like, oh, you want to play? All right, we're going to give you that 20. The DA spanking his ass. That's why he can't remember. He came, he came back Monday. He was very truthful. Hi, everyone. The truth. Mark Barton here. And yep. Sandy Hook promise. He was telling the truth like a mug Monday. He was he called Thug by name and everything. Young Thug, the whole nine yards. So And then and then remember you just said Thug didn't give me nothing like last week. Thug ain't, I ain't get nothing from Thug. Mm-hmm. Now today you got stuff from Thug. Oh, yeah. They take the car and all that. Yeah. Now they cut you on your in your life, and that's why the DA keep trying to stop. With the, yeah. Uh, and I like what I like what Brian Steele trying to do, man. Trying to paint Thug as a dude that just a, a generous dude that did things for people, not a guy that was orchestrating gang hits and gang activity, but a man that just had some money and hung around some people that were less fortunate than him and looked out for him, let him rent it cars for him, and let him drive his luxury vehicles, sleep in his house, all that stuff. And this where the judge. I mean, this is where the DA fucking up. They don't got no evidence, so they trying to bring all the witnesses. They don't got no evidence. They know that trial is fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, I appreciate the call, man. Let me get this other call. Thank you all for right. calling in. Appreciate the support, good brother. Please call back, all right? That ain't let me... Call from... This is me calling from Birmingham. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio Neek from Birmingham. What you got, bro? Man, what's up, man? I'm from Birmingham. I studied music, man. I'm let me let these people know, man. Nilsa Hutter already schooled this man about this, man, about this gang life and stuff. That's why you see him wearing that blue. That's why they ain't going to get him on no gang stuff. Mm-hmm. He, he was rep. He was repping it, but Nilsa already told him, like, man, you can't miss gangs with business. That's mm-hmm. why he wearing a lot of blue. See, these people that think, oh, thug of blood, blood. Man, that man had got away from that. That's why you see him wearing a lot of blue, too. Well, listen, I don't, I don't know if it's a crime say. to be in a gang, but I think I think Steel is smart for putting up pictures of him in blue, throwing Which, up, throwing up in bees the blue. and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, in the blue. Yeah. Yep, 
You mm-hmm. right. You right, big homie. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good day, man. You too, man. Appreciate the support, bro. All right. Yes, sir. Yo, 727, we about to call your bike. We about to call your bike. If I don't get a phone call within five seconds, I'm going to call you back, man. Hey, hey, appreciate the love, man. There we go. There we go. Call from Ziggy. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. You said Steve? Ziggy. Ziggy. Where you calling from, bro? Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York in the building, man. What New York got to say about what's happening in this trial in the YSL joint, man? Sex, money, murder, the set out of New York. What Brooklyn got to say, bro? Listen, all I'm saying is that it don't take 300 people if somebody guilty. Like, why y'all need 300 witnesses Witnesses, and then the first witness you call up there is Tick. That <laughs> represents your witnesses? Yo, wrong is wrong. If he yeah. is, if if thug is wrong, it ain't gonna take three hundred people to to figure that out. And you know what? If I'm a juror right now, and I don't know all about all this other stuff that was going on ten years ago, y'all not y'all making me tired. That's what y'all doing. Y'all getting on my nerves. The judge is biased. Like, come on, let's get with it. This is you. You want me to sit here and 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 watch tick witnesses? 300 tick witnesses, and then and then Brian still get up there and annihilate them every single time. Like he cooking, yo, he a straight up chef in there right now. Mm. So you don't think Tick was a good witness to call, even though he was nah, there from the beginning? Nah. He was a he's, he said he's a co-founder of YSL. No, 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 no. First of all, we already know the circumstances that Tick is up there in the first place. All right, the. The man doesn't say he looked like he's fifty, but and he all he keeps saying I was I was in jail all my juvenile all my juvenile. So you thirty years old, your juvenile was just what maybe fifteen years ago when y'all been prosecuting or or studying this case for ten years, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So he already coming on the stand as as a juvenile delinquent. Mm-hmm. A obvious juvenile delinquent. Y'all want us to listen as a as a juror that don't know nothing about what was what, what was going on with Nud and not really you know gang affiliate. I'm just a plain juror, mm-hmm. and then you want me to take this man who climbed himself out the trenches and made something of himself. Mm-hmm. Right. And said, I want to bring along the people who I grew up with or, and try to make a better life mm-hmm. for my family. You want me to take everything that all these other guys continue to do and was doing mm-hmm. and put it all on him. Right. And take it and, and, and lock him up on the strength of tick. You're you going to give me 300 ticks. I th- hey, they might have you know. Sometimes you got to say the best for last. So they may have a they may, they may have an atomic bomb. You don't but know. They may have juror, something really I, heavy down the line. You don't nah, give up the best as, in the in the beginning. As a juror, I'm not gonna make it to the tenth witness at this rate. <laughs> at this rate, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then every time your witness as the prosecution as as the prosecution, every time this man say that he don't know something or he he can't answer a question you want to keep bringing out this 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 thing that he signed that he signed clearly under duress no he did not sign that under duress i'm not gonna let you do that no uh, reason why i say that is because (laughs) look how look how look how still no look how still painted i'm a juror look Mm. how still painted fulton county jail jail and you telling me this boy been locked up since he 11 years old and he tried to do a chemistry a project and he, come on <laughs> you come stupid on. you stupid so man. yeah 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 he right, been I'm gonna let you better uh, off in jail for his kids than out to be honest with you but that's everybody this, this, yeah. is, this is the witness you want to put in front of me to take away this man's life yeah that's, that's what they trying to do man so nah, there we go bro. Hey, I appreciate the call, man. Brooklyn in the building. Always Yo, entertaining with New York doing calls. What you're doing. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, fam. Thanks for the support, right, man. Later. Please call back. Yes, yes, yes. I think we got one more. 
uh, call that I missed. So let me hit this one one more time. 727. 727. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call and you bike. Now, if your ass don't answer, you got to get that. I'm you sorry. Got, the person you uh, were trying see? to reach. See? I'll be trying to call y'all back, and y'all got blocks on your call. That was a good call, though. Yeah, that was a good call. Brooklyn ain't buying it. Brooklyn ain't buying it. Brooklyn like, nah, y'all got to come, come with something better than Tick, man. If you got 300 Ticks, Thug is going to walk. He's going home, man. You you got to do better than that. It's, well, it's, uh, I think yesterday somebody said in there, so there's like 176 uh, witnesses now. It's not 300 anymore, so it got reduced down. But uh, always entertaining when New York calls, man. We already know. Uh, all right. Call from... Bang. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Who's calling? Yo. Yo. Oh, 757 plan. 757, what's up with your phone, yo? Uh oh, look like they're back. Let me give y'all my screen. Hold on. Look like proceedings are about to take place again, family. So we're going to suspend the phone calls. I hope they don't end the day, but we'll have the phone lines back up in a minute. Sorry about that. Hopefully they don't conclude the day. All right. But I got both of y'all. I'm going to call y'all back. Um, Councils, we're going to go ahead and summon our jurors at this point in time. Brooklyn all day. Yeah, 40 minutes, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We bike. We are bike. Yes, sir. We are bike. Just running a sound check right quick, fam. My bad. Hopefully they don't, I don't know what's going on. They're bringing the jurors in. Look like we're going to continue. All right, thank you, Sergeant Ingram. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering, well, what's the deal we're going to eat? We're going we're to go to about 1.30, and then that'll be the conclusion of today, okay? So, oh, my um, God. I'll give you more instructions, all right? So, Mr. Steele, you can continue your examination at this point in time, please. I'm done with this judge. They're going to 130. We got 35 minutes. I'm convinced they're trying to sabotage Mr. Steele. Um, Montgomery, you can call uh, after the conclusion of the court because they ended in 30 minutes. Uh, Mr. So. Uh, Stevens, tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, um, growing up, 
in the area that you grew up in, how many law enforcement officers came to you with opportunities for jobs? None. 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 <laughs> How about um, law enforcement officers who gave you encouragement to lead a better life? Tell the truth. None. You mentioned um, with the honorable prosecutor, King Slime is something that uh, Jeffrey is referred to as. You remember that? Yes. Do you know if um, that is any way uh, tied to some sort of criminality, that name? Mm. No. Okay. Now, Slime, you mentioned earlier Lil Wayne, remember? Yes. Um, and I believe you testified earlier that by listening to Lil Wayne's music in about 2011, 12, I know dates are... I'll stay in the question. I'm not worried about dates. But um, before you ever used, with Jeffrey or anybody in that circle, use slime, where did you hear that term? From um, the music artist, from when? Okay, from the musical artist, Lil Wayne? Yeah. Okay. Are you familiar with the song, Look At Me Now? Yes. Do you know it came out in 2011? If you don't, just say, I don't know the year. I don't know the year. Who sings Look At Me Now, the song you know? Lil Wayne and Chris Brown. Okay. Um, in that song, do you know whether Lil Wayne refers to slime? Yes. Is that one of the songs that um, you adopted, slime, the use of the word slime? No, that's not. That song probably, that song kind of new. Well, it ain't that new, but yeah. It was maybe a different song? It's the same. You asked me what song? Uh, I, oh, yeah. Another question. Do you, another question. Do you remember what song? If you don't, that's fine. No, I don't remember. No. That's fine. Okay. Now, I'd like to show you what I've marked as Mr. Williams number 12. And tell me whether you recognize this, okay? Do I may approach? You may, sir. <laughs> you recognize number 12. I didn't mean to throw it. Yes. And what is, um, how do you recognize number 12? Oh. It's an album cover. And um, is number 12 to pick the way that you understand and you've seen the album cover in the past? Yes. Is there anything different about number 12 versus the album cover that you've seen in the past? No. And do you recognize the person in number 12, Mr. Williams? Yes. And um, is there any doubt in your mind that number 12 does not, is not accurate of what the album cover looks like that you've seen in the past? So let me ask you a better question. Is number 12 accurate to the album cover that you've seen in the past? Um, he's doing a, a different pose, but this from the, um, this from the album cover, though. Okay. Your Honor, I will move for the admission of Mr. Williams number 12. Any objections to the defendant Williams 12? No objection. All right, defendant Williams 12 is admitted, which is you see fit. Okay, Mr. Stevens, who is that in number, Mr. Williams number 12? Jeff Williams. And um, <laughs> what color is the Lord. garment? What colors are the garment that Mr. Williams is shown wearing in number 12? My God. White, white top and uh, blue bottom, sky blue bottom. And how about the hat? White, white top, yeah. Uh, and the hat, and if you ask that question, just say I've answered the question. Yes. Okay. What? Okay. And um, how 
how would you describe, if you could describe that garment? Would you say that that's a dress? Yes. Okay. And how many entertainers did you know at the time male entertainers were wearing dresses on their album covers? Just relevant. Former question. I'll the question. Did you ever see another album cover with the entertainer in a dress who's a man? Objection. Right. How about the necklace? Do you see the necklace or the necklaces on Mr. Williams? Yes. How would you describe the, how many necklaces do you see? I just know there is several of them. Okay, that's fine. And would you describe the top two necklaces as tight around the neck? Yes. Do you know, do you remember which album this is from, the album cover? Jeffrey? Okay. Yeah. And to your knowledge, did this album, was it wildly popular on social media? Yes. Are you familiar um, with whether Jeffrey has children? Excuse me. My wife, Kate Yarnick. Yes. And do you know how many, and tell the ladies and gentlemen jury, how many children Jeffrey has? I don't know is that. I think about five or six. Five. <laughs> and do you remember um, growing up calling a location Haiti? Yes. Tell, explain that to ladies and gentlemen, Jerry, what Haiti is. Um. You don't know what Haiti is, boo? It's on Cleveland Avenue. And do you know why it's called Haiti? Or why you call it Haiti? Yes. Tell the jury. Um, it was from my understanding of what the actual place Haiti was like. It was, from my understanding, Haiti was like run down. And, the country? Yeah. Okay. It was, yeah. Um, do you know, did you um, place on your body a tattoo with the word Haiti? Yes. Did we see that earlier when you were being shown pictures of tattoos? No, nah, it's on my leg. No, it's on my leg. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> do you know, if you know, is one of Jeffrey's daughters named Haiti? Yes. And do you know, if you know, does Jeffrey have his children tattoos names on his... Uh, Objection relevance. A same objection. Are you familiar with Jeffrey's tattoos, or some of them? How about on his face? Yeah. Okay. Do you know whether Jeffrey has um, Haiti on his face, tattooed on his face, if you know? Uh, I think I think Haiti on his chest. That's fine. Okay. Jonesboro South. You know Jeffrey to come from there? Yes. Okay. Until it was torn down? Yes. Does Jeffrey have Jonesboro South, if you know, tattooed on his body? Yes. Where would that be, if you know? Oh, yeah, that's what's on his chest. Okay. Not bad. It's okay. So Jonesboro South is tattooed on Jeffrey's chest, as far as your memory? Yes. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Do you remember there being a McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue at one time? Yes. Do you know the address by any chance? No. That's fine. Do you know the, um, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen jury some of the businesses that are around that McDonald's? When, yeah. well, let's start here. Let me make sure we're talking about the same McDonald's. Do you know the cross streets that that McDonald's that you're talking about to make sure that I'm talking about the same one? Yeah. What streets? Mount Zion and Cleveland Avenue. 
And do you, can you tell, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry, what stores are near that McDonald's when it was there? Excuse me. An uh, auto parts store, a gas station, a, a, a church's chicken restaurant, and a car laundry. Is that McDonald's, to your knowledge, in business today? No. When that McDonald's was um, operating or in business, when it was open to, to the public, do you know um, whether it had any cameras, surveillance cameras? Did you ever notice that? I um, probably wasn't paying attention to them. That's fine. Um, pretty sure they did. I was still a guy came. Oh, my bad. My bad. I have a standing objection. You can rephrase, please. Let me show you what I don't believe is admitted to the evidence yet. Take a look at that. Just orient yourself to Mr. Williams, number one, and tell me whether you recognize what is shown in Mr. Williams, number one. Yes. And is Mr. Williams, number one, accurate as of the time um, that this photograph was taken, whatever time? Is it accurate? Um, as far as what your memory and the surrounding areas that you described to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Can I object as to failure? objection. You can rephrase the foundation if you can. Is uh, Mr. Williams number one accurate of what it depicts or what it shows? Yes. Okay. And is there anything from your observations in the past, anything different about number one, as to the general layout of those buildings and those streets. No. Your Honor, I move for the admission of Mr. Williams, number one. Any objections to defendant Williams, one now? Your Honor, I just ask for a little bit more clarity or ask for it here. All right. Go ahead. Mr. Stevens, at what time... But when, what year is it that? The imagery in Defendant's Exhibit Number 1 reflect, are you from, what year is it that you're talking about that it accurately reflects? Do you know? What year did this was taken? Yeah, yes. No way. When you were asked by Mr. Steele, does it reflect the year that you remember, what did you understand him to be saying? I thought he said that this area, I understood him to be saying that this, that this how this area looked, ever. Ever? ever? Yeah. Okay, at what time did that area look like that? I remember them remodeling this McDonald's, so since them remodeling this McDonald's, that's how it looked. And around the time, no exact, no exact year, just, do you have any frame of reference to tell me when they remodeled that McDonald's? I remember when they remodeled it and it started looking like that. All right, uh, fair enough. Um, your Honor, I would ask for a little bit more clarity as to the time frame or mm. something. But okay, you still no. need some more foundation, Mr. Steele. I'm sustaining your objection for the time here. How about using the October 2014 date? I'm just talking about that arrest 
that you referred to? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. At and before, around that time, is that the way that that area looked? Before you were arrested, approximately October 2014? This McDonald looked look like this before I left for prison. Okay. And when did you leave for prison, unfortunately? 2015. Your Honor, I moved for the admission of number one. No objection. All right. D1's admitted that he publishes you see that? I'm sorry. Okay. Now, um, we are going to use that with another witness, Your Honor, but thank you, sir. With regards to um, snitch, do you remember the district attorney asking you about a snitch? Yes. What that word meant to you? Yeah. And you said something, the effect of a person who works with the police, did you, did you say objection, something like Your that? Objection, Your Honor. That mischaracterization. I stand. Did you say something like that? Yes. No, he didn't. He did to you, since you asked that by district attorney, does a snitch mean someone who lies? It could. Okay. And does a snitch mean somebody who was given an incentive? That may be a bad word. Let, let me change it. Is a snitch someone who benefits by testifying for the prosecution. Is that your understanding of that word? It could. You were asked about rat. Remember the district attorney asked you about rat? And if you don't remember, just say I don't remember. I thought she said snitch. I know. I thought she said talking about snitch. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> I want to talk with you. Do you remember being asked questions about uh, something called false flagging. Do you remember something like that? Mm. Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen the jury what you, how you, you know, Mr. Stevens, understand the phrase false flagging. If, if at all, in any context, the way you understood the question. <clears throat> mm. I, I really understand what she is. Okay. okay. My God. Have you heard that term before? Yes. Do you know? And if you don't know, say fine. It's good. It's all good. It's what you know. Do you know? Um, and can you tell us what false flagging means to you in the context of a supposed criminal street gang? Can you tell, ladies and gentlemen, what you understand, if at all? And if you say, I don't understand what you're saying, just say, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie. You know what that means. I'm only familiar with it because of like things I don't heard, so I don't know if what I heard was true. So that's fine. Dancing again. Okay. Um I wanna go back to criminal street gang YSL. Okay? Yeah. You testified to that earlier in your testimony. Remember that? All right. All right. To join YSL, is there any type of pamphlet or Bible <clears throat> or rules that you're aware of if somebody wants to be YSL gang? No. Do you know whether um, in order to claim that they're part of YSL, somebody has to be beaten in? Do you know what beaten in means? Yeah. You learned that in juvenile detention center, yeah. juvenile jail? Yeah. Is there any, to your knowledge, is there any type of requirement that to become a member or an associate of YSL, you have to be beaten in? No, I know for a fact you don't have to be beaten. How about to leave YSL criminal, I'm just talking about criminal street gang YSL, that you described earlier. Is there any type of beating out to, to beating get out? out? No. Any type of, um, Having being sexed in, maybe a bad term, somebody having sexual relations with a number of people in order to become a member of YSL. Is that anything like that? No. 
How about paying money to enroll? Is there anything no. like that? No. How about paying money to get out of criminal street gang? Why is that? Anything like that? No. Is it true, from your understanding, your experience, and your testimony, that anybody can claim to be wise up? Yes. Mm. Do you have to know them and approve them? No. Do they owe anything to you? No. Do they have to come to you and say, I am uh, going to commit a crime and on behalf of YSL, did anything like that happen? No. Okay, with regards... Sean Odom, what up? To Kenneth Copeland. Woody, remember we were talking about Woody? Yes. If you know, if you don't know, just say, I don't know. Is he from the Cleveland Avenue area? No. Do you know what area Mr. Kenneth Copeland or Woody is from? If you know. And if you don't know, just say, I don't know. <clears throat> I think from Canterville, or Carver Holmes, one of them, Carver Holmes. Carver Holmes? Yeah. And when you say one of them, what was the other one? Mechanicsville. Or Mechanicsville? Yeah. Some of the jurors may not be familiar with those areas. Just you, if you don't mind, and if you know, use Cleveland Avenue and describe where would Carver Holmes be compared to Cleveland Avenue at the time you're talking about, at some time. Um, both of those places are probably 15 minute driving distance from Cleveland Avenue. Yeah. And if you know Carver Homes and Mechanicsville, how close are they to each other if you can orient the jurors to that? If you know, and if you don't know, just say it, I'm not sure. Probably five minutes drive this from each other. Five, seven. You said five minutes approximately? Yeah. Okay, and you're approximating, right? Right. Okay. Um, when is the first time that you remember um, meeting with Woody? Like, my word would be hanging out with. That may be a bad term, but if you know. If you don't know, say, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Get him still. Get him. Get him. Okay, one second. You may, sir. Thank you, sir. What y'all think Brian's still cooking up right now, man? Is he cooking? Is he cooking or not? Is Brian still cooking or not right now, man? y'all think all y'all confused like we were on monday and then he gonna smack you in the face with something at the end but he got 10 minutes to do it because according to the judge they're concluding at 1 30 eastern standard time that's crazy i like the picture he painted a little bit i'd like to show you Trying to I absorb Doug from a gang. I like the questions about being jumped in. It's Mr. Williams' number. I believe I'm up to 24. 25. 
26, 27, and 28. And give me one second. Yes. You know, I can ask Mr. Kokomo to approach, if you don't mind, with your computer, if you don't mind. I think he's doing a good job, man. Just being methodical, you know. Can you show the DM? More music videos coming. Can you show the DA because they're not in color? Add one all the way through this one. Excluding this one. Including. Excluding. Um, I'm walking. I'm walking. He says, you never underestimate steel again. Me either. That's why I'm being patient. I'm not. Notice I haven't said what is he doing. Because he got us Monday, so we're going to give him some grace today. Don't say double say he ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing shit. <laughs> As a music video director, I'm offended. That's sure, funny. That goes consecutive. Thank you. Gentle. The Ziggs are you stupid. Yeah, but because uh, steel is gentle. <laughs> uh, so. Brian is the new Johnny. I don't know if he that good. He good, but I don't know. I don't know. Caution cancer salute. Good morning. Good afternoon. You doing a good thing? Trish said he's doing a good job taking his time, picking apart each claim little sure. by little. Yeah, I think so too. Um, kind of established why sales not a gang. You don't have to be jumped in. You don't, you know, because that's typically gang stuff where you got to be jumped in or jumped out or disciplined to get in or sexed in, like he said, for the females. So, yeah, I think he, uh, yeah, he's slow cooking. But he ain't in shark mode yet. And I don't think the judge gonna give him time to do it. We don't know. All that talking he was doing in that interrogation video, I, I bet you they gonna pull him up. I bet you they gonna pull him up and call him to testify. Woody, that is. Slow and steady. Mm hmm Prosecutor got a runner running with the information. I am being patient, Denise. Your Honor, may I approach with Mr. Kokomo and Mr. Stevens? You may, sir. Woody got a deal because he won't. He want to get out. I'm just showing. I ask that they not publish the jury. I know he's not doing it intentionally, but Mr. Kokomo has him facing the jury. I'm just showing you what's uh, been marked as Mr. Williams on 24th and 29th, but these are not colored. That's why I asked Mr. Kokomo to come up, so you could use them for the numbers, but the screen, Mr. Kokomo, would be the accurate um, exhibit I'm going to ask you about, okay? Okay, thank you, Mr. Cook. Mr. Stevens, I'm just going to go in order, if you don't mind. Yeah. You need to see the color again. 
just let us know. Number 24 that's in front of you in black and white. Mr. Williams, number 24, do you recognize um, that exhibit? You ask me, do I know who it is? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Do you know who's who's in that, who's depicted or shown in that exhibit? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And do you reckon, do you have any reason to believe from the um, computer screen, because that's really the exhibit, that there is any alterations to that, or is it accurate in what you know 24 to be? Yeah. I object to the form of that question. Um, regarding the computer screen being the basis for the average foundation is the question that I'm. I sustain this to form. Okay. Is 24 accurate in what it depicts? Yes. Based upon your knowledge and belief? Yes. And, um, number 25. You can look at that. I think it was in 21. Do you Camille. recognize number 25 in the person that was in it? Yes. And is that an accurate depiction of the person who you are familiar with in number 25? Yes. Do you have any reason to believe that there's been any um, modifications or changes? No. I mean, you know that person to look? No. Number 26. Do you recognize the person in number 26? Yes. And does it accurately reflect the way that person looks in number 26? Yes. Have you seen these photographs before, by the way? Um, well. Okay. We're going to go by numbers. Let's just get through 29. Is 29, you look in 29? Number 29. You recognize the person in that picture? Yes. And does it accurately reflect the person who you know on that picture? Yes. You can identify that person? On 29? Yes, sir. Which person? A couple people on 29. Okay. Do you recognize any of the people on 29? Yes. Okay. Do you recognize all the people on 29? No. All right. Which numbers, and just use the numbers, do you um, recognize have seen before and that there's no alterations to any of the pictures. Objection as to compound. I stand the question. Which numbers, and you could go one by one, starting at 24, do you recognize that you've seen before and it's accurate in the no. depiction? Objection as to vagueness, which numbers do you I stand the question. Mr. Seale, let's be kind of um, clear. Why don't you just take them to like one at a time? Like we start out with defense 24. Mr. Stevens, look at this, Mr. Williams number 24. Yes. Yeah. Have you rec do you recognize that photograph? Yes. Yeah. Have you seen that photograph before? Yes. Yeah. Anything um, material or immaterial, meaning little, that has been changed in number twenty-four? No. All right. I move for the admission of number twenty-four, Your Honor. Any objection to the defendant being twenty-four now? Yes, Your Honor. I'd ask to approach. All right. Come on, mm. up, please. How's she gonna ask to approach right at one thirty? You know what? The judge texted us and said, you need to approach the bench at 1.30, God damn it. The judge told her to approach the bench at 1.30. That's crazy. We concluded at 1.30, and they got a bench conference at 1.30. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. It's crazy, man. Uh, we had a poll up the whole live, man. We got, uh, do you feel the judge is, un I should have said unbiased and fair, 30, we got 389 votes, man. 36% of y'all said, yes, he's cool. 64% of you guys said, nah, the judge be tripping. All right, so that's the consensus of the day. The judge is with the state because he's sustaining everything. He barely had any overrules today. Now, think about it. When Steele did the same thing, it was overruled, overruled. Overruled, overruled, overruled. Still can't get it overruled to save his life. Michael X said it's over. Right on time. Yeah, right at 129, Michael X. 129, she called for a conference. That was the plan. I think the judge hit her, text her on the low low. It's like, look, 129, you need to ask to approach. 
129, around 129, somewhere around in there. You need to ask for the approach, you know? Bench conference at 1.30, and it's supposed to conclude at 1.30, Lord. Yeah, it's over. Putting steel on ice, yeah. I think steel doing good. But this is how you build, man. Poll after this poll how you shows build. Trump is the weakest candidate against Lord. Biden by double. Uh, Carlson kind of said they in cahoots. I don't. I don't know. They might be, but we notice. Yeah, it might be a plan. Objection, Your Honor. I'm your girlfriend. Sustained. <laughs> Judge want to spank that monkey this evening. You better sustain, how that. You better sustain it. You want to spank that monkey. I ain't mad at him. Hit the like button, family. Appreciate y'all for being here, man, rocking out with us, man. We got over 600 people in here, man. Appreciate y'all rocking out with us today. Y'all don't, yeah, I don't like how things are going in the courtroom. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of sustaining, man, of the objections, and still ain't really allowed to cook. She's interjecting a lot, trying to clarify for him. You know, my four girl says oh, this case. This case makes me sleepy. Wow. See, you think he like one of them? I don't know. I ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? Fraternizing goes on in the professional world, just like it goes on at Popeye's Chicken. There ain't no difference. It ain't no difference. You know, the manager tapping the cash register, the judge might have a little some little li liaison with some of the attorneys, some of the DAs, some of the, you know, some of the some of the officers of the court, you know? The sheriffs and things like that, bailiffs and all of that, getting it in. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no difference. They're called salute, man. Shout out from Staten Island. Staten Island in the building, man. Salute, salute. Uh, yeah, no difference. No difference at all. You know, it happens, man. You're working in close proximity with people like that. You know, all y'all women who work in the office, all y'all listening to my voice right now, all y'all ladies who work in a professional setting and got you a work husband and probably got a dude at home. Y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all, y'all got y'all, y'all little work husband. You're in violation, ladies. I'm gonna tell you that right now. If you got a work husband, you in violation. As me standing up for the male delegation, you are in violation. You are not to have no damn work husband, goddammit. Unless it's me. <laughs> but all y'all. Camille said, oh, no, not me. Mm -hmm, work husband, maybe. Oh, this my work husband. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. Better not come to me talking about you got a work husband. It's a wrap. I already know what's shaking. finna clock in uh camille says she's finna clock in right now have a good day work safe no work husbands mike is gonna say love bringing them lunch i hope judge give him a little more time to cook you know it's typically when the judge gives a time whether it's lunch or whether when they're gonna take lunch it's always after it's never he's never he's not punctual he's never on time anyway so if he say 1 30 they probably conclude at two. So we, we, we'll say, let's cross our fingers. That we got 30 more minutes of court time left. And the judge is going, you know, because the judge going to let Brian Steele cook a little more. You know, he's going to let it go on for, you know, for a little while. And then he's going to conclude the day. I don't think he's going to be right on time with this one. Let's hope not. Uh... That's what she, uh, the door was shaking. They them buns that was for the uh, for the work husband too. Uh, mm -hmm. I see the ladies didn't, didn't chime in on that one. You know, I might have touched the nerve a little bit, but it's all good. It's that Chris Brown in the back. I think they got control of that person that was uh, coming off the mic. I don't know. Maybe they found out where it was coming from. But you know, people can. I think this judge right here is very generous, man, because other judges was will cut the cameras off. When you got shenanigans like this going on in the courtroom and things like that, some judges have cut the cameras off. And I think he did earlier because 
What trial was that we were covering when the judge might have been this one? I mean, what trial was that early last year we were covering and a YouTuber somehow got the judge's phone number? A YouTuber, a fellow YouTuber, somehow got the judge's phone number, number to his office and started calling the judge on live, harassing him, talking junk about him. And I think it was this judge. And I think Glanville had cut the, was it the Melly case? Might have been the Melly case. Might have been this one. I think Glanville had turned the uh, cameras off for a little while too. Okay, that was, that was Melly. I think it was this case too, right? Because he turned the cameras off for a little bit. I mean, a lot of us was upset at that. We were like, damn, why you do that, bro? I remember that. Yeah, he... he <laughs> Say she's the court reporter. Who's the court reporter? Everyone in the courtroom is yawning. Because they turned that heat up. I told that heat make you sleepy. Oh, it looked like they're concluding. A lot of movement going on right now. Said, I has always worked around mainly Indians, so no work husband for me. All mainly Indians. Okay, that's what's up. Give that man, give that man a bond, weak ass kid. They gotta keep him where they want him because you know I, I guess they're kind of trying to say he a flight risk. He got money, he can disappear. He can go over there with Russell Simmons. You slide over there. Well, where did Russell Simmons go? He went to uh, he went to Bali. He went to Bali. That's where Diddy need to go. Cause they about to get they about to get Diddy. They didn't need to slide on over there to Bali real quick. For real. He need to go to Bali. Thug ha- now, let me ask y'all this. They were saying something about Haiti. Is, Thug, is young Thug Haitian? Is he Haitian? He's, no, he said, he said he got a daughter named Haiti. They named a, a spot, I guess, whatever, a hangout spot they used to hang out at, named, called that Haiti. Is Thug Haitian? I never knew that. If he is, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. The Melly prosecutor was removed for misconduct. Uh, thug handling this well. Ain't got no choice. You got to be stoic. Sylvia said they about to leave. I figured, man. As soon as they done with that uh, desk conference, whatever they call it. Sylvia said they done um, for the day. Lord. That's promised. That's a Almost uh, one forty. So, and since I know you all haven't had lunch and we had kind of an abbreviated schedule, we're going to go ahead and stop for the day. So, um, Mr. Where's Mr. Stevens? Can you, Mr. Stevens? Um, I'll see. We'll see you tomorrow morning at nine thirty. Okay. Don't discuss testimony with anybody except the attorneys in this case. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are going to recess for today, and as I just mentioned earlier, we will start up tomorrow morning. Not if you all could be here for nine thirty, and we'll start sometime between nine nine thirty or after ten, <laughs> uh, and then we'll have kind of a similar day that we had today, and then that will complete our week, okay? And then I'll give you more instructions, and but you know about next week, and that we'll be we'll be on administrative time next week give you some time to kind of take care of some other things you may need to. So, um, okay. Any questions of me before I give you my admonitions? I have one. Oh, I was just asking just for, just for, just to be kind, but what does he want to tell me? What does he want to ask me that? Oh. <laughs> I know you got the schedule for kind of prediction January would look like some month in advance. Yes. Is there any kind of projection for February or March yet? Um, not quite. Not quite, but we're working on it. But I, and as soon as I let you know, I'll give you as much notice as I can, consistent with what I did last time, okay? All right, anybody else? Okay, how about jurors stickers? Okay, all right. Just, um, just let us know. We know people. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll be replenished. Um, how are your headquarters back there? You good? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, we just remember the um, admonitions I've given you that continue to um, cover you and apply to you. Um, please don't discuss your test. Please don't discuss anything that you've heard in the in the four walls of this courtroom as you go out, as you go home, as you as you are um, in, at rest. And please don't let anybody else try and approach you and talk with the matter. But 
talk with this case um, in any way if they should. Of course, you know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to let Sergeant Ingram and myself know immediately. Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, again, we appreciate your patience, and we appreciate the patience you're continuing to give, and we'll continue to give this matter. So unless you have anything else of me, um, we'll go ahead and recess, and we'll see you tomorrow morning uh, for 9.30, okay? All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all rise. Remember, Lord. leave your notepads in the basket. Lord, Lord, Lord. Appreciate the love. That he got everybody. Oh, man. How the judge going to come in at 11 and then conclude at 1.30? Like, come on, judge. Come on, judge. I gave him credit for saying we only get about four hours out of him. We didn't even get that today. Wow. Let Brian still cook. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Our jury has left us. Um, any other inquiry of me, counsels? Not from the state, Your Honor. All right. Hearing none, then, ladies and gentlemen, if I could get you all to uh, advocates to be here tomorrow for 9.30. We'll go ahead and get started somewhere around the, the 10 o'clock hour. And I would just ask you all respectfully, um, in terms of Zoom access, um, since we had our sit the situation this morning, please be very judicious and don't give out this link to anybody else. Um, okay, it was through Zoom. And um, I would, because that just interferes with our ability to um, uh, to conduct these proceedings in a respectful and responsible manner. So please don't unless you unless you get prior authorization from the court. And so unless people identify themselves. Uh, or clearly, you know, let Mr. Kearns know who they are. We will not admit you. So you, mean, you might want to make sure that you your proper name uh, and uh, your Zoom identifier is given to him so that we can properly admit you. All right. Unless you have anything else, um, if you could bring your electronic devices up, and then Mr. Steele and Miss um, Mr. Adams and Miss Love. Uh, our conversation earlier about the uh, electronic devices, um, I'll include that as the next court exhibit in order. Um, and is there anything about our conversation that we need to place on the record other than my, uh, my, uh, my ca uh, um, cautions to, um, as to other electronic devices being utilized? I don't think so. Okay. And I was just reminding everybody else, remember, your clients are not to have electronic devices while they're, phones in particular, while they're in here. We already had a problem with that once already. So please do not let your clients have those devices while they're here in the courtroom mm. um, or we're here, okay? All right. Okay, unless there's anything else, then we're in recess. All right, see you all tomorrow morning, 930. My God, man. You know what? The prosecution got full days, fam. Y'all do y'all know that? The last time the prosecution was on the stand, we was here till 5, 530. Crazy. He can't even give the defense a whole day. Maybe him and Steele got some beef. Maybe him and Steele got some beef or something. Maybe, you know, maybe him and Steele had a fallout or something. I don't know. Yeah, more time out than in. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then a half a day, man. Lord, 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 Lord. All right, so that's that. We get a couple of phone calls before we get out of here, man, because we did not talk to my man. Montgomery, man. So let me call him. I think I got his number. Cause he did call. Let's call Montgomery because Montgomery was accusing Marshawn of lying about being locked up with Gunner. I don't know. All right. So what was the phone number? Six, seven, nine, nine. All right. Six, seven, nine, nine. Uh, I 
think that's it right there. Yeah, we'll take some phone calls, fam, before we get up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all rocking out with your boy. Has capacity to heal that. Appreciate you rocking out with your boy. Thank you for the love. Please hit the like button. Please comment, share the live. Uh, join the Discord. Join the family. You know, don't be shy. Stay tuned for the content. There is standalone content on the channel. So, of course, we will be here uh, uh, posting additional content after the day and every day. So please stay tuned, man. Subscribe for all of that. Thank you, guys. Yeah, the prosecutors got the entire day, 4.30, 5 o'clock. We still here. They still questioning dude. You know what I'm saying? My man, this dude right here, they <laughs> all right, man. I don't even want to speak on it. All right, we finna call Montgomery, man. All right, we'll call up, Montgomery. Call up. Montgomery said he about to call. Damn, it's over. I missed the last 30 minutes. Yeah, you missed the last 30. Damn, yeah, man, the judge out there. Look, the judge get in. What time he get in? Like, almost 12? I, when, when, it, when 12 o'clock hit, I was like, he finna take a break. But he waited for a while. I think they took a lunch break about 12.30. Came back about 12 something. No, they, they took a 10-minute break. He skipped the lunch. That's what he did. Because actually, at the end, he said, they didn't take a lunch break that, you know, the jurors and stuff didn't eat. So I guess making up for being late, he skipped lunch and still left early. My God. My God. Look, come to work late, leave early. My goodness. Come on, man. If you're going to come to work late, at least stay the whole damn day. That's the least you can do. Ah, this judge right here, boy. Golly. I think this Montgomery right here, fam. Call from. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. What's up, bro? Hey, right, what's going on, man? What's going on with you, man? What you got for me? This Montgomery, hey. right? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, yeah, man. So, a couple things, man. Um... So the guy tick, man, like what people what 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 really starts to get me first off is I ain't nobody going down to the courtroom putting their hand up saying, Hey, I do them eight years for buddy, man. I ain't nobody doing that, but everybody got a suggestion about what he should do because of who young thug is. When young thug lawyer has clearly showed everybody that young thug is out for young thugs. Y'all can do all the, oh, he offered this, he offered that. Bro, one thing about your partner, bro, if he gonna offer you a job, he gonna put you in position. Not making a nigga carry your bags around, carry everybody else's bags around. That ain't putting me in position, my guy. He done got on the stand and told everybody I want to be a chef. Now, let's just say, I don't know if he lying about that or not. Because I don't know where he want to be in his life. But he done got up there and said he want to be a chef, right? Mm -hmm. So if he done got up there and said that the human throw a partner, if you don't think your throw know he want to be a chef, why not help your man get a culinary art school? So, so see, I ain't saying you got to take care of a nigga or pay for a nigga. But if this your man's, put me in position. Just the way you in position. Because one thing about it, everybody from Atlanta who was in the streets know what's really going on. Young thug is rock crew. A part of rock crew. It, it wasn't just about um, being raised on Cleveland. Why? And then why itself came about because it became a hybrid game. It became from Rock Crew, 30 Deep, and uh, Carver Homes, and Montel, not Montel Homes, um, uh, Cap niggas who stayed out of the old Capitol Homes and all that. That's how YSL formed. Mm -hmm. So, from the jump, <clears throat> he fucked himself up by saying, Young Thug not a part of Rock Crew. Mm -hmm. So he didn't snitch. He, if he wanted to snitch, he could have been snitched. Only thing he done gave them folks is shit they already know. Like yesterday, identifying who is this, who is that, who is that. All mm -hmm. of them are part of YSL. Okay, it's not a crime being a part of YSL. It's not even a crime being a blood. The crime is if we're doing crimes to, to get our ranking up in this game. That's mm -hmm. what the whole thing's about. And his clear agreement most of his plea agreement was really about him uh, mm -hmm. pleading guilty to the charges that they that, that, that they have against him. Mm -hmm. It was maybe three sections 
worry about Young Thug. Mm-hmm. But it's nothing that can hurt Young Thug. If anything, he hurt himself more than anything at this point because he's clearly not cooperating with, 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 with the state. Clearly. So at any given moment, they can rip that plea agreement up and send him to prison. Now, the only thing that would help him in that situation is if they was to do that and Young Thug beat this case, then his lawyers can come back and it'll be a better fight for him because Young Thug has beat these charges. Mm-hmm. But for his charges that he have, he's pled guilty to. Mm-hmm. So he's going to be fucked either way it go. So in this situation where everybody keeps talking about, everybody looking at Young Thug. Oh, Young Thug, Young Thug. And it's funny how before Young Thug got locked up, he was so seen as this big slime, this big blood, this big nigga that's just this and that. Now all of a sudden, everybody want to got that. Oh, free Young Thug. He uh-huh. ain't do this shit. I thought they were cool with being a gangster, man. Mm-hmm. Also, niggas ain't looking at Young Thug Telling his lawyer shit, is that not snitching? Because one thing about it, his lawyer got to goddamn come in the courtroom and present this shit to everybody. So when so when they ask Tick, hey, you went in you went in New Orleans with them boys, why? And what Tick say shit? Maybe because Young Thug didn't have the money to buy everybody else a ticket. What did Young Thug lawyers come back and say? Well, you went in New Orleans because you got kicked off the tour, and then not only that, they tried to make it seem as if he did something on the tour. When they had allegations where Young Thug had to pay them folk, yeah. it wasn't even him. But why he get sent but, home then? But he got sent home. He wasn't the only one that got sent home. Most of them got sent home for the simple fact of who else they was on the tour with. And at that time, Young Thug, when Young Thug, who he is now, as far as the money go. So mm-hmm. him paying for what had been damaged hurt the, not only hurt the tour, but it hurt his pockets at the same time. Yeah, but, but to the flip side of that, mm-hmm. how did how did how did Brian Steele know he got kicked off the tour and sent home? Who yeah, told but, him that? But look, look, hold on, hold on. So I gotta disagree with you on one thing. Your opinion is your opinion. But anybody mm-hmm. knows when you get caught up in a crime, the one person you gotta be honest with is your attorney, bro. You just said he's snitching because he told his attorney all of this. He's supposed to tell his attorney okay, the truth. Okay. You okay, know? listen, listen to this. All right. so, no, no, I follow you. I, I follow you on that. Yeah. I promise you, I do. The point I'm getting at is he went back there to tell his attorney the truth, right? Mm-hmm. To do what though? To do what? Shit, the man snitched on him to paint to paint ticket in a negative light I'm to the a- jury. I'm a- I'm asking you. So if I if, if, if your thug sitting down with his attorney telling him the truth about everything, he's yeah. doing that to help him out, right? Absolutely. That's what you're supposed to do, though, bro. So. Exactly. The, the, so the snitching okay comes in th- is when you're being honest with the prop with law enforcement. You got to be honest with your defense well, attorney. He and he and, and for what he got to be honest with his attorney so that it can help him out to get out of prison jail. Correct. Yeah, to beat the charge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what? So what's wrong with anybody else being honest so that they can beat their charge and they can stay out of jail? So he. So Pete for talking to Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now you know ahead, the rules. Ahead, of the, you know the rules of the streets. Come on, bro. Like you being dishonest now, bro. Like come on, man. You how know I, the ru- how, you how, know the how, rules of the streets. We talking about streets right now. The rules of the streets uh, is you do not cooperate no matter what with law enforcement. That's it. What cooper What cooperation did he do? Bro, they gave him a deal. He was facing eight. They sent him home. He cooperated. Come on, man. It's, it's documents. You, have you read? Have you read? Have you read his <laughs> plea agreement? I, yeah, we read it yesterday. No, not yesterday, day before. So if you read, I got so it. So if you read his peer agreement, you'll know that he told he telling on himself more than he telling on anything. Bro. Bro. If on, you bro. read his peer agreement, I got it. you will see he's telling on himself. Okay, so if you got it, I read got it. his peer agreement again. And, and, and when you look at it, read it and comprehend what it's saying. Don't just read it and look at your soul. Like, read the entirety of it and see that. If anything, he he's telling on himself more than he's telling on anybody. First off, he's telling these folk, young thug throwing up a P when everybody knows he's throwing up a B for blood. Uh-huh. Another thing, he's making it seem as if young thug is not even a gang member. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if he really want to snitch, as people trying to say, because just because you get on the stand don't mean you're a snitch. That doesn't make you a snitch. 
because you get up on the street and don't make you a snitch. What would make you a snitch <laughs> if he said, yeah, this, yeah, that, yeah, this, yeah, the everything. He play, he played it like he don't even know what really going on. And if we keep it in real, bro, I ain't jealous of no young thug. Mm, he just, he young just thug, admitted that he just was jealous. Said in court, come on, come on, come on, man. I got to admit that I'm jealous on to make it look good. <laughs> For who? If if I'm if he's so jealous of young thug, why he still was around? Uh, come on, man. People, he around because I'm the thug, you, he's, a, hey, he's he's around because Thug is giving people access to luxury. They don't have that on Cleveland Ave. Thug Thug got the bag, at, so of course the niggas is gonna be around. At, Even jealous people is gonna be around a person with a bag if they got access to the luxury, the women, the cars, the trips, and things like that. That that can still hate on you and be jealous of you and still benefit off of that. Come on, man. It's called a leech. Yeah. What at, what what? Uh, so, so what access and what leeching did he do when he was questioning? Hey, uh, first off, the nigga had the bed for fifteen hundred dollars. Not only did he have the bed for fifteen hundred dollars, your thug told him to send the money back to me. So I ain't giving it to you because you my partner. Y'all gotta pay me that fifteen hundred back. So you're what talking the fuck about I'm the group chat? You're talking about the group chat, right? Hey. I'm talking, I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking about the group chat. Yeah, the group chat, chat for the rent. But he wasn't talking, talking to Thug. Other. He was talking to the whole group chat. He was talking to the whole listen, gang. Listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying, bro. Like It's like you listening only to respond to me. Listen to what I'm saying first. If I'm, li- <laughs> because of what you said, if I'm leeching off you, if yeah. I just want to be around for this and that, uh-huh. why the fuck do I got to beg you for $1,500? It hey, don't no, matter if I was maybe, to... maybe Thug knows that they was leeching it like, nigga, I'm just not finna give y'all niggas money. No. So, I'm not going to do so, that. So, if, so I'm not going to give y'all niggas money, but I'm, but I'm going to put, as, as we trying to sit here and look at the case, I'm going to portray y'all nigga lifestyle because now everybody looking at it like, thug, this fake ass thug gangster nigga. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I ain't gonna give y'all shit, no. but I'm gonna portray this lifestyle that y'all don't really live it because I'm not living the shit. Because now that I'm in court, I'm 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 trying to make myself look like this peon ass nigga to get out of a case so I won't go to prison. But y'all don't do that for me though. I mean for y'all self. Y'all don't do that. Y'all stick to the code so when y'all go back to prison, I'm still not gonna fuck with y'all. I'm not gonna come visit y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna give y'all no money. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do nothing, but y'all gonna hold it down. So I can stay out of jail. Y'all go to jail so everybody can look at me and say, hey, young thug free. Mm-hmm. Hey, but ain't nobody I, I, looking I, at I, that. I, hey, I, that, that perspective you just gave right there, I get it. I understand what you just said. What you just said made a lot of sense. Hey, thug, maybe thug gave like Monday. Still put it out there that thug gave them opportunities. He's not going to give you money. He's going to give you an opportunity to make money for yourself. And Tick admitted on the stand he didn't want to do that. He wanted fast money. And Thug wasn't offering them niggas fast money. Nigga, come out here, earn some money, and get it out the mud just like I got it. I'm not going to take care of the hood because that's how niggas go broke. Right? Now, you're saying, since Thug saying he wasn't going to take care of them, hey, I'm not going to hold you down, meaning I'm not going to take care of you like you're a child. Now, when the charges come down, I'm not going to hold you down because you didn't hold me down to give me some fucking money. I get it, and maybe that's maybe that's what Thug is going through right now, but it's still fucked up, and it's still not been sticking to the code, bro. Come on, man. So, 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 it's fucked up on they end, but it ain't fucked up on Thug end, is what y'all are telling me. I mean, thug, what, what did Thug do? Uh, besides make it, what, what did Thug do? Oh, what the did nigga... Thug do besides make it? Besides make it and do something for himself and get himself rich and wealthy, and he so he's guilty of not taking everybody else with him and making them wealthy no, by no. giving them money. Come on, no, 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 no. You ain't supposed to give a nigga. You ain't supposed to give a nigga that. You but, supposed but to you, goddamn but, look but out you're for your talking like you're supposed to. I better let you talk. No, no, I didn't. I ain't talking like that. I'm okay. talking about. Him as being his day one partner, first off, first off, your thug being a part of Rock Crew. Let's get that understood. Okay. I'm telling you this because I'm Wild Mill. And anybody from the streets of Atlanta know where Wild Mill mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. And you can look mine up, bro. I'll give you my whole everything. I'm Wild Mill. So I was out there with them boys. So I know what's going on. So the first thing is, this is my main partner. These are these are main partners. These ain't just niggas that just popped up. Them two niggas are main partners. They was both in the rock crew. Okay. So the first thing, yeah, I done already laughed for you and told these people you ain't a part of rock crew. 
That's the first thing. I done did okay. that. Then for Brian Steele to come and show the world that Young Thug ain't fucking with this nigga. <laughs> so if he go back to prison, Young Thug still not going to be fucking with this nigga. It wasn't okay. about Young Thug giving a nigga shit. It was about Young if, if a nigga, one thing about my partner, if I'm encouraging my partner to stop selling drugs, All right. I'm going to make sure I'm going to make sure I got them help my partner in a way so he can see that this ain't the way to go. It ain't about the, just telling the nigga to stop. Bro, the man admitted, clearly, hold on, hold on. The man admitted on Monday ahead. that Thug tried to help him get out the streets and get off drugs. He did not want to do that. So at some point, <laughs> everybody also, everybody got a breaking also, point. Everybody got a breaking point. At some also, point, you're going to be like, you know, some, said, at some point, you got to say, hey, man, this man just don't want to do right. I got to leave him where he at. I can't keep trying to pull a man up. You can't help nobody that don't want to help themselves, bro. Come on, man. The man said he didn't want to do, he didn't want to do all that. He wanted to be on drugs. He wanted to run the streets. That's what he wanted to do. So what can you do with a person like that? You got to leave him. Everybody can't go, bro. Everybody can't go. And maybe his mind won't write enough to be to go, to be prepared for the opportunity that Thug was giving him. You know what I'm saying? What, opportun- what opportunity Thug gave him? I don't know. He said it. I understand. Brian Steele asked him, did Thug give you opportunities? He said, yes. He said, there was an opportunity there. And he did not want to That's take it. He, he wanted fast money. That's he, all he said. He admitted That's he wanted, he 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 admitted he wanted fast money. He admitted he wanted instant he money. He said it was an opportunity. To he make say some what money. Opportunity was. Well, shit. He say he. An opportunity well, to go legit and do something and get some money for yourself out the mud, bro. Ain't no such thing as instant wealth. If that if it was, <laughs> we'd all be rich. We'd all be rich without so working for it. If 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 young thug if young thug went approving of what he was doing, why he was talking about it in his song? Then? I don't know. You gotta ask thug that. <laughs> see, you gotta see, ask that's thug. What I, that. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, but that's no. what I'm saying. Every time, oh, no. hold on, look. Every time, every time it's trying to answer something on young thug, everybody <laughs> don't know. But, oh, but no. what they do know is, but this what they do know is. Everybody seen to not know certain shit when they come to young thug. I know. But all they can say, oh boy, a nigga, a nigga trying uh, to help. How did a nigga I know what was said on First the stand. Off, if a nigga, if a nigga, if a nigga encouraging me to stop doing something, that same nigga gonna encourage me to stop doing it, but he gonna brag about it at the same time. Now, now, Tick did say on the song that he was upset that Thug put that in the song. He said it won't true. So that's the first, you know, he didn't clear that up. Come on, come he on, said that won't come true. on, bro. Again, 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 bro. This but the man doing. is known for robbing women. So, so you, you can't rob one woman and be known for robbing women. He. Is he known for that out there? Did he rob can some you, girls? I, listen right fast. So, Did the he man rob some girls? said he was... Did the he man got him? arrested for it. Okay, he got he arrested, got arrested for, it. for it. All right, okay, there we he go. He got arrested for it. There we go. Okay. So, okay, so yeah. look, he got arrested for it, right? Mm-hmm. So the man got on the stand and said he was jealous of young thug for putting some shit in the rap song that went true. First off, it happened. He got arrested for it. Yeah. Second, second of all, if Young Thug encouraged him not to do it, why he put it in the song? Not to do what? Rob girls? Yeah. No, you, 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 you just sat here and said that the man said Young Thug encouraged him to stop doing crime, but he, he didn't want to stop because... Okay, yeah, that's what he that. said, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so why, so, so, so we just gonna go off everything that he said because it's clearly he, it's clearly he trying to help out your thug from the beginning when he first got up there. He said your thug went part the rock too. That down alone let everybody know should have let everybody know that's really paying attention. Hey, he's about to try to help your thug in the best way he can. So I'm jealous of young thug for putting this in the song. Yet your thug don't put. His name is searching many more songs. I don't believe that. I believe course, that man. I, I believe that man you. took that deal to help himself. He didn't help. He didn't, he didn't think about helping he your thug when he took that deal. I, I agree. So, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad. Hey, help yourself. He, Self preservation. Do your listen, thing. Listen, listen to this. He thirty. Just listen. He thirty years old. No mama. No daddy. Stay with his grandma. Grandma ain't got much money. He ain't got much money. As okay. we can all clear to see, and he also got three kids. So I'm supposed to sit in jail because all the fans, all the fans that ain't finna give me nothing, ain't finna send me nothing, <laughs> ain't sent Young Thug nothing, ain't down there protesting for Young Thug because everybody <laughs> want Young Thug so much free, but I don't see, I'm right here in Atlanta. 
I don't see nobody at the courtroom, courthouse, whatever uh, you want to call it, with free your third sign. They ain't yeah. doing nothing. Everybody just on line talking, talking, talking. Uh-huh. So I'm supposed to the, 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 the look cool for the fans and shit. I'm uh-huh. supposed to say, no, nah, I'm going to ride with Young Thug. And his dumb ass ride with Young Thug right now while everybody on the, on the, on the internet talking crazy about the nigga. And he finna fuck around and get his plea taken away. And when yeah. he get his plea taken away and he go back to prison and if Young Thug beat this shit, everybody still gonna be saying, hey, hey, Young Thug, we miss you. And Young Thug gonna still be saying, bro, I ain't sending you this. I'm not mm-hmm. even coming to visit you, my nigga. Okay, so you just so what you're doing is you're proving that there is no loyalty in the streets. No, whoever said it was None. the internet, the internet and the rap game fuck you're, niggas up. It ain't never been no loyalty in the street. There niggas we go. always fuck alone. Niggas there we go. always there fuck we go. niggas girls in the street. Kill their own go. boys. There we go. Snakes on their yeah. own boys. Did everything. Okay, so. You should so so hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on so so hold on hold on so you shouldn't be upset about anything because what's good for the goose is good for the gander. He's taking revenge. I don't thug. He 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 took the deal. Thug ain't fuck with me on the streets. Thug ain't do this for me. He ain't send me. Hold on hold on hold on hold on. He ain't send me no money in prison. So now I'm facing time as a YSL member. I'm a I'm a cooperate. Why? Because this nigga didn't fuck with me in the first place. And then I'm gonna try to clean it up later. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. He's doing what he's supposed to do. I. I agree with what you saying. Where, Ain't no where loyalty in the streets. There you go. Know. Hey, look, you, we, we you, talking. You and nobody else ain't told but, me what cooperation I got you. Did, I got you. We talking in circles now, man. I got to get some more phone calls. I appreciate you, bro. Mm-hmm. My man is all the way down with Tick. Let's get to it. <laughs> appreciate you, bro. No, I'm just down. Please call I'm just back. Down with right, huh? I got you. Please call back, though. I got to get somebody else in here, man. Thanks. Oh, call, oh matter right. if I hit your ass back later. This my man, my man, passionate than a motherfucker. <laughs> my man said, even though the documents show that he cooperated, he didn't cooperate. <laughs> Bro, this is this is the side of Atlanta we were talking about a few days ago. Like it just depends on who you talk to. Everybody's perspective is gonna be different. Real talk. That was a good phone call. Michael, I just, I just gotta get some people in here. That's all. To accept, press one. Yo, this is Getty Radio, Michael X. What up, bro? Tig, these niggas in Atlanta be tripping, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, that's these it. These niggas say thug made thug made a nigga have three baby mamas. Like, how the fuck? That's thug, <laughs> fuck. Because niggas got like, <laughs> it's crazy. Because bro, they be blaming my nigga Spider for everything. Like, if a nigga got three kids, nigga, like, damn. Oh, fuck. I got three kids. Like, what nigga be blaming my nigga Spider for everything, bro? But I just feel like it's just like ain't no loyalty, bro. You Like you said, you can't break everybody with you, bro. Niggas gonna say whatever. Like, oh, thug can't help me take care of my kids. Like, nigga, these no kids. Like, yeah, what man. What be wrong with niggas, bro? Like, niggas be. I mean, I oh, feel no, what I feel like what drug, my man uh, was saying a little bit, but he was sounding a little crazy. Like Thug was just supposed to take care yeah, of people, like, but well, then at the same time, like, he ain't take care of me, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> stick to the code of the street, and I'm gonna cooperate to come home. But then, when you cooperate, he's That's saying like he really said, didn't cooperate. <laughs> Why Giddy ain't helping me take care of my kids? Like nigga, these yeah, my it's kids. It's all good. That's his perspective, man. He holding, he holding down. Uh, <laughs> you know, he holding down. Uh, tick, man. He's saying, you know, thug. You know, hey, maybe some people out there don't like thug. Maybe, maybe he knows something we don't know. You know, maybe he knows some shit we don't know. He, he was out there with them boys. Yeah, you know, niggas have their personal motives, but I just feel like at the end of the day, bro. When you ain't living right by God, all that shit gonna catch up with you. We can say whatever we want, though. But at the end of the day, bro. Thug wasn't living by God, so at the end of the day, if you ain't living by God, you're living by who the devil. So, you know, everything come back around, bro. You reap what you sow, so. Yeah, and you ain't got it, and nobody's obligated to take care of their day one, man. I'm going to tell you something. I got day ones. I got people I love to death. I'm going to do what I can for you. But, nigga, if you want to play the fool, I'm out. Fuck that shit. You ain't going to drag me down with you. Fuck that. I ain't, no, mm mm-mm. I ain't finna keep pulling your ass up out the gutter and then you get around here with all this posh shit, this great shit like them niggas did on that tour. They up there tearing shit up. Now I got to come out of my pocket. Now fuck that shit. I'm out, John. I'm out. Niggas be like, damn, thug, kicking me off the tour, man. This nigga thug a fuck, nigga. Yeah, take your ass. Yeah, go go tear up Cleveland Avenue, nigga. Fuck out of here. All right, man. I appreciate it, Michael X. 
it's like when you tell a nigga, yeah, they love you, but when you tell a nigga, no, yeah, you a fuck nigga, and it's all this, it's like, nigga, fuck y'all niggas. I'm going to take care of my kids, my girlfriend, my mama. Nigga, fuck all y'all niggas. That's how I feel like. You know don't, don't try to help these niggas, bro. Help your lady, help your mama, help your kids, Listen. help your grandma. Help. Yeah, yeah, nigga, definitely, definitely, niggas, definitely. Yeah, appreciate it, Michael Eggs, man. Let me get some calls in here. You definitely, you def. Uh oh, six seven eight. Call, call from. To accept, press one to send. A Yo, this is Getty Radio. Who's calling? Yo. What up? Who this? You hear me? This is Chris. Chris, where you calling from, bro? I'm calling from Atlanta. Atlanta. Uh oh, we got another Atlanta native in the building, man. What you think about my man Montgomery? Did you hear that? Man, you I agree? You agree or you disagree? How you I feeling? I, I, I don't agree with nobody saying right now, man. <laughs> what you got on it, then? What you feel? Man, I, I I feel like it's certain morals, certain codes that have to be upheld, no matter what. If you sign up, if you sign up, that's just what that is. Yeah, and th and that's the thing, and I think that's where I think Montgomery's trying to absolve Tick from the rules of the streets. The rules of the streets go if you if you in it. You can't cooperate. I don't give a damn how mad you are at your homeboy. That's what that's what you signed up for. That's what you, you signed off. up for. You got to hold it down. That. Now, ain't no nigga that's obligated true. to give you no money, take care of you, and, and give you a posh lifestyle without you working for it. You got to go out there and get it, bro. I'm going to give you an opportunity. You out here fucking up. Then I got to keep moving up, bro. I can't keep. I can't stay behind with y'all. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So Yeah, that's that. That's one hundred percent. Man, I can't, I can't do that. I can't stay, I can't stay in the background with y'all, man, because y'all gonna drag me down back to the gutter. I made it. I'm giving y'all opportunity. You gotta get some inspiration from that and pick up some game. Pick a dude's ear, tell him to put you in the right environment, in the right situation. You give me an opportunity, I'm gonna do something with it. Hey, school, or nigga, buy me a truck or something. I don't know what the fuck it is, but nigga, you want to be a millionaire like me? I had to go out there and get it. I can't make you a millionaire overnight. Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Yeah, uh, we, we on the live show right now? Or is, yeah, uh, we on the live uh, show. Yeah. Oh, this, this is live right now. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, but but yeah, Holmes is um, you know, he 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 did what he did. He, he knows what comes with it, and um, you know, the second you sign up, you you know, when you do that, you know, it, it's a coward move because you putting your family at worst thing because all rules go out the building. So, yeah, man. so now it's not even about yourself. You put your 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 nieces, your daughters, babies. You know all that can be killed just because you broke the rules. The rules are the you know rules, I mean? man. It is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't tamper with the streets at all. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm a civilian now. I pay my taxes. I got some stores. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a few smoke shops. I, mm -hmm. I don't play with the streets at all. But if if I was playing, like when I was young. That's a different story. You when you sign up for that shit, you just signed up for it, dog. Mm -hmm. And and um and it's anybody's responsibility. No excuse. You know, it, it, it's better than the program. Mm -hmm. You know, I I didn't face twenty years before. I know what it's like to face that. And that's mm -hmm. how I know a lot of these niggas can't deal with that. Mm -hmm. I that shit ain't fun. Armed robbery, aggravated assault. A lot of niggas can't handle that pressure. Mm -hmm. And know, that's all it is. You know what I'm digits. saying? That's why I try to tell the young boys, anybody listening, man, find something legal to do. Because at the end of the day, when them consequences come down, you might not be ready for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, these, these, these little niggas ain't ready for that, bro. They talking about all this killing. They don't even know what the fuck they talking about, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You so saying? it's great. It's, it's great. It's great to be out there trying to be known and all of that stuff, man. But understand, there's consequences to this, man. And, the, you know, it's two ways. It's the grave. is serious mm -hmm. injury, drug addiction. And it's prison time. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be prepared for that. Yeah. That comes with it. It's a part of the game. Snitching, telling, everything. It's all part of it. All of it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, it is what it is, man. Let me get another phone call, man. I appreciate you calling, man. Please call I, I back. Thanks for the support. Already, man. Let's yeah, go. yeah. Peace. Call from. Yep. To accept, press. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio Zip. What up, bro? What's going on, man? Where you calling from? Georgia. Georgia in the building. We got Georgia in here heavy, man. What you got on it, man? Hey, man, I just called that dude that, that was mad. Tell that man go take a blood pressure medicine, man. <laughs> and what else? Hey, everybody keep forgetting 
the dude signed the plea, so it don't matter what the fuck you do. Mm-hmm. You can't have, it ain't too much you can do to help me because you already signed the paperwork, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he signed. He he wanted he wanted to get out so bad he gave up his Fifth Amendment right. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, you could have you could have been on the side with us, but then when you sign that paperwork, you stay property, bro. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and he got to cooperate now. And what my yeah, man was saying hey, is that hey, he did that out of retaliation. That's kind of messed up. I want people to really take a lesson from that because what Montgomery was kind of saying is that. He cooperated with the state in retaliation because Thug didn't take care of him. That's crazy. No, man, you put yourself in that position. That's bro. crazy. If he, opportunity, if he gave you an opportunity to, to change your life and you didn't do it, hey, man, that's your fault. You can't get mad mm-hmm. at him rebuttaling what you what you put on that paperwork, what you signed next to your uh, the information. You can't get mad at what he's doing. It's a defense. Mm-hmm. I got to defend myself. You mm-hmm. made no choice. I got to make mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is, man. Like I said, it all comes with the game, and uh, that's just the way the game go, man. That's the way the cookie crumble, man, and now we in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, Montgomery said he didn't say that. Montgomery, I think you was too passionate, and you was talking too fast. You did say that. You said that that man, Thug, didn't hold him down, so why would he hold Thug down when he facing time? You, you said that. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Who's calling? Man, it's Tony, man. Look, check it out, man. Where you calling from? Four four got to be Atlanta. Oh yeah, I'm from the A, man. Yep, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm in the A with it. Speak yeah, on. I, it. I, I work, I work at Rice Street, the Concrete Jungle. We call it locally, mm-hmm. Fulton County. While all that going down, right? man. Listen, man, it's over with for Tick, man. <laughs> oh wow. He, he, he snitching, man. That's snitching, man. Mm. Look, look, check it right. Uh, I did the show sixty days in, mm. and uh. And and the whole man, listen, man, it, it's ugly. It's ugly, man. He can't see. He, he, it's hard to do time at Rice Street, man. It's mm. hard to do time at Rice Street. I'm telling you. You know, folks talk about Rockers Island, L.A. County. Man, I'm going to tell you, man, Rice Street is, <clears throat> you rather get locked up in Clayco, Fed, DeKalb, don't go to Rice Street. Mm. Don't go to Rice Street, man. <laughs> But but nah man, <laughs> me personally, I'm on the other side of it, so I ain't with it. None of the streets completely on the other side. Well, all I'm saying is, Tick couldn't do that time, so he, you know, he got the that just had to go. Mm-hmm. Just, I see it every day. It don't surprise me to be honest. You got people in there throwing up all these gang signs and nothing that. And when they're in the pot, when they're in the, in the zone, and that as soon as they get to court, they saying this, saying mm-hmm. that, got to take them to PC. Mm. So you know. <clears throat> I, I, I see it a little bit from the inside and just looking at social media. I follow you and all that and just listening to everything. It's like, folks, really, a, a, a lot of uh, I heard about one or two people, he, they hit it on the head. But to be real, a lot of people really just talking, seeing the little blogs, really don't know what's going on. But you have about one or two up here said some real stuff, something, you know, this and that. Can't speak on it, obviously, because it's open case. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. Yeah, man, tick, man, that's snitching, man. That's Appreciate that you, man. Thank you for the support all the way from the A, man. Salute to you, bro. Please man. call back. All love, bro. Yes, yep. sir. Yeah, man, yeah, uh, Montgomery, you did say that, good brother. You did. I'm not trying to put you, you know, trying to put no words in your mouth, but, you know, you were passionate. You were saying a whole lot, but you did justify uh, tick doing what he did in retaliation for Thug not taking care of him. That's what pretty much what you said. I know you're saying what he did is not cooperation to you technically, but the uh, the DA ain't going to offer you a deal if you ain't cooperating. They need something in Call return from for what you're doing. P. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Yo, what up? This is Gator Radio P. Where you calling from, fam? Man, I'm from Virginia, man. I got something to say. VA hey, in the building, speak on it. Man, they supposed to apply themselves, man. You say what? Are you supposed to take care of a man or let them apply themselves and show you something first? No, nah, I was taught you got to let a man be a man, got to let a man find his way through life. If that man want to do something with himself, he going to figure out a way to fig- to get find a way, especially with an opportunity. But you can't help people that don't want to help themselves. So opportunities right. well, aren't forever. Exactly, bro, because I got homies that... I'm 23, but I've been shot, went to jail. I got homies that still doing the same dumb shit. I ain't fucking with them, but I love them. I can't do that shit, bro. Yeah, definitely. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't understand this notion that 
a person just supposed to take care of you. That's a childlike mentality when someone thinks like that. You made it, so we day ones, you supposed to just take care of me. No, nigga, I, ain't, I don't owe you shit. I got to take care of my family, my children. And I get it. On the streets, you know, it's, it's a thing where people want to eat together and thrive together. But, bro, that money's limited. You understand? Know that yeah, money's money. limited. I can't I can't take Fuck 20 you. niggas out the hood and put $150,000 in all their account and then I'm still straight. No, it ain't gonna, don't work like that. Exactly, because if I'm helping you and I fall, who's going to pick me the fuck up? Yeah, who's going to pick me the fuck up? I need somebody else. That's you go start a business over here. I'm gonna, I'll give you the money. i give you 50 G. Start a business or go to school or something. Yeah. Do something to, to, to help the team. Help me help the team. <laughs> Apply yourself. And another thing, that nigga snitching, bro. You can't justify that shit. It's rack, bro. I'm going to get back on that. That shit rack. But Gomber yeah, said it's not, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care one way or another. I don't subscribe to the streets. I, I speak either. about it, and I try to encourage young boys and young girls to stay out of the streets because yeah, this is the consequences of the streets right here. Why I cover stuff like this. I don't care what he did, whether he snitched or not. I'm just talking about what the rules of the streets say. Yeah, he should not have done that. You can't do that in the street. You can't do that. And, That's the rule. Dude said, Young Thug told his lawyer, you supposed to tell your lawyer what the fuck going on so you can, so he can defend you the right way. It's a difference between your lawyer and the DA. When you tell the DA, you tell the law enforcement that snitch. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what I, I, I just think Montgomery was just a little more passionate. You know what I'm saying? He, he was just talking a lot. He did say that. He said, pretty much said that Young Thug snitched because he told his lawyer everything. No, you're supposed to tell your attorney everything. You yeah, got to give him it all so they can defend you properly. <laughs> they have a fiduciary duty not to say nothing. You got you got you got uh, attorney client privilege. They can't say nothing about what you said. Yeah, they ain't supposed to say nothing. But that, that, that's just something I want to know because you're supposed to apply yourself for mm, me to mm, fuck mm. with you, and I'm in a certain place, and I'm successful. If I see you applying yourself, I am put you in this position. Now, you start off with bags, I'm gonna put you in this next position, higher, a little mm -hmm. bit more money. Mm -hmm. Do you show me you're doing good at that? I'm going to put you a little bit more high, a little bit more money. Then right. you do your own shit. You could be a producer, anything. You ain't got to rap, my nigga, but show right. me you want to do something besides being in the streets doing dumb shit. Yeah, man. So it is what it is, man. And I just, uh, I get it, man. People love people and people have, you know, loyalties to people. But, bro, Tick admitted on the stand. A lot of the things that my man was trying to say, it didn't happen. I said, man, he said it on the stand. He admitted it. Thug gave him an opportunity. He admitted he did not want that kind of money. He wanted instant money. He said it. He said, yeah, I wanted instant money. Do I need to play that for y'all? He said it to Brian Steele. He said that shit on the stand. Well, I heard it, bro, because my thing is, like, I, like you just said, you keep on doing dumb shit. You want fast money. I got to separate myself because it's going it's gonna to have me in a fucked up position where you're going to put me back in the same place. Yeah. I think that's one problem Thug did where he start reaching out to the streets again in his later years. Yeah. And play it back and, and, and understand what does fast money mean? Crime. You ain't going to go out and fast money don't come legit. That's slow money. It It'll keep your ass out of jail, but it's slow money. It ain't fast. Unless you hit some kind of lick on a, you know, on a vengeance or some shit like that. Other than that, yeah. it's slow money. You got to get your ass up and work. Be an entrepreneur. Go get a job, something. You got to work for it. It's, it's, a, it's a grind, bro. And you got to pay your bill. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I appreciate the call, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, man. I just wanted to say that, man. I'm going to let you get back to more cars. I'm about to listen to you some more, bro. I just Salute to, to you, good brother. Thanks for the support. Please call back. Salute to you, too. Virginia in the All building. Right. Yep. Yes, sir. Now, uh, uh, uh. Call from. Yo, yo, what? A, oh, shit. Motherfucker hung up. Yeah, I'm going to show. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm have to play that for you, Montgomery. He he Call admitted from. on the stand. Marshawn. Yo, what up, Marshawn? What's going on, big dog? What's going on? Uh, shit. Yeah, man. What's speak up. What's going on, man? Yeah. Just listen to some of that hey, shit, hey, hold on, man. hold on, hold on, hold on. You was the one yeah. where my man Montgomery said was capping about being locked up. So, wasn't you? So, he said, if he's saying that Tick didn't snitch, maybe he feel that Gunner didn't snitch. Wasn't you telling Gunner not to snitch? Uh, hell yeah. So, I told Gunner, goddamn, not to goddamn. <laughs> Not to take that plea. 
<laughs> yeah, she just I I mean for snitching and taking a plea, cause goddamn, cause taking a plea. If you take that plea shot, you already signed the paper. So what's going on in court? You already verifying what you got to go confirm in court. By mm -hmm. by already going head on and just taking that plea, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I told him just to sit tight, man. You need to wait to see what's going on first. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You need mm -hmm. to wait first, but don't be so quick to just jump and just go right up and jump. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. Christmas time coming up, and goddamn, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got everything, gonna. Yeah, you had wanted to be, you was Gunner crazy. wanted to open some presents, goddamn it. He didn't want to be in there with y'all niggas. Man, I don't, right, right. Which I can't knock the nigga. You feel me? Like yeah. that's why yeah. like that why I say as a man for real, like the way this has went by, everything has turned to self. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. has turned to be like a defend for his you know what I'm saying? Defend Every for man yourself for himself, type of yeah. thing. Because yeah, because like they said, your thug, goddamn, uh, your thug, he already did his job. He gave it to all the boys. That's what Gunner said. Gunner said your thug just gave him a a, 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 a little chance, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And he's just off with it. Like, mm -hmm. It's all about bait. But you can't expect for a nigga to babysit you, you feel me? Because, like, cause like your thug got motion himself. Like, I don't know if y'all really be paying attention and everything, but God man, his sister already got on there and put the one two down about everybody, nigga. She did. Thug sister really thug, thug sister is on the witness list. Ain't nobody don't nobody really know <laughs> what's going on. Thug so, sister so, on the so, witness uh, list, family. All day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so all that other shit that they talking about. But whatever thug and them got going on, but I'm just speaking on you about Gunner side. Mm -hmm. With Gunner side, I wasn't worried about none of them niggas because Gunner was like, nigga, I don't know them niggas. I don't, I don't, I don't know them niggas, man. Your thug gave him his little chance and he took off. And then, next thing you know, Gunner doing his own thing. You don't see Gunner with no hands out. You see Gunner dropping songs and dropping mixtapes and albums and shit like right now. And he's still on the label, so he's still making money for Thug. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. yeah. Thug right. eating off of that. Be a, it tried to be a self thing, you feel me? Like, that's why I'm like, I I did originally don't blame Gunner when it first happened. Yeah, I did. But as time passed and I looked at it and I seen how really got down. Everybody just fell in line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? It just sounds weird like that, but everybody just fell in line and didn't care no more about Gunner taking the Alfred plea. Right. That just went south now. You see me? Like, mm -hmm. I ain't when the last time a motherfucker jumping down on Gunner for taking the Alfred plea right now. Ain't nobody that shit is long and gone. When a nigga was on the Instagram putting cheese out in front of the nigga Maybach or whatever, you feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, goddamn. Yeah, they put cheese in front of the whip. Huh? Yeah, they put cheese in front of the whip. Yeah, I remember the Maybach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so, like, so, like, but I'm just saying, like, for, like, with everybody now, like, saying, ah, oh, well, where Kate Blase Skip, Kate Woo Woo Woo. Look, them niggas gonna do what they gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas gonna do what they wanna do. So, mm -hmm. but I'm just speaking Gunner from what Gunner, from what me and Gunner was you know, you feel me? Back in Henry County, it was like, it was like a thing where Gunner trying to get back to his motherfucking house, to his motherfucking life. You feel me? Like, nigga, this yeah. nigga got an area of his house. Nigga, like, nigga, that shit, nigga, his shit was fire, nigga. Fuck, they got whips and shit. Nigga ain't trying to just sit they motherfucking time mm. in no motherfucking jail. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up. Not, hey, man. Not when, not, not when you did your part, your thug, Gunner did his part and took the blessing from your thug and just took off. Mm -hmm. Gunner got no shit to worry about, man. He ain't on the same level as Tick. And all and uh, 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 uh life and all them. Yeah, he was an artist. He put some work in. He put the work in. He made something yeah. for himself. Yeah, I I agree. Yeah, 
Cross seas and gunner, yeah. Gunner yeah, did, yeah, gunner yeah, did gunner gunner what Tick should have did. Make something for right. yourself, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Stop then leeching. now, he did make nothing for itself. Now he want to blame your thug. Now it's, uh, it's his fault. Uh, he the one that did this, and he the one that knew about this, and he knew about that. Nigga, you don't sit so crying ass down so motherfucking well. He's <laughs> right. He, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. Hey man, hey, but, hey, Marshawn, we gotta keep you uh we gotta keep you on speed dial, man. So I'ma keep you, I'ma keep you dumb, I'ma call you up, man, whenever we over here speaking on this. Oh man. yeah, man. You check your email, man. I I did. I did. I well I got it. I ain't checked it yet, but I did see that I got one from you. I bet. Yes, sir. I, I already, bro. Appreciate you, fam. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. That's that's the good brother Marshawn right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Did I get his number? Yeah, I got his number. Let me write that down. We got we're gonna call up Marshawn. Marshawn entertaining as hell. Hey, Montgomery too. I, I like Montgomery passionate. But 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 Marshawn just be going. Marshawn just be going and he ain't remembering half the shit he's saying. You know what I'm saying? He be Marshawn just be talking. I mean not Marshawn. Uh, Montgomery just be talking and he don't remember half the stuff that he's saying. He be saying some crazy stuff and you, you throw it back at him. He like, I ain't say that. <laughs> Rico State is having a bot. Man, this is, this is crazy, man. Very entertaining. Uh, yeah, phone line's open, man. Let me see. Let me see. Did I miss a call? All right, I missed a call. I'm about to call somebody back. I missed a call. I don't know who this is. But yeah, we call him Bike. Yo. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Getty Radio, what's the deal, fam? What's going on with you, man? Who this? Where you calling from? I'm calling from New York Wine Dance called Crime Dance, man. Yes, sir. New York City in the building. What borough, fam? Wine Dance. Wine Dance. Let's get to it, Suffolk man. County. What, you, what you got? What you got for me? Yo, listen, man. On this kick shit, man. It's kind of crazy, man, what's going on with Young Thug, man. Mm -hmm. Free Young Thug. That's all I have to say, man. <laughs> Free Young Thug. There we go. Montgomery, you got a support over here. So did you did you hear Montgomery? Do you do you agree? Oh, no. I I, I don't agree with nothing. What's going on, man. <laughs> young Thug. Free Young Thug. He tried to help the people out. You know, they don't want to understand. They don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. So you know what? They're going to do what they have to do. Mm-hmm. Happens all the time with rappers on tools and try to bring their homies around. Some of them niggas got to get cut off. You understand what I'm no saying? Doubt. Some of them no niggas doubt, got like, man. some of them niggas, man, you can't take them niggas anywhere with you, bro. Them niggas to fuck up your whole shit. No doubt, man, man. No doubt, man. I'm looking at this this morning, man. What house, man. It's, no, it's not good, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Free young thug, man. Free young thug, man. Salute to Let you, me man. Tell you something, Gutty. Gutty Radio, let me tell you something, man. Wine dance, crime dance, Suffolk County, New York. Suffolk County, New Stand York, up. in the building, man. Appreciate the call. Please call back, brother. Always great when New York calls, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. I appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace. Call from Tia. Uh, we got, I think, did we talk to Tia already? Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio Tia. What up? Where you calling from? Hey, Getty. Hey. Calling from PA. P.A. in the building. What you got for me, Tia? First of all, yeah, Tia, yeah, let me yeah. ask you. Let me ask you something. What do you do? What do you think about what Montgomery had to say about the case, Tia? This is where I'm about to put some content to what he was basically trying to say. Okay. I don't really. I I don't understand. I don't know if he's looking at the same trial we're watching, or maybe it's just that bit of way that they have and they they little area that they living in. But if you look, think about it. He's admitting to things that he done did when he was 11 years old, 12 years old, mm -hmm. 13 years old. Young Thug didn't tell him to do none of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about what's going on right now, you know what, what I'm sitting here scratching my head because I'm like, wait a minute. The prosecution said that Young Thug had these boys going out there to commit these crimes, but come to find out, they was doing that on their own. Mm -hmm. So when, when Brian still said, was you doing these crimes to further YSL as a gang? He said no. He said no. So now I'm scratching my head. I'm like, wait a minute. So then when I hear the guy from Atlanta, he's saying what he's saying. So I'm like, he's not watching the same trial I'm watching. 
<laughs> it's impossible. He is not watching the same trial. Mm. And then you know what is even more hurtful, and that's why I'm liking that Brian still is putting it out there. Like the prosecution, the government is not for these people in this community. You know why? Because they gave these young black melanated boys 15 years probation, 18 years probation, 12 years probation, 10 years probation. They knew that these boys wouldn't be able to uphold that. So they threw whatever they could throw at that wall because they knew it was going to stick. Because mm. I know all y'all going to come back. Look mm. at Umfunk. Umfunk is back after being out for what? A month? Nine years. God, boy. Yes. Ooh. But see, this is what I'm saying. That young brother that was on the line just now, he's not watching the same trial we watching. Mm. The process, you got to think about it. You got to go off of the case of what is being presented and going after the facts. And think about the facts, not the street life code. This is the court code. You mm -hmm. understand the court code is the fact that the prosecution is saying that Jeffrey Williams had these young boys out there committing crimes under YSL. Mm -hmm. That's the facts. You understand what I'm saying? And then on top of that, they were supposed to be doing this to help YSL grow as an enterprise. So do they, is that young boy that just was on the line, was he reading that indictment when you read it the other day? He's, he's he saying that it. there's nothing in the plea deal that indicates he snitched. I don't. The, uh, the DA ain't going to give you no deal if you ain't telling. I don't, I don't right. get it. But see, you know it's what he did. quid pro quo. Though. You do something for me, I do something for you. That's just the way it goes. Exactly. But see, what he tried to do was try to, com he tried to admit of things that he had done. But at the same time, the prosecution slid in that wire. So is a game. Come to find out, Brian still point out, anybody can say, I could, you know what, Getty, you and I is by yourself. Mm -hmm. So now I go out there and shoot somebody. Does that have something to do with Jeffrey Winfrey? Mm -hmm. No. He doesn't own YSL. So, and I like that also, too, and what the young boy don't understand is that Brian still is putting on his case. Young Thug wasn't snitching when he told his lawyer, like, oh, yeah, I sent them back because they were stealing. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, you're sitting on the stand, you're trying to, basically trying to help the, the prosecution sabotage me and trying to take me away from my children and my family, and I'm just supposed to sit here and not defend myself and not let my lawyer put up a good defense for me? Mm -hmm. That don't make any sense, but listening to him, I was just like, and then you know what else was even crazy? That um boy that sitting on the stand, he said, I never see nobody else come out my hood that made it. Mm -hmm. So if this guy is still over there in the hood, and he's still sitting there. Nobody, he probably never seen nobody else made it. Y'all are very bitter. That's bitterness. Mm -hmm. If I'm, if, if Young Thug gave me an opportunity to carry his bags, you know what I'm doing, Getty? I'm carrying those bags. I'm carrying the bags, Because it's man. not about the bags that I'm carrying. It's about the opportunity that's going to go along with those bags. You don't know who I'm going to bump into. You yeah. don't know when I'm traveling the world. I'm not traveling the world sitting on, what, Cleveland Street? Mm -hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? So... He has to, I, I'm sitting here, I said, this was just such an ignorant conversation. Like, I'm like, he's not watching the same trial. I'm not, and don't get me wrong, I'm not mad that that young boy did what he, did, what he did that he felt like was in the best interest for him. Because as you can see that he has nobody and nobody is there for him. But now what's starting to look like to me is that you was doing all these acts on your own. Because, see, he's not really watching the case. The prosecution is stating that Jeffrey Williams made this young boy go out there and rob the girls or shoot the and sell drugs and all that. That's not true. He said it's not true, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why is Jeffrey being blamed? And this is what I'm saying. This is why you got to look at the case file. You can't just go off of what the street code is. He, he has to break down. He has to punch holes in it to create a reasonable doubt. Definitely. Period. That's what, you that's know, what and it's not the fact that, you know, um, it's not the fact that it, it, it's, it's like Jeffrey Whip, like um, Young Thug is basically trying to throw people under the bus. No, he has to defend his case. That boy is sitting up there. And then, and like I said, he's basically working for the, um, is his whole argument on that stand is, is in the, is, is working out for the defense. Like it's, it's, it's working out not just for the defense, but it's just showing the jurors that, Oh, because this is another thing, too, that this young man don't understand. They're going to have other witnesses come up, right? They're going to have the um, the gang experts. They're going to have experts come up and say that in order to be in a gang, you have to get initiated. And what does initiated mean? You might have to rob, steal, kill, stab, shoot. Rob, like You know what I mean? So if we had a gang member that was just on the stand prior to you coming up here saying that he didn't have to do none of that for YSL, 
So is YSL really a gang man? So you yeah. got to think a couple of steps ahead. You can't think about just as one witness. They got 174 witnesses that's going to come up on the stand. Mm -hmm. So if all these gang, if all these boys are going to sit on the stand and say that, no, Young Thug never told us to do this and do that, so then what is the conspiracy of the rackets here in the Rico? <laughs> so now he's going to bust that down, right or wrong? Yeah, he's busting it down, man. But, uh, you know, somebody did say something pertinent in the chat. Somebody said maybe... Montgomery's talking about what the streets know and not what the courts know. So, you know, he he did he did say he's got some close ties to some things. So maybe he knows some things we don't know. But I just can't agree with the... I'm not going to agree no, with the... You, you, okay, you got okay, a deal, bro. You got a deal. That means you gave up something. They're they not going to give you a but, deal for nothing. That's all I'm, I'm saying. Not just on a, I'm not just on about the deal, though. I'm just looking at the facts. Yeah, he can have what he have about the streets. We just going after the facts. You understand what I'm saying? Like... If Young Thug is not telling you to do anything, what, and you doing this on your own, I didn't. Put, young Thug didn't put him in jail. The prosecution did. You understand? Young Thug didn't say, "Yo, go get him to make," because they knew that you didn't have anything. Your family is not oh, going to be able to support you, and not going to be able to use you for my case against Jeffrey Williams. That's not Jeffrey Williams' fault that you locked up. And then come to find out, you're locked up because you was doing things underneath the the the, the 80 block boys, the all Cleveland boys, and YSL on your own. Jeffrey Williams don't owe him anything, no. That's Nothing at all. That's a fact so all the way gotta from. About, you got to look at it overall. Like, Jeffrey Williams didn't say, yo, go lock up this boy. No. So it's not fair that the young man is saying that what's going on over there in the streets in the hood like it's, this is not the hood right now this is court this is real facts right now this is black and it's white court that's right this is black and white this PA. is not about the street well it's yeah. about the street but it's at the same time they look at, and then he said um oh yeah you know the, the um um brian still is pointing out that how young thug wasn't even supporting them and doing this and doing that but if you think about what he said he could just go up in young thug house and get a car so now you come up in my house, I'm all the way up in Russia, you go get a car and you commit a crime, now that goes back to me. Mm. And I'm supposed to support you? Mm, like, yeah. how you messing up my brand and my name? But Big see, they're not thinking about it. It, it, it. I'm looking at it like both ways. I, 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 my heart goes out to that boy on the stand. Don't get me wrong, hands down. It's all good. Like, I know that boy is worried. I know that he's in a tight situation. Like, he didn't really understand fully the serenity that goes along with this. You understand what I'm saying? And he's sitting up there, and it, 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 it's hurtful probably for him, but that's the choice you chose. And then at the same time, you've been out and going back and forth to jail all these years of your life. Maybe God said it's time for you to sit down. And you couldn't even sit down for a couple of months. Y'all was only locked up, Gunner, because you asked earlier to another person how long Gunner was locked up. They all got locked up around the same time, around May. So Gunner was locked up probably for like seven to eight months. <laughs> so... Eight months is like, oh, my God, you scratching your head, you got to go home. I mean, that, listen, it's to each his own, you know. Each but at own. the same time, this young boy that's on the stand, bro, you've been in and out of jail all your life. Michael still broke down. He filtered out your whole lifespan. Even up until now, you're 30 years old, you're still living with your grandmother. Maybe you do need to be in Fulton County. Maybe you do need to be in um, um whatever, Cobb County prison. Maybe. Maybe you need that rest. Maybe you need to sit back because you're doing more harm for your family and your friends while you're sitting out there doing nothing. Then maybe you could go back in jail, probably get your GED, get focused, get some type of educational program going, and come out a better person. That's a fact. Hey, yo, yo, hold on. on. Miss, miss, miss uh, Pennsylvania, I got to get another call, baby. I appreciate you. I oh. appreciate you. I appreciate you. You going. All right, I gave you 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the love nah, and support. Nah, you know, I'll meet you back up later, too. I'm going to call you back before the day is over. I'm going to be on Definitely. this with you all day. Definitely. I'm Please here. call back. All right. All right. Peace, love, and happiness. Peace. One. Yep. All right. Somebody called and I missed. So let me see if I can get a call back right quick. Or somebody call up. Yeah, but uh, somebody said something. Hold on. Somebody said something in the chat that was interesting. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, somebody said something in the chat. I read it real quick. And uh, hold on. Damn. I don't think it is. No, I can't find it. I was going to highlight your chat. Whoever said that. Somebody said something important uh, that I feel was important. Call from Firmament Solutions, Atlanta Telecommunications. Oh my God. 
Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Who's calling? <laughs> what up, Getty? Firmament. This is What's up, Firmament. man? <laughs> What's going on with you? I'm so, good, man. How you doing? I just, I'm wonderful. I just want to give a perspective, okay? Just Go being ahead. from Atlanta. Go ahead. Grew up in Carver. Grew up in Carver home. Mm -hmm. So some, a lot of these areas they're talking about, mm -hmm. I'm extremely familiar with. Okay. So, the guy, the guy that called in, right? Uh, I think his perspective of where he was coming from was mm -hmm. number one. Everybody from Atlanta really knows that, you know, Thug is really a part of that rock crew. Okay. That's a fact, right? Okay. Uh, the young lady that just was speaking was like, well, they was doing crime when they was young. Well, they all was. If you notice, know they just one year apart. Okay. So they yeah. all was a part of the same, you know, the little whatever you want to call it, right? Everybody mm -hmm. know what the South was, right? We call it the South. Mm -hmm. In the A, we call it the South. We don't really call it Jones versus South. Okay. The South. So everybody really know. And that's a poverty area, just like, you know, Cleveland is a poverty area, right? Um, same thing about, like, Carver Home at the time. All them areas are, like, really poverty areas, right? Yeah. If you all thinking that, and I get the perspective, because the court world, definitely not the street world, right? Mm -hmm. so it's all about facts in which you can prove. Yeah. The guy that was on the stand, he, he did snitch. He snitched in the paperwork, right? Let's be a factual. Like, but he did snitch more on himself than he did on the game, right? Okay. So he was trying to get out. He was trying to free himself, pretty much, right? He got on the stand. He stayed loyal to YSL them, right? Period. He, he's being loyal. Like, he's really being Not loyal really, to, but I, I see what you're saying. To, you know. to, a, to a certain extent, Yeah, yeah, right? I got you. Like, I got you. He, he, he kind of played it both ways, yeah. in a sense, right? Yeah, mm, He's straddling the um, fence, yeah. Stra he's definitely straddling the fence, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, but the thing of it is, right, these guys really know each other. It's not about jealousy. It's the narrative that that lawyer. That, that what you pay your lawyer for. Your lawyer. Your lawyer is supposed to create narrative, and he's supposed to create images so he can create doubt in the people who don't know, who may be biased, who don't understand really what may be going on in the environment, right? Mm -hmm. But if you all thinking people are just getting in YSL, people wouldn't even play around with YSL. Let's be real. Like for real, you're not doing that, right? right? You're trying to you might come up missing. Just being honest, mm -hmm. right? So everybody know what that is. Now, did they probably try to clean it up? Yep. Was it probably? Did it probably get out of hand? Yep. Absolutely, did it probably, did. Did thug, did thug probably wanted to try to change it? Yep. Mm -hmm. But when you built something and it's a machine with all those people in it, how can you control it? You can't. Mm -hmm. Right. So you you can't control it. But to sit up here and just act like he no no you, you all are gonna find out a lot from those witnesses. You all are going to find out that they actually took kids, young kids, and ruined their lives, man. Mm -hmm. I right? believe so. That's why, you got a lot of, that's why you got a lot of people that kind of upset, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, these areas was notorious, man. The things and the killings and the shooting. Mm -hmm. And everybody keep forgetting about the YFN thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that thing was real. It was. Yeah, I know. Anybody don't want to know, just go search it on the internet. It was mm -hmm. just real. Bodies like, dropping. These boys were really all over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And so... And so when you <laughs> when you look at this man, mm -hmm. like yeah, Thug was a a a, a a a a rapper. He became successful. He got out the hood. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't bring the people with him for real. Like they say, he offered him a job. Yeah, if you look at the guy's face, you can clearly see the guy looking like yeah, because I don't really want to say what's your name, but they opportunity the opportunity. You guys are thinking mm -hmm. that's why you say yeah, it's an opportunity. But he didn't explain what the opportunity was. But like, does he have uh, to though? Nah, uh, he shouldn't. For the, 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 you know, he did en he did enough for the jury right there. Yeah, he gave me an opportunity. Yes, that's he it. did. Yep, it, correct. And and that's what he know. That's what I mean. Like he's selling the fits, right? Mm -hmm. But in in the real, now I want y'all to watch because if you notice, like you said, still is only talking about YSL the record label, not the game. Mm -hmm. He's forming this narrative. That's what politicians do. Mm -hmm. He's forming this narrative around the word YSL. Mm -hmm. Not so much as YSL the game. YSL the business. It, correct, the business. Yeah. So everything he's asking him, the guy's asking truthfully because he's talking about the business, not the game. Yeah. So, But people are correlating that when he say, I didn't do this in YSL, they think they're talking about the game, but he really not. He's talking about the business, yeah, yeah. which is actually true. Still, is doing a great job of separating thug from the the game and that's his job is it not correct there we the go the problem is though i wonder how the rest of those guys in that courtroom are thinking because they are being pushed to the other side and thug is being separated from all of them that's what that's my opinion about it 
but that's his lawyer's job. He still ain't representing all of them. Absolutely. As you notice, none of them even got lawyers. None of them boys. Only one got lawyers is we all know who he is. Tick got a lawyer. (laughs) Tick got a lawyer. Shannon Stanwell got a lawyer. Yeah, but some of them were prosecutors, right? Yeah. Man, when I heard when I heard them say somebody got fifty thousand there on Cleveland, Lord, I could do number. Really, <laughs> really on Cleveland, fifty bands. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> you talking about Tink grandmother? <laughs> yeah, fifty fifty bands on Cleveland. Y'all don't hey, know that grandma, area. Grandma <laughs> might have had some paper stashed away. You don't yeah. know. You never yeah. know, homie. I, you never know. I promise you, man. <laughs> just, just a little small, just a little small talk. Uh-huh. Just a little small talk, Giddy. My son, back when they was rivaling those areas over there on Cleveland and some of those videos I see, uh, my kid's mom stayed in that same area, right? They home got shot up like 70 times, right? Mm-hmm. Crazy, bro. It just happened they wasn't there. That area, like the stuff that they're talking about, man, mm-hmm. y'all go hear a lot. Y'all about to learn a lot mm-hmm. about, um, Cleveland Ave about and really this case. Cleveland Ave and what it really is. Like I said, mm-hmm. do I think Thug really tried to, to to change it over time? I do. I just think it was just. I, I believe he tried to change it a little bit, but I also believe I was just trying to keep the con- the conversation in context. I wasn't trying to stray off of what yeah. he was talking about, but I do think he yeah. tried to change it. But I do also think he fed into that shit too. That slime oh, god yeah. and all of that, that being the being the leader of the gang and all that. Yes, he fed into that. Of course, more money. Of course, it, yeah. it, it, it was a great marketing strategy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even though it was there, but you got to think about it. The way he was doing it, he gave him a two way street. Mm-hmm. So he got a two way street. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna keep watching. It's interesting to me. Hey man, I appreciate your perspective, man, and 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 oh, yeah. I think Montgomery thinks that I'm like on Thug's side. I don't give a fuck about. Nah, like, you know, like that. Nah, he ain't, even he ain't been following he ain't, me long enough. He don't know. Nah, nah, you, 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 you quick to tell him to get out the street. Right? Well, nothing like that. He think I'm with Thug. I'm just like you know. I'm just kind of keeping it. In, I'm trying to keep the conversation nah, you, in you, perspective. You correct. Of what really, what's really happening, and in context. Like. like I don't want to stray away from the context. That's why I keep speaking to what he was saying. Like you, yeah. tr- he's trying to absolve Tick. I'm like, you can't do that. He was a street dude. The rules are the rules. Yeah, and once you signed up for it, you can't. Rules are the door. rules. And, and I, I grew up in the hood, but mm-hmm. I never became a part of the hood. Mm-hmm. So when they mm-hmm. say people can't get out of the hood, that's a lie. Yeah, yeah. That's a lie. I got out. Time. I come yeah. from the streets. I got yeah. out. Shit. I'll Boy. tell on your ass right now. Fuck that. Boy, I'll straight up. <laughs> I ain't no <laughs> <laughs> Look, I like I'm sitting, not a part of your look, I like sitting right here on YouTube chopping Absolutely. it up. I ain't trying to be in nobody's Absolutely. cell, fam. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah, that. I ain't going. I ain't going. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you, Furman, right. man. Great call, right, man. man. Great call. Right, appreciate man. you, man. All right. All right. Yeah, I think Montgomery Ooh. said I'm stuck on Thug. No, I'm not. You don't be like that. You you knew over here, fam. You better believe. I be, I'm be. i hard on the... I get... I, I, like, like I said before, somebody said something earlier, like Montgomery kind of knows what's really going on in the street, but still... Still, it is what it is, and when the consequences come down, man, you know you can't make excuses and say nobody ain't take care of you. This is why you telling. Call from Drewski. Yo, this is Getty Radio Drewski. Where you calling from? Yo, I'm calling from Columbus, Ohio area, man. Columbus, Ohio, in the building, man. What you got for me? Oh man, let me tell you something, man. These these boys need to uh, take this as a lesson learned. You know what I'm saying? And follow the play, man, because they they about to start hitting a lot of people with these Ricos. Mm, yeah, they coming. Yeah, they coming for mm-hmm. sure. They coming. And, and they just got to watch the play now. What, what Brian Steele was doing, he he's getting paid to do what he do. And, and what your man was saying about him get leaking information, young thug to his lawyer, I, I just didn't understand that. Me and my girl was sitting over here cracking up laughing. Like, what, what is he talking about? I'm like, that's confidential information. Yeah, definitely. You got to be honest with your defense attorney. You can't be lying to them. Yeah. Yeah, in order yeah. to, you know, get, get your get your play in right. And plus, he got to put up a strategy. Now, what I think it is, I think the, uh, the uh, female attorney and uh, Adams, and Brian Steele, I think they all working together just to separate him from the whole gang. Even though 
the lady is uh, representing the other co-defendant. That's you know the lady that sit right behind Thug. Yeah, the one that be answering all the complicated questions to them uh, attorney. They trying to switch the whole narrative. Mm-hmm. Like, like y'all saying it's an organized crime, but what's organized about it? Yeah, you know I agree saying? with that too. Now I do think that that, that putting this in a RICO is a reach. Um, I do, but I do yeah. think that. You that's, know what I'm saying? I that's why the feds didn't go after it. Yeah, it's a reach. It's a reach. They, they knew it. They they was like, nah, they ain't got enough on them. Like they ain't investigating. Or, and plus, they was little kids. They trying to hit them all as adults, and they want at least ten years yeah. investigating. Yeah. And that's why yeah, they are giving so, up the deal you know, so easily because they really don't have anything. If they if, if if it was if they had a lot lot like that, they wouldn't be giving up all these deals. You know, what I'm so they give them up yeah. like fifteen years probation. That's crazy. Yeah, and, and all they want to do, like like your man said on the last call, all they want to do is go home. You know what I'm saying? After eight months up in there eating that same ass commissary, the mystery meat, you you know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. It, it's real up in there. Hey, yeah. It get tough, and motherfuckers leave you uh leave you in the dust when you up in there serving that time. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby yeah. mom's probably out here fucking other niggas. You know that's that's all on the. That's all on a black person's brain, especially a a a, a, a male, a gentleman. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I just I just wanted to reach out to you, man. I just I just had to uh, call up here and put my perspective on. I appreciate you, fam. Thank you for the support and the love, man. Ohio in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, what's my man name? Montgomery. I'm I'm about to call Ooh. you, fam. I see you've been calling, but I need you. To do me a favor, Montgomery, I need you to be a bit more calm. I need you to pull it on down. You know what I'm saying? Pull it on down. It's okay to be passionate, but, you know, don't get too over the top because you be saying things and you said a lot. And then when it's repeated back to you, you saying you didn't say it. So you just don't allow your passion to lead you too much. Like, you know, I want you to, you know, I want you to get your point across and clear your name and clear what, everything you're trying to say because it sounds, you know, you know, you know a little something, something. I don't want you to give up too much information, but uh, after this call, I'm going to call you, Montgomery. All right? I'm going to call you. Call I got from. your number. Mike. Yo, yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Mike, what up? Where you calling from? I'm calling from free, baby. All right. What you got for me? I'm out here watching this third thing. I had some tests on one of my little ones and two. Speak on it, player. Kill your background though. I can hear myself in the background. Kill. Oh shit. Well, he hung up. Uh, he hung up. Uh, let's see. What was that? Was that six three one? Uh, boom, 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 boom. Montgomery. Let me give you a call, brother. People are requesting Montgomery get back on the goddamn line. I ain't mad at y'all. I like Montgomery. He was passionate than a mug, boy. Call from. Terry. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio Terry. Where you calling from? Man, I'm out of Memphis, man. What's good, man? Memphis, Tennessee in the building, man. What you got for me? Man, I was just iterating on what was going on with the case. I just tapped in tune with it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, my opinion, man, with the with the uh with the dude that's on the on the stand right now, he kinda like he don't know what to do, man, because it's a bittersweet thing, you feel me? Like, you grew up with this guy, and it's like, you, you already took the plea. You you go tell because you ain't trying to go back to jail. You've been in all your life. Yeah. But then you see this man in this courtroom like, man, do I, do I kind of, like, keep him or separate from the game? I'm going to take the hit being the game member. Right. But I don't want to put my man in a, in a situation well, I already know what he up against. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I fought, I fought thugs, too, because, bro, you got to separate. You already knew these guys. Once you made once you made a com- commitment to be successful, go, why go back to the streets? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You ain't seeing a lot of these, you know, guys like, like I'm in Memphis. Yo, Gotti ain't coming to the hood trying to save nobody. If whoever whoever he already got, that's it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. If you ain't with it, you get you you putting a bad rep on my name, man, you, you out of there. You feel me? Even with Dolph, he wasn't trying to be like in the streets. He was known for the streets, but you know what I'm saying? That's why he got 
end up in a situation he is because you got to you can't miss street with business, bro. Yeah. You got to keep it straight business. Mm -hmm. Or it's going to mess up your rep. It's going to mess up everything that you work hard for all your life. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So that's that's my input on it. You feel me? That's facts. And I don't know, bro. It's, it's going it's, to you know, more going to come out of it, but it's just a crazy situation, bro. You feel me? Oh, yeah. We just getting started. We just getting started, and yeah, it ain't going to do nothing but get more juicy after this because this is good already. You know what I'm saying? And, and, I, and I, wish, I wish a whole lot of people that's in the street, especially young kids, man, they doing all this crime, and this is what, this is what it – this is the, it, the, out, the out of, uh, output of it. You feel me? Like, yeah, they're going to never get away with much, especially if you're out here doing super dirt. You feel me? Yeah. And if, and if more people would days, think more uh, about the consequences before they're getting in it, then maybe more people would be deterred from doing crime. But a lot of people don't think about them consequences until they face with them. And that's where your man, snitching comes in. When I was growing up, I'm from Chicago. I live in Memphis. I lived in Atlanta, too. But when I was growing up, my mama always said, it's easier to get into crime, but it's way harder to get out, bro. Mm -hmm. You could do it. Yeah, you go shoot somebody. And, you know, you and a group of your guys can create a game. But when y'all get jammed up, now what? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, nigga, go, and you still going to be called whatever, but you trying to protect who you are as a person, as an individual. You got kids. You got you want to go see your family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, now I'm jammed up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But they you just wish you got go, that job at McDonald's now. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I would, I'd be, man, like 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 the uh, homegirl said, if, if if I was young, daughter partner, I'm, I'm carrying bags, nigga, I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to get whatever he need me to get. Yeah. Because I know it's an opportunity to keep me and he gonna throw me some cash. This man a millionaire. Yeah. Fifty thousand fifty thousand and then I'll drive I ain't gotta he paying my rent. Yeah. I, can go, I can go to his crib, rag good, get women, whatever I need. You feel me? Like yeah. why? Go they driving Rolls Royce trucks. They driving his Rolls Royce trucks, his Bentleys and shit. I'm like, man, you better you better sit your ass man. down. And then I'll be trying to create my own little there whatever we go. I can do to get my money. You feel me? So I don't have no simply for homie. He already looked like he just scared <laughs> because man, the DNA on him. They like, bro, you, yeah, you got and know. he lying. You man, who don't know who a snitch is? Who don't know what a ratty is, bro? Mm -hmm. you, you know what? You know these terms. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it, it is, is what, it, what is. it is, bro. But yeah, man, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep. Tune in with you. This is my first time calling in, bro. I like the I like the conversation, the content, bro. I'm gonna keep you locked in, man. Appreciate you, fam. Thanks for the support, brother. All the way from yes, Memphis, sir. Tennessee, via Chicago, man. Thanks for the love, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Peace. All right. Uh all right. Montgomery is highly requested, man. So let me get let me hit Montgomery up, man. I was gonna get one more call before I hit Montgomery, because I know his ass gonna be a while. My God, we just need you to relax. Calm down, good brother. Calm down. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Calm down, good brother. Uh, we had a couple. Well, let me see. Where is Montgomery's phone number at? Y'all want Montgomery to cook? I'm going to let him cook. I'm going to let him cook. All right, hold on. See, his phone probably died. All right. I think this is Montgomery's number. We're about to find out. Montgomery, I'm calling you bike, player. I'm calling you bike. Hello. Montgomery. Hello. Yo. This is Montgomery? Yeah, you can hear me? What's up, player? What's up, man? Hey, speak on it, man. Clarify what you had to say, player. Hey, man. Clarify uh, for it. It's a few different things. Uh, I, ain't, I don't need to check my blood pressure. Man, trust me. I'm cool. <laughs> DJ me. You know, I understand when people are in a certain way. Uh, if you don't, you know, subscribe to their BS, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They'll look at you like you're a different type of person or you got to do this. Yeah, but don't pay that. attention nah, to the chat. Mad. Don't worry about what the chat's saying. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, people that call in and everything. You know what I'm okay. saying? I'm good. I yeah. ain't, I ain't, you know, uh, a lot of times when I was loud, it because I was trying to over talk. You feel me? Because uh, at I the know. same time I'm talking. You know, I know, you and I let you do that. I let I you do that now, that, but you was in violation, good brother. Come on, man. But yeah, so here's what I want you to clarify. All right, now here's what, what I want. Here's mean? what I want to ask you. Here's what I want to ask you, Montgomery. Do you feel 
that Tick is justified for taking the deal. You say he didn't snitch, but he did take a deal. Do you feel that Tick mm-hmm. is justified taking the deal because Thug turned his back on, I, I would say, Tick on while he was on the streets when he had his money and all that stuff? Do you feel that way? Uh, no, I ain't never say that either. You said I said something. You I did, ain't never say. You did what say I that. Said, well, what I, tell me what I said. You said that people was expecting for him to hold Thug down when Thug didn't hold them down. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's 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 pretty much the same thing. Do you feel that? Do you feel no, that? No, do you feel that said, Thug is not worthy said, of being held down? That's what I'm saying. No, he ain't. He ain't. Okay. He ain't okay. worried of being held down. Now I need you to elaborate on that. Stuff. Elaborate on that point right there. Why is Thug not worthy of being held down? All right. So let me let me let me talk a little bit because I've been on there the whole time. Go I've ahead. been listening to you allowing everybody else to speak. So let me talk a little bit. You got the flow. So, you uh, got the flow. Go ahead. So if we separate. If we separate the fanness, fanboy, fan girl of the of the whole case, we'll see that Thug ain't no good. Mm-hmm. Um, first off, like the other person called in, talking about him and his girl was listening when I said about Thor telling his lawyer this and that. Y'all right, he's supposed to tell his lawyer this and that to get him off of what he facing. Mm-hmm. So what's the problem with the other man doing what he got to do to get himself off? That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. It's okay for Thor to sit back there in the back with his lawyer, tell his lawyer the truth mm-hmm. about everything. But then, so he can get out of jail and get out of the situation. But when the other nigga do it, they get himself out of the situation. He wrong, he'll snitch because he just supposed to hold Thug down. Mm-hmm. That's what everybody's saying. Then, when I'm, when I'm talking, tell, I'm going to ask you this. Tell me one bad person that you know. Tell me one person that you know that done made it from being a, they went from being a bad person to mm-hmm. holding those. As, as, as they said, he tried to do. Mm-hmm. Just tell me one person name. Because let everybody else tell you, oh, I do it because it's a position. It'll put me in position to do this, to do that. What position? First off, if y'all are really looking at the case, you'll see how he even hesitated when he said it was an opportunity. Because he really not trying to say what's really going on. Because he's trying to hold his partner down who ain't giving a fuck about him and ain't really holding him down while still trying to save himself and he can't save himself because he already agreed to the plea, which in turn say that he's guilty for these cases. Mm-hmm. He never said, yeah, and one of, on the plea and say, hey, uh, about them paying the, the further, the gain, this and that. He sat on that stand and said, hey, man, we doing helping Young Thug out. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what this man said. This man also said, when I agreed to saying that three or more, mm-hmm. I thought that I, I could use myself. Mm-hmm. See, people trying to take out what they want to take out to make young thug look one way and the other man to look the other to look to look bad because everybody want to fan and be on young thug's side. Not looking at the entirety of this shit, like I've been saying from since I first called. Mm-hmm. Since he took the stand, he's been lying for young thug. Mm-hmm. Everybody in Atlanta knows that Young Thug is a part of Rock Crew. Everybody in Atlanta knows, if you're in the street, where YSL stem from. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows Young Thug has been in multiple crimes with Young with with, with YSL. Mm-hmm. Another thing, y'all y'all talking about? Oh man, he had access to the man cars. He had this and that. <laughs> if he had the access that y'all think he had, mm-hmm. he wouldn't have been begging on those group chat for no fifteen hundred dollar, my nigga. That that would have been an easy fix. The same way I could just pull up and get a car, or the same way I could just pull up and be in his house, I should have been able to hit my partner up for 1500 He was in a group chat talking to a bunch of other niggas about $1,500. Mm-hmm. But everybody want to say, oh, man, he gave him an opportunity, this and that. And then niggas want to say, oh, he told him to stop doing this and that. So that's just like you get it. I'm going to tell you that, too. I've been watching you for a minute, bro, mm-hmm. since since when you were doing the motions and everything. I just subscribed today because mm-hmm. it wouldn't let me come in. But I've been watching you, though, so I'm going to let you know that, too. But um, everybody want to say, God damn, oh, he gave him access to this, access to that. So if he gave him so much access, mm-hmm. why did he have to go – to the screen that he had to go through as far as getting rent paid, getting a lawyer, and while I'm in jail, my partner who I got all this access to, who everybody say so rich, this and that, I ain't even looking out for me a little bit. I ain't never say the nigga had to uh, take care of a nigga. Mm-hmm. 
I never said that. The other nigga said I said it was young thug fault that he got kids. I ain't never say that. Mm-hmm. But at what? But but what? At what point do Tick look at his kids? At what point do Tick say, "Hey, I need to be there for my kids. My grandma suffering. I don't have the money that young thug has. I don't have young Steve. Mm-hmm. I don't have Brian Steele as my lawyer." Mm-hmm. So I ain't, ain't nobody looking at that part though. Everybody just want to say thug, thug, thug. Then when thug was out and doing all this rapping, everybody was King Slime. Everybody was Big Slime. Mm-hmm. Everybody, oh, thug, real one. But thug, gangster. Mm-hmm. But this and that. Now all of a sudden, everybody wants thug to be a punk ass, lame ass nigga so he can get out of the jail. <laughs> With a get out of jail free call while everybody else go suffer. <laughs> okay. Everybody else, y'all just go suffer while I still get out of jail and do what I got to do so everybody can be screaming young thug and y'all mamas, daddies. Kids and everything still suffering though, but everybody gonna benefit off a of young thug. Where everybody that young thug want to benefit. See, ain't nobody looking at that part. And also, the men still have yet to to place young thug as doing anything wrong. Why? Because they say, who is this on the picture? Oh, that's Jeffrey Williams. Who don't know that's Jeffrey Williams? On one of the pictures, the nigga, that, everybody can see that it's Jeffrey Williams, but he got a head down. So he said, I don't know because he head down. Who didn't know that that was young thug? Mm-hmm. That's the only thing the man did. What say they say? Who is this? Oh, this such and such. That's all. Right. When they say where he throwing up, well, I don't know where he throwing up. Well, why you got a B tattoo? I don't know. Oh, well, why this? All all this that everybody already know. Everybody know young thug of blood. He claimed blood, rep blood, this and that. Mm-hmm. All them niggas. Now all of a sudden. Don't nobody know where blood is. Don't nobody know where the gang is. Your thug ain't a part in there. All of a sudden, your thug is just this peon rap nigga, but he rapping about niggas' life that's on the stand. Niggas on the stand, he rapping about their life, glorifying it, getting rich off of it, mm-hmm. but them niggas are jealous. Ones. They jealous because a nigga get rich off glorifying their life that they doing, and everybody saying, well, your thug ain't do nothing. He just... What's a successful? He just got successful, and everybody just got mm-hmm. jealous of him. The same niggas that are jealous of him can go get his car, as they say. The same niggas that are jealous of him can fuck girls, as they say. The same niggas that are jealous of him can go to his house, as they say. Mm-hmm. But but some type of way, these niggas jealous of him so bad he put their name in the song, talking about what they doing at that. The mm-hmm. nigga Young Thug said in the song, I shot at his mama, now he don't mention me no more. I guess that ain't snitching, though. That ain't shit. Nah, that's that It's in the indictment. But, but ain't nobody, I ain't nobody. I nobody. But ain't nobody talking about that though. Ain't nobody saying young thugs are snitch. The nigga. The nigga. The nigga said. The nigga said last nigga tried me at Lennox. Could have got popped. This and that. Whoop the whoop. Right. Is that not snitching? Is is young thug not telling the police? Because the police just called into your radio station, which means they listen to this shit too. So that's not snitching. He ain't snitching on himself. But when niggas get in the courtroom, if a nigga get in the courtroom and say, yeah, young thug shot at that nigga mama, everybody gonna say, well, that nigga a snitch. But nigga ain't gonna say how young thug been snitched on himself years ago. Mm-hmm. But yet, everybody's supposed to stay down and stay real for a nigga that clearly ain't looking out for nobody. As everybody can see. Not only is he ain't looking out, the nigga said he ain't even come visit him, my nigga. Mm, yeah, when he went to prison. Yeah. Ain't nobody looking at the real, bro. I'm not sending, I'm not, nigga, I got three kids at home, my nigga. I got three kids at home. I'm 30 years old. My mom and dad ain't here. Uh-huh. I stay with my grandma, homie. Uh-huh. I'm not sending go home, no nigga down that can't even visit me, bro. That don't even sound right. Like, make this shit sound right. Some type of way what? outside of being a young thug fan of him rapping. But that's, that happens in the streets all the time, bro. Everybody that go to prison don't get visits. Niggas don't be exactly. visiting each other like that in the pen. Exactly. So what? So 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 how is he wrong for looking out for himself? Is everybody trying to say how? I'm not saying he wrong. I'm saying I'm not. I'm not saying you per, I'm per, talk, I get. Okay. I get what you're saying. But let's keep it in context, right? We're talking about street uh-huh. shit pertaining okay. to the streets, according uh-huh. to the street rules. Now that we talking about the rules of the streets. Tick shouldn't have done what mm-hmm. he did. Let's just be real. Which is what? Which is what? Took a deal. Cooperated. Gave up he information. A, he he, took, uh, he, he did something. A, he ahead. gave them something for them to get to for them to let him walk. He's free. 
They didn't yeah, do that for nothing. He gave them. He gave them. He, you're right. He gave them some. He mm-hmm. signed a paper that had his charges on it yeah. and said, "Is Young Thug a part of YSL?" Okay. He taking his charge. This, people not looking at it. The plea that he took hurts him more than anything. Anything because he's now pleading guilty to crimes that he's been uh, arrested for. Mm-hmm. So it's hard. It's hard for him to go back in the courtroom and, and plead not guilty if you don't already sign this plea saying that you are guilty. It's not a crime to be in the game. The crime is when you do crimes while in the game for the game. That's the crime. Him saying young thug a part of YSL is not a crime. But you do know that what, you, hold on, hold on. you do know that Tick said that they did commit crimes to further YSL in the streets for their reputation. He said that on the stand, bro. But he never but he never said but he never said young thug did. No, he didn't say young thug. He said he said, you know, he did and you know what I'm saying he didn't say thug. You're right about that. Exactly. That's what I'm getting that's that's what I'm trying to tell everybody not looking at it. They just looking at thug everybody that called. They just mm-hmm. looking at thug, 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 thug. This man is on the stand incriminating himself more than anything because anything, anytime they ask anything about young thug, he don't know. Only thing he's a to is when they show a picture. Hey, who is that? Oh, well, that's young thug. Mm-hmm. That's just like with Spider. Yesterday he had on, I mean, the day before yesterday he had on what? The spider jacket mm-hmm. with the number five. They said, what kind of jacket he got on? Spider. What do the number five mean? What he say? I don't know. They say it's a part of blood. This, this. Who don't know what that meant? Yeah. He playing dumb where he can. I will say that. Where he, he can. Play, he he play. playing dumb all around for young thugs. But they, niggas don't want to see they, that. But they putting them in the, they putting them in the corner and they forcing them to be honest. He doing a, he he trying to play dumb. I do I do see the play. I do I see the play. But he only being he only being honest to the obvious. If you show me a picture, who is this? This is Jeffrey Williams. Who don't know that? What crime? What crime has he has, has he placed your thug against? There's not even one crime that he placed your thug. But against. here's the thing though. It's a Rico. You ain't got to place Young Thug on a crime. It's an organized. They got they got they got YSL as a criminal organization. So if the so if the but, so so if the, so if it was done in furtherance of YSL, they can paint Young Thug as guilty of that. That's why they put it in a Rico. They don't have a lot on Thug. So when they asked, but when they asked about it helping Young Thug out, what did the man say? He said Thug or YSL. Which one? They asked him. How does the things that he did, the crime, as far as with YSL, how does that help Young Thug as far as furthering his game or the money they gave him? What did he say? When? I don't know. You got to refresh today, me on that because I don't. I, today he said he said he said it don't help it don't help him out at all. They also asked him about the money. He said we ain't never gave Young Thug no money. So again, this Rico that y'all are talking about. We not talking about, it. about He's it? actually facing a RICO charge. Uh, the state hit him with a RICO. That, with a RICO that everybody, well, so far, yeah. the one guy has been on the stand yeah. has shown that, hey, Young Thug is not a part of none of this criminal shit that we doing, that this RICO y'all got us up. Only people that he's incriminating is himself. He can try to absolve himself all he wants. He can try to absolve Thug all he wants. But it's something in that plea deal that implicates Thug. Why? Because they got Thug as the leader of the gang. So if the gang is committing, is people a part of the gang that they say Young Thug is the leader of, is committing crimes in furtherance of the gang, then that implies that Young Thug is guilty of that because they got him as the leader. Who said? They're holding him responsible for everybody else's actions. That's 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 a recall. Who's doing the, the state. Who doing that? Who holding him responsible? The state, right? Yeah. That, that's so what he's facing. Hold, oh, oh, all right, I got you. So this what when I keep saying about why I keep yelling it because like mm-hmm. I'm trying to. It's I'm all trying good. To, I'm Do trying thing. to. No. Do so what I'm saying is you telling me the state got him on a RICO. They do. So if the state got him on a RICO and that's just all it was, they wouldn't even need nobody else to take the stand because they already know that he's guilty of this RICO. They got niggas on the stand so that they can show that he's guilty of this RICO and which the nigga that's on the stand showing that, hey, Young Thug basically ain't got nothing to do with this. The nigga on the stand making Young Thug look like a peon ass nigga. 
When niggas in now, the now street, we already know. Street, we guys, already know that steal them. Done, done been talking to him. So he trying to do. He trying to play. But he's straddling the fence. Me and uh, Firmament Solutions was talking about. He's straddling the fence. He's trying to play both sides. That's what he's doing. Of course, it, we, you can see he trying to help Thug out a little bit. Of course, he is. Yeah. Why, why has he helped the state? Shit, he helped the state by signing the deal, and he admitted to some some stuff. Now, he not denying what every he, he not he, he not denying everything, thug? bro. The man got up there and said Tell they, they me commit. What he admitted to about young thug though? What did he admit to about young thug? What do you mean? They don't have thug on nothing. What? It's a weak case. We already know that. It's so, a weak so case. Listen, are, 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 if you listen, to, like like that's what I'm saying, bro. Like listen to what you say. So you saying it's a weak he, case. He, he messed so, so exactly. So, where did that's he why they, that's why they put him in a RICO. Thug. They really right. want Thug. They don't really have much on Thug to throw him in jail forever. That's why they put him on under a RICO. The case is weak. That's why the feds didn't get it. So they doing everything Bro, they can, said, and he's so not what, helping what, right what now. Has Tick done exactly. So, so everything that's being said. That's what I'm. That's why. I, that's why I've been trying to call back because I'm like, what are y'all talking about right now? There's nothing that he's done on this stand to incriminate Young Thug outside of them saying, hey, who is this on this picture? That's mm -hmm. Jeffrey Williams. What is Jeffrey mm -hmm. Williams throwing up? I don't know. It looked like a P. What does a P stand for? Oh, it's a song, this and that. When we all know he was throwing up a V, which is blood. Now, somebody say the case ain't weak at all. Do you think the case is weak? No, the case ain't weak. What, 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 do you, what, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do you think the case against Thug is weak? Because you're saying he ain't incriminating no, Thug at case, all. The case, the case, the case is not weak at all. So this what this this another thing. Like people keep talking about uh, the feds coming in. This and that. first yeah. off, the feds is not going to come in on this because Fulton County uh, is one of the is one of the like richest. Well, Atlanta, one of the states to where like the fed we kind of they kind of like are the same in a way, but they're not the same. Okay. So I want people to think I'm saying that they the same as the Fed, this and that. No. Okay. That's not that's not the case. They have resources. So the case is not right. C correct. Yeah. So the, st the the Fed is not going to pick up this case anyway. Yeah, they uh, uh, Fulton County got the resources to another, fight the case. Yeah. Another yeah. thing is the case is not weak. What's, okay. what's, what's, what what making the case look weak is. Uh -huh. They trying to, they trying to, they, 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 they trying to make it as if everything that these people did was because Young Thug told them to do it in a way. Because he's the one with the money. Mm -hmm. So now you have somebody on the stand. They call, see, people not looking at that. They call him first because everybody knows this is his partner, his main man. So they expecting him to goddamn flip off the jump. And he ain't flipped yet. Okay. So that's why everybody looking like, oh man, this case weak. And it's funny how they saying the case weak, but on the flip side saying the man snitching. That don't even make sense to me because if he's snitching, it's a super strong case because they don't need nothing else. Because he could have no, easily no, not, not necessarily. Said, no, Some niggas no. just don't want to go to jail, yeah. bro. Some of us just gonna cooperate. Fuck it. Everybody he ain't that smart, easily, bro. He could. Bro, from day one, he could have easily went in there and fucked Young Thug up. Mm -hmm, from day mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. First off, is Young Thug a part of the rock crew? Yes, Young Thug is a part of the rock crew. He could have said that all drunk. Okay, what is Young Thug? And another thing they're trying to show to the jury is these gang members. Mm -hmm. Not one time has he said Young Thug is a part of the gang. Not one time. You sure about that? He, show me what he said. Yes, Young Thug is a, is a blood. No, he said Young Thug is a part of YSL. He didn't say Young Thug is a part right. of Rock Crew. You're right about that. You're right about that. He didn't. He said Young Thug wasn't part of Rock Crew, but he said Rock Crew morphed into YSL, and he said he co-founded YSL along with Young Thug and Walter Murphy and another person, I guess. Correct. So he did. So he put him when in the game he, right there. They want. They 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 trying to make YSL a game mm -hmm. throughout the blood. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He hasn't, he hasn't told nothing about Young Thug being a blood. Yes, Young Thug is a part of YSL. Okay, uh, what did Young Thug do to be a part of YSL? Oh, he ain't did that. What has y'all done to, inf 
the 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 fur of the young thug in this game. Mm -hmm. We ain't did nothing for him. Mm -hmm. Again, he haven't said nothing other than young thug is a part of YSL. That's not that's not that's not a crime. Mm -hmm. The crime would be yes, young thug a part of YSL, and why Y S L was doing whatever Y S L was doing. Young thug was there. Yeah, why we were doing, we were doing, we were bringing Young Thug money. Yeah, why we were doing, we were doing, goddamn, Young Thug was telling us to do it. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's the crime. Not, yes, he's a part of this shit. Because even Brian Steele now, he making YSL look more of the record label. To the whole jewelry and everything. That's what he's supposed to do. He's the defense. Exactly. He. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with that. He doing, he doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah. And 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 Tick fucking himself up trying to fuck with Young Thug is what I'm trying to say. This motherfucker line. Somebody put in the chat. Tick just got shot last night. That ain't true, is it? Lying motherfucker. Tick just no. got on the stands. This motherfucker in here trolling. Tick was just on the stand just a few minutes ago. How you get shot, you idiot? Uh, all no, right. no, so, no. So so all right. So in a nutshell, you're saying. That Tick really didn't snitch. He took a plea deal, but he did not cooperate with the state. That's your stance, right, sir? My stance is he took a plea deal, pleading guilty to his crimes. Okay. And he said he said it on the stand. I thought this, I thought that. When they asked him, that's just like they, they got in the plea deal, it say, did you participate in a group chat with, with, with uh, Jeffrey Williams? And he said yes. He participated in a group chat. He didn't, it didn't say, uh, did you participate in a group chat Well, your thug told y'all to give him money for killing somebody? Mm -hmm. That's not what it said. It said, did you participate in a group chat? Yeah. Yes, I participated in a group chat. Yeah. Now this group chat got put out in court. This is what the group chat was about. And when they asked him, he said, on the stand, well, when they asked me, did I participate in a group mm -hmm. chat? I said, yes, because I did. Mm-hmm. Definitely, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, Brian still walked down them group, them group chats very well. He did a good job on that, especially the part where he would, exactly. where it made where, where the prosecution it's was hard. making it seem like Thug was putting telling some of them to go kill somebody. He was just talking about them fighting each other. They need to throw hands or whatever. Yeah, so Brian still cleared that up, he, cleared it up very well. Yeah. Even then, even then, y'all ain't seeing the play on that. Young Thug wasn't talking about them two niggas fighting each other, man. Well, yeah, well, put it out there that. then. I'm talking about the, the way it was presented to us. Well, put it out there. What bro, was he talking about, bro? Bro. Put it out there, first fam. Off, first, first off, if you even look at the group chat, you can see Young Thug when talking to them niggas because Young Thug word is showing that he went talking to them niggas. Mm -hmm. That nigga Young Thug said, why y'all haven't? I'm surprised y'all ain't beat them or shot them up yet. Yeah. Is what he said, them. Mm-hmm. So if he was talking to them two niggas, he would have said, I'm surprised y'all niggas ain't hit yet. I'm surprised y'all niggas ain't shot each other yet. Mm -hmm. But that ain't what Young Thug was talking about. But the way the group chat is set up, it's easy to say he was talking about that. Even if you listen to a tick on the stand, mm -hmm. he didn't just straight up come out and say, oh, yeah, he was talking about, he said what he, he said she is. Looked like he was talking about us. Arguing like little girls. Yeah. This and that. Whoop -de -whoop, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Come okay. on, man. That's what I'm. That, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like the state. Okay. Some other stuff. So the state that just proves said, that, that proves you right. The man trying to hold thug down, right? Did you say that? Bro, you can look at the case. See, this is the problem. People looking at the case, looking for looking for a reason to just call somebody a snitch because they see somebody on the stand. So mm -hmm. when they see somebody on the stand, anything he say, people just want to say, oh, he snitched. He snitched. Where did he snitch at? He still haven't said anything to criminate Young Thug. Mm -hmm. All he did was identify who Jeffrey Williams is in some pictures. Mm -hmm. That's all he did. And say that he's a part of YSL. He ain't said no crime he committed in YSL. He ain't said no money he made off of YSL this game. He ain't said none of that. Only thing is, yeah, he a part of YSL. Yeah, we was in a group chat together. He, 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 you know he said he sold drugs for the gang, right? He never said your thug sold mm -hmm. drugs for the gang. No, he said he did. That what I'm trying to say is they're holding, they're trying to hold Young Thug responsible for the actions of the gang. He's not admittedly saying that Thug. Or 
administered or orchestrated anything. This is what the state's trying to do. Oh. That's what I'm saying. When, he didn't when say he that. said he sold your thought, when he said he sold drugs for the game, and Brian still asked him about giving the money to your thug, he said he didn't give your thug no money. So again, he's a he's a criminal himself, mm -hmm. not your thug, because he sold drugs for YSL. That don't incriminate your thug, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to make make it as if people did things for your thug and your thug funded them. But everything that they're trying to throw at him, he's saying no. Young Thug didn't have nothing. He even made Young Thug look good while Brian still showing that Young Thug don't do shit for these folks. But he, let him tell it. <laughs> young Thug let him stay at his house, drive the car, uh, give him money, uh, fuck the hoes, do all this and that. But then on the flip side, Young Thug ain't came and seen me. Young Thug ain't helped me pay for my lawyer. Young Thug ain't gave me nothing, but we shared a $3 meal at McDonald's. Brian Steele is painting Young Thug to be a guy that made it from the community with survivor's remorse and tried to re reach back and help out his people, the guys that were still on the streets. That's what Brian Steele is trying to paint Thug to be in the, in the thing, that he wasn't doing any kind of crimes. He was just a guy that made it and looking out for his people, not turning his back on his people, but at the same time, not taking care of them. So that's what helped him out with that YSL they, thing. Go ahead. And the nigga Tick, and the nigga Tick basically saying the same thing. No, he didn't do this. The nigga Tick even said he encouraged me to stop selling drugs. He encouraged me to stop doing wrong. So the same man that encouraged you to stop doing this is glorifying you doing it on his songs. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Let me ask you When this. did that song come oh, out? Because I'm not familiar. I never knew nothing about that song. I don't really be listening to you know, thug and stuff like that. I like his uh, music, but I don't listen to him. But when, what, how old is that song? Cause I never heard that song before. Man, that shit old as fuck, bro. I, don't, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't know the dates on when song, cause I, I ain't never. Michael X said twenty thirteen, so man. probably 10, 10, 11 years ago. So they might have been oh. knee deep in some shit when they said they might, thug might not have been trying to. You know, I don't think that thug. You know, I think at at some point he tried to. You know, he enjoyed the fruits of the gang's mm -hmm. labor. You know what I'm saying? Getting the props for being a street dude and, you know, all of that stuff. We know he delved in a little bit of that stuff and engaged and indulged a little bit. Of course he did. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's the prosecution. I mean, it's the defense's job to paint him in a light that does not show that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And well, look, I think Tick's so trying to help out a little if, bit. So if Tick got, let's say Tick got locked up for robbing a female, right? And the whole time, Tick saying, man, I'm, I'm innocent. I ain't do that shit. And then they going to listen to a song of Young Thug mm -hmm. saying about Tick robbing somebody. Is that snitching? Uh, it depends. In this day and time. Uh, and uh, and 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 hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In this day and time, no. But to me... Yeah, it's self snitching. But in a lot of cases today, it's so people think it's okay, especially in the rap industry on our side of things. People, it's okay for people to talk about their criminal endeavors, and people don't consider that snitching today. You can talk about what you did. So until the charges come so down, it's a, <laughs> so it's so it's okay. It's okay for young thug to snitch and make money off the snitching, but it's wrong for a nigga to get on the stand and if he wanted to snitch. It'll be wrong for him to want to snitch to get home to his family, but Young Thug can snitch and make money off of it and get fans at the same time while snitching. Implicating and your people in crimes cool. is always wrong, but I, look, I didn't know that Tick said today that he was upset that Thug put him in that song like that, so typically guys would be like, yeah, that's cool, I, my name in there, he's talking about me, but he said he won't cool with that shit, so he won't cool with it. There we go. Bro, obviously, obviously he went, obviously he ain't care too much because y'all thought I'm putting his name in plenty more songs. Of course, I got to mm. tell y'all on the stand because I'm still trying to say my partner that I was jealous and I was mad at him putting my name in that song. Come on now, man. Now, let me, off, let me say this to off, you. Why would Hold on. Now, it's, it's a go few ahead. people. I want you to speak to this. There's a few people that feel like you don't know what's going on and you don't know what you're talking about. Now, how so do you let me respond? ask them this. Go ahead. Ask them, ask them, ask them few people, if I don't know what's going on, how do they know what's going on? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Any so rebuttal? I don't know what's now, going I got, on. I got people asking me to let them call on. in because I got people that want to call in oh, you go ahead. to clear you things up because they want, because, you know, they, 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 some people feel like you don't know what's going let on. Them, you don't know what you're talking them, about. 
Get what I want you to do, homie. You can go and let them in because I'm, I'm going to tell you what's going to go on. Uh-huh. People who ain't in the streets, ain't in the Atlanta streets, they finna go off of what they looking at on this on, on, on TV mm-hmm. and try to say, I don't know what's going on because they finna try to be internet lawyers. So go ahead. I guarantee <laughs> you ain't none of these niggas can, can, can pick up the phone and call not one person in YSL okay. or none. But I'm going to let the internet lawyers <laughs> go ahead and tell you what they see going on. And I guarantee it's gonna all be on your third side. But like I said, man, you know, <laughs> I've been I've been fucking with your channel. I still will, man. I Definitely. appreciate you letting me call back in and everything, man. You know, keep doing what you're doing and hey man, it's all good. Bless all them brothers, man. I just wanna see goddamn the man come home to his family and hopefully he stopped taking up for young thug and and goddamn let his ass goddamn do what he gotta do since he's so this big gangster, big slime nigga. Let's P-Cash. see him go play gangster then. P Cash said you on point. P Cash said he on the west side. He said you on point. P Cash. Hey bro, hey bro, I already said my whole name, bro. Nigga can look me up, bro. He said you on. He said you on point. He said he said you on. That's why I said some somebody said earlier today that. You 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 know what's going on in the street, not necessarily. You know what I'm saying. So you speaking from a different perspective that everybody don't have, which is important. Which is why I like people Bro, from can, Atlanta, from the city, to call because yo, you guys are got boots on the ground. You guys really know what's shaking out there. So it's great. Hey man, if you can talk to a police officer, or anything down here in Atlanta, man, just ask what why M M is. I'm telling you, I'm a part of it. Okay, I can, I can. I can I can sing it, whatever, do it. Hey, man, I'm really, I really was in them streets, bro. So trust okay. me, bro. I ain't just on here talking out the side of my lips. I know why it all happened, why it all started, where it started from, mm. everything. So, you know, let them okay. talk, though, man. But I appreciate it being, homie. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. Hey, anybody disagree with the good brother Montgomery right here, man, y'all call up. Y'all call up, man. Y'all disagree with what Montgomery had to say. He got boots on the ground. Very passionate call. I love calls like that. You know what I'm saying? Because he pretty much took care of himself. I set him up. He knocked him down. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't think Montgomery's still in the streets. He's just saying, you know, he come from, you know, he just you know, saying where he come from. You know, some of the things that, you know, he he was a part of some things back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I, th- I doubt if he's still out there, boots on the ground like that. You know, sound like a brother. Sound like he got his mind right. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, anybody, so somebody been calling constantly. Let me get this phone call because I've been seeing this one phone number constantly. Make it good because we, we, we're doing quick hits now. I don't want to keep y'all on the phone too long. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Good money, man. You disagree with uh, Montgomery, man. Speak on it. Yes, sir. Man, these people ain't from, ain't around Atlanta. Mm. All right, like I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm gonna be real brief. Like I'm, I gotta go get these kids off this bus. But uh, look, half of them people that's on the trial, they, they don't even, they haven't even been around thugs. Mm. Like, like, like uh, Tick, he, 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 he was around a little bit. He went to prison. He wasn't around for all of this stuff. Young Thug is not ROC. He was not raised on Cleveland. Mm. He, 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 like all of them other people, like he looked up to them. He looked up to people like Tick before, but. He got rich. Mm-hmm. He's not. He's not rock crew. The 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 the, the people that's rock. They all in, they all in prison for the rest of their life. There's only there's only maybe one or two people on that trial that been around them. Mm. That been around. So Chick ain't Chick was around. Got arrested. He he like when Young Thug did everything for him. He got he got money like and Chick is over there. Chick is going to he's going back to jail. He's over there lying on the stand. Yeah yeah. He's over there. He's not doing what he's like. Yeah, he's a rat. He's he's a full time rat. Mm. Look, look him. When when they tell him, oh, you got to go back to jail now because you didn't you didn't up, um you didn't do what he didn't testify truthfully. Yeah, he's not testifying truthfully. They're mm-hmm. gonna send him back to jail, and he's about to sell on everybody else. Mm. Like it's it's a whole crazy situation. The, the case is weak as hell. Young Thug is not no shooter. He never he never did none of these crimes. Mm. None of the crimes, he didn't do it. He ain't shoot at no loose. He had beef with loose, but he didn't do nothing. Everybody else did. And he's on tour. These people is back here in Atlanta. I'm, I'm in Atlanta. I know, I know all these people. They, they did the shit on their own time. They committed crimes on their own. Young Thug didn't say, yo, you go do this. You go do that. None of that shit. What like, part dude, of the like, A oh, you from? I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from Cleveland. Oh, shit. You from Cleveland? 
Yeah, like I like these these people. I I I, I used to record these people music and stuff. Oh, so <laughs> you really know what's going on? Yeah, yeah, and it's a whole the whole case is all messed up. They just want Young Thug to go to jail. That's like, what I was just telling Montgomery. They just want him. They just, like I, that's why they put him in a Rico. He feels like you know Young Thug, whatever, blase, blase. But I'm just trying to tell him like they want Thug. Yeah, yeah. The, and the only way they can get him is in this Rico. So let me ask you. You don't agree with Montgomery when he said that Tick is not a snitch because he didn't give anything up in that uh in that plea agreement. Tick, oh, look, oh, look, look, look. All right, I, I, I sort of agree, but this is what's going to happen. Tick is an idiot. He's going to be like, oh, shit, damn. Oh, he thinks that he's free. He's not free yet because he didn't do nothing that the DA wanted him to do. Yep. When, when, when they tell Tick, when they tell Tick, all right, now you got to do all your time. Then he's going, all right, look, oh, this has happened. Here's the phone calls. He's, he's going to tell everything. Yeah, and I think, they, I think they're kind of reaching out to him behind mm. the scenes, especially last week when he was really playing dumb. He came back Monday. He was being really honest about yeah. some shit. Oh, oh you, 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 you see how now he got the, 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 the nice white button-up shirt on mm-hmm. now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. he, he's starting to understand. He's going to tell on everybody. He about to tell on everybody in Atlanta. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he, if, if you look at his eyes, he... He's confused. He think he thinks that he can go up there and lie. Oh, Nigga, you signed that paper. Oh, my part of my friends. But yeah, he signed that paper. You can't like you know when you when you when you sign that plea deal, you gotta tell them the exact truth that they already know the truth. He's up there lying. Yeah. They they gon' they gon' they gonna They asking him questions he done probably already answered behind the scenes, but he just trying to play yeah, it play it. it, it exa- yeah, mm-hmm. cause, cause he's sitting in front he's sitting in front of he's, he's sitting, sitting in front, in front of, of them. Yep. He's sitting in front of so he's looking thug like damn. That's why he keep looking to the side, mm-hmm. putting his head down. He's in front of them. He's like, damn, I told on them. Now I got to not tell on them. It's a whole crazy situation. But yeah, a, a lot of them people ain't been around thug. Thug ain't no. He, he, he's 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 a, he's a he's a gangster. He's whatever. But he didn't do none of these crimes. And it's not look. They did stuff by themselves, and they all just tying it in. Like, uh, so are you saying I, that YSL is not a criminal enterprise? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. It's not. It's definitely not. I right, boom right. YSL is just that's the record label. Okay. So R-O-C, you, you and Montgomery agree on something. He don't think that either. You know, he he, he says that uh, thug thug. You know, Tick is not implicating thug in any crimes, anything like that. You know, he's just only giving because he because look he knows look Tick just got shot at last night. That's what somebody said. That is that true? Yes, yes. They, they, everybody, the people on the streets is like, yo, like he, he, and it's so messed up. He ain't got no protection. Like either he's gonna go to jail for the rest of his life, or somebody outside about to catch him. Do you know this thing. for a fact, or is it just I'm like, no, because I'm pretty? Somebody shot at him. They're not gonna broadcast that shit on the internet. Like, uh, oh no, no, they gonna broadcast it. But the nah, streets like, is dude, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like there's a lot of stuff on, and and like it's a whole bunch. If 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 Tick when 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 Tick, when they tell Tick he got to do this time, it's a whole bunch of other people that he's gonna tell on. Ain't got nothing to do with it's a whole, all the bloods, all the sex money murder stuff. I don't wanna get too deep into that, but yeah, yeah he's gonna tell on everybody. Yeah, yeah. Maybe man, but, uh, he better straighten up, or he gonna lose that deal, man. And he gonna go up for eight, and I don't think he want to do that because all of this gonna be yeah. for nothing. Yep, and then, and then, and then when, and if he goes to prison, all the Lucy people gonna. <laughs> Lucha people in the prison beating up all the YSL people, stabbing them up all that. Mm. It's crazy out there, man. Uh, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's a war going on outside. Mm. But, uh, okay. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna okay, we got in. some I'm, people I'm, that I'm don't agree with you right now. So if you, do, if you I, disagree I, with good money, Bunchy, then you need to call up. Yeah, call up. I'm, 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 I'm tuned in. Call up. I'm a, as soon as I get this boys off the bus, I'm going to tap back in. All right, salute watching, to I'm you. It. Salute to you, money. Appreciate you, fam. All right, brother. Have a good one. Yo. Yo, good money. Bunchy said, so in the A, let me ask you this. We got a lot of people from Atlanta, in, in the Atlanta out of the area, the great Atlanta area, Latonia, you know what I'm saying, Decatur. We got, we got Atlanta in here, Georgia in here deep. Is it floating around on the streets that Tit got shot at last night? Is that is that is that what's going on? Is that floating around out there? Put a one in the chat if you heard that in the A. Call from Ben. <laughs> Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio Ben. Where you calling from? 
Yo, what up, D? I'm from Atlanta, yo. Oh, nah, I'm shit, just man. I'm calling from Indiana. <laughs> I mean, you sound like you're from New York, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what last dude sound like, man. And see, Good money did sound like he's thing. from up top, didn't he? <laughs> Bruh, this is my thing. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I, I done spent half my time in Indiana, half my time in Illinois. I'm talking about real GD folk from back in the day and mm -hmm. got out all this shit. And I see where Tick coming from on a certain level, right? I was all in that. You put your life on the line for the guys. And, and it's a couple that's always going to have more than you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's always a couple dudes that's going to stand out in the hood, right? That got more than everybody else. That's how it go. Every it, it ain't never no situation. Everybody where ain't everybody ain't got even. fat pockets. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And it's always gonna be them dudes at the top that's gonna have the crash dummies and bird feed them. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I seen all that was bullshit when I got shot and wasn't nobody coming to the hospital for me. You mm. feel me? Mm. Mm. Niggas left you know, hanging in the hospital bleeding. Off. Yeah, mm. yeah, the whole thing goofy to me, man, because I think the illusion, see, I'm using this case and watching this as a, a learning lesson for my children. Okay, yeah, you yeah, see definitely. what I'm saying? That all yeah. this is illusion. It's Cautionary bad. tales, man. That's what, I, that's what I use it for. I try to tell you, you know, this is the end of the road right here. You keep playing around in them streets. This is it. And the whole, the whole basis for the debate is really whack in the sense that People are saying, did he snitch? Did he not snitch? But it's based on this expectation of these street codes that are not real, mm -hmm. have never been real. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about going back to the mafia boys where what 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 all these people now imitating mm -hmm. they told abusing their own community <laughs> and their own people. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Making a profit off of blood money. Y'all not, you see what I'm saying? Y'all not robbing them peoples like that. You robbing your peoples. You ain't selling mm. that dope to them peoples like that. You selling them to your peoples, right? Mm. Mm. Ain't no honor in that. So why would you expect somebody mm. who identify themselves as snake, slime, mm. take joy in being grimy and being deceptive and being and living that way to have some honor when it comes down to it? It's dumb. And I think the whole point is going over people's heads. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What expectations do you have? But what it looked like to me, now nah, I ain't from Atlanta and all that shit. I know the streets. I know people. Mm -hmm. My DOC number go back to 94. All right? Facts. And what, like, like I said, what it looked like with this whole thing is, dude probably was just loosely associated doing little bitty stuff with them. But he had the talent out that group. But he used them boys for street credibility because that's the framework of his current rap game. I, I know enough about Atlanta to know you ain't talking about trapping and doing all that shooting and shit if you ain't got no people along with you really doing that shit. They gonna let you get on from a local level and you ain't really doing it? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And he used them boys. Then he got in them boardrooms. And then people pulled into the side. Hey, you can't bring all them. They messing up our revenue. They're messing up the back end, Jeffrey. Mm. You can't bring them along. Mm. And he separated himself. But I, on one hand, I respect Steele for his skills objectively. But on the other hand, that dude is a real scumbag. Mm. I feel like they trying to play the jewelry for idiots. Like, my daughter was watching it. She said, remind her of that uh, lawyer from the R. Kelly episode on Boondock. She ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure it was hilarious, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was pandering to the jury. You know what I'm saying? He was <laughs> he was defending R. Kelly. He came up to the stand. And Tom, the opposing attorney, mm -hmm. is married to a white woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He doesn't like the sisters. R. Kelly loves the sisters. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Talking yeah, yeah. about pandering, something that pandering. ain't got nothing. To... Yeah. And, yeah. And, and while I got the mic, like, some of y'all need to think about what y'all saying when y'all saying free these people and all this and all that. Because I do know some people in the A that's upstanding. You see what I'm saying? And they mm -hmm. don't like all that. Because y'all yeah. stepping on money and development in that city with that. Man, people got tired of all that shit, man. Like, Firmament Solutions called up, and he said, man, it was really turned up out there. It was a lot going on out there. People get tired of that shit, man. So the state, I, I believe the state just had to figure they had to do something about something. 
So they grabbed that wife and yeah. Lucci and they grabbed that young thug and all them niggas. Get them niggas off the street. <laughs> shit. Yeah. This is why they was in the so, water so, out there. It's so like, shit, what you think gonna happen? But it's weird for me for still to be trying to like throw in this little racist, like this undertone, like it's racism or the system is just trying to unfairly persecute him in a black city. And the most white faces I see is defending that nigga. So what yeah. is we talking about? Yeah, what man. is we talking about for real? Yeah, man. When the citizens well, start yeah, talking man. and you know and you know, people get people got tired of it, man. It's just a lot going on. New the news cycle was all around that because i covered a lot of this stuff man and i talked to george cheaty interviewed him one of the uh, atlanta reporters out there you know he was he told me too he's like man there was a lot going on out there man a lot of bodies just dropping so at some point law enforcement and prosecution at some point it becomes political and they got to do something so a lot of this too is a political move as well so you know, once yeah. you get the politics involved in the streets and then, then shit like this happens and then people complaining like this it's a rico it's unfair but bro, y'all niggas just didn't slow down fast enough, man. That's all it was. And, and yeah. you know, it's probably crooked stuff in that. I ain't no doubt. But yeah. that's mm-hmm. the lesser of two evils compared to I'm looking at the fact when he talking about he going to tour and all that. Like I've been overseas, and it's a certain kind of way. If you ain't cut like that no more, and that's how the worldwide audience sees you. Sees your race, the expectation that they have from you. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just totally irresponsible to be spreading this type of lifestyle all around when it ain't working for us. So, you know, maybe he wasn't the shooter and all this and all that, but he fed into that dynamic. Now, how far the prosecutor can prove that? Mm-hmm. I don't know, because she seemed like she too thirsty. She put too much on that indictment. Hmm. I don't know, man. Only Wait time will what? tell, man. Hey, I appreciate yeah. you. Appreciate you calling, man. Great phone call, man. It's crazy out there. Yeah, get street. it. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You, you, you that guy. Yes, hey, sir. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the support, man. Please call back, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. One. Uh, one. Say Rose. Uh, so, so what? Atlanta is a black city. We are known to be crabs in the barrel. Hopefully, that will change one day. Maybe a black city. But who is truly in control? That's a fact. That's a big fact right there. The people that's in control is the same motherfuckers that rounded up YF and Lucci and Young Thug. Got their ass off the street. You know who's in charge. The system. The system's in charge. And if you and if you get their attention, then your days can be numbered on the streets, fam. Especially if you really out there doing some crazy shit. Call from Rick. Yo, what up? This is Getty Radio. Rick, where you calling from? Going from Detroit, bro. Detroit in the building. What you got for me? You know what's going on, man. You know, down here we know how the law works, and we know how snitches work, bro. So you know, when a criminal is a criminal, they're gonna throw you under the bus. Mm-hmm. So you know how that go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's uh, no, 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 they, they, no lawyer to his cutthroat out there in the streets, man. Yeah, no lawyer to cut. So how can it be? How can you be a criminal if you ain't if you willing to go to jail? Criminals ain't willing to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a criminal if you if you're willing to go to jail. You you're supposed to be willing not to go to jail. Anything you can to not go to jail, that's what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But they call it snitching. But they really that's what a criminal is. Mm-hmm. The, the hood got it mixed up. They they call it, yeah, he a snitch, he a snitch. No, he a criminal. Mm-hmm. A criminal a robbery, bro. He'll take you and kill he'll kill your mother. He ain't gonna turn himself in. Mm-hmm. So that's what what what, what kills me about our people is we, we think snitches is wrong when they just criminals. So if, if you if you protecting a snitch, you protecting the criminal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's all backwards, and then, and then they got this black on black, and you know, you know, it ain't no Rico charge. That's just a rapper rapping. You know, it's, it's really kind of stupid. They look kind of stupid on TV watching it. Like I, I ain't never seen a bunch of you know my man up there talk. He looked like a slave. You know what I'm saying? With his hair off. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Look at his head, man. What's wrong with him? You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Why would he come to court like that? He said Tick looked like a slave. <laughs> a runaway He's slave. Stupid, no, he looked like, <laughs> look like he lost his foot, bro. Yo, that's funny, man. That's For funny. For real, don't he? <laughs> Aaron turned gray. He ain't coming uh, in six months. Mm, he don't mm, look like mm. he smell very well. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's, it's like, look how it looks. To, to if you if you outside looking in, so if you uh, 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 another race looking at this, mm-hmm. they looking at the, the, this black person over here, this black person over here, the judge black, the uh, prosecutor black. They just like they. This, this is what they love to see. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They love to see us do their job. I know that judge so tired of that shit. I know that judge like the judge. Ah, damn. I mean. <laughs> He, he look like he ready to go home, man. He look like he want to come to work. No yeah, yeah, he don't. He ain't there. He ain't, shit, he ain't there half the day. Shit, we can have a no, short he ain't day. There half a day. We supposed to be still trial supposed to still be going on right now. Right, he because he, he know it's not going nowhere. Four o'clock. It's yeah. hard. It's gonna be hard to prove this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. They making the jury sick. The jury gonna be like, man, just let this motherfucker go. Let's just get it. Just, let's go on home, man. Because it's, it's getting sickening. You know what I'm saying? People Mm-mm-mm. getting tired of it in a way. That's they, funny. They, what they and what they talking about? These little was he at the gas station? You know all these things. Like what? And he had a dime of weed, right? You know what I mean? The other states we looking at this like this is nothing. I mean, what, mm. I know it's the dirty south. So the dirty south look like they or you got a joint. You going to jail for uh, ten years for a joint? We looking at this in Detroit like man, they talking about a gram. Dirty south yeah. gets dirty, man. Yeah, down $23 here, man. in the bag. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Man. Hide your ass down here in the pen. Yeah, Get the not, fucking it's, up. It's, it's, it's a different world down there. Yeah, man. They're they, they making us look bad down there. You know what I'm saying? They, they won't even put Trump on TV, but they put this two on TV. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Definitely, it, it, man. Nana, you, know, you know how he did. He, when he going to be on stage? Oh, they going to call him. They yeah, they going to call, call him. him. Yeah, definitely. You better believe it. Yeah, they go. Oh, yeah, years for some years. yeah, man. Jury is compromised. Yeah, man. I appreciate your call, man. Thank you for calling up. Appreciate yeah. the love. Please call back. Okay, keep up the good work, bro. Thanks, bro. Will do. Yep, yep. Have a good yep. one. Detroit in the building, man. Look, I think that's good enough for the day, man. For real. Yeah.